Chad, I'm not late. You're late. Oh, hey. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Uh-oh. <laughs> was, was the uh-oh for the, like, 10 seconds of silence after that? Let me put on some banging tunes. Actually, let's do some... Let's do some chill tunes. We're going to be here for a while. Let's not bang our tunes too hard yet. I just ran, can you tell? <laughs> All right, and then where's my music pickup? There we go. Hello, chat. Um. Oh, I did, forgot to change the audio settings. Because it's still going to the headset, but it gets to just go to my headphones now. Hey, chat. Hello, hello, hello. Late by a few minutes in a nine and a half hour stream. Can't believe you, Rye. Celebrity, I've got great news for you. It's going to be like a ten and a half hour stream, actually. <laughs> um, Realistically, let me move this down. Because it was set to VR height. So I can scooch it back down. Hey, guys. Stream during daylight hours, am I right? So uh, I guess I should invite the normies in right away. Usually I try to, like, talk to you guys first. But let's get everybody in here so I only have to explain this once. The normies. Okay, have fun. Bye, Annie. We're live drinking and playing Every good FNAF game. You'll see what I mean when we get to it. <laughs> don't worry, we're playing FNAF 2, even though I don't think it's a good game. Alright, the live tweet is out. Hey, 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 hey. Hello, hello, everybody. Stream after you finish work? Like, Chris, Christmas came slightly late? Hey, so, so did I. Um, Ash, hello. Epigramdenis, hello. Lindor, hello. Unwinny2, hello. EM the Destroyer, hello. Zoli, hello. Uh, Zilinov, hello. Jonesman64, hello. Rosehaw, Thompson, Thompson Stanger, Gray, Reagan Got Lost, uh, My Joe Star, Lipkin the Blue, Kyranaris. With only three FNAF games? True. No. Uh, okay. So, today's stream. Uh, as the title suggests, we are going to be playing every single FNAF game. Trying to beat them, but I'm only going to devote an hour to each one. And the reason I'm only going to devote an hour to each one is, one, I can't really do a 24-hour stream. I have kids. Uh, I'm barely able to do this 10-hour stream thanks to my lovely wife who's working very hard to take care of the kids. Um... But here's the thing. Another reason we're not playing each game to completion is because we're probably not beating many of them. This is an off-brand Stanley Cup I call the Stanford. The Stanford is currently filled halfway up with Bailey's, which is a cream liquor, and the other half with eggnog. I've never drank this before. But every time we die in one of these games, I'm going to take a big old sip of this. Now, for those following along at home, I want to be very clear. I'm not suggesting anyone do this. This is not safe. Do not try this at home. Um, maybe drink some soda along if you wanted to play along, uh, especially if you're underage. I know some of you are underage in the audience, so drinking isn't cool. Drinking isn't fun. It's just something that some people do. Because of this, <laughs> Stanford goes crazy. Um, be, but, and to promote safety here, I do want to be clear. Bailey's is fairly low alcohol percent, which is why it's not necessarily dangerous for my health. But just to make sure I'm being safe, my wife will be watching the stream as she's hanging out with the boys. And if she ever thinks I'm drinking too much and I'm not noticing it, she will come down and cut off the stream for my own health. So I just want to be clear, everybody. Drinking can be a funny haha, -ha, but please, if you are of age, drink responsibly. Dumb dumb with the one month. Thank you for Mama Toast for letting us have rye for these 10 hours. True. Now, here's the thing. Fun fact, Chuck E. Cheese actually serves beer. That's crazy. 
also toast during the first game. I know it can be this minigame. We'll go over it at time. <laughs> True. Well, okay. The speed run for consequences percent of Help Wanted 2 is like an hour 15. So we're going to try to go for it. That's the world record. That's not my PB. We're going to try to beat it fully. Um, now, that, to be, that being said, I figured I should try this for the first time on camera. So I know what I'm in for. I have a feeling. So I have had Baileys in the past where you'll take a sh two shots of Baileys and pour it in a cup of coffee and have like an Irish coffee. It's very good. I've never had it with eggnog. I have a feeling if I start really drinking a lot of this, it's going to be less, oh God, more Baileys. And it's going to be more, oh God, more eggnog. So I'm going to take my very first sip of spiked eggnog for you guys right now. God, I hope this doesn't taste nasty. Give it a little stir. Okay. So it's weird. It's heavy on the Baileys. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like I drank eggnog and then r immediately did mouthwash. So, <laughs> oh, Lord. Let's hope I don't die too much. Uh, but without any further ado, I said we boot up FNAF 1. So, when we were introducing the stream, I said we're going to play every good FNAF game. What I mean by that is specifically, because we're going to be playing some FNAF games I don't particularly like. What I mean specifically is we're going to be playing every FNAF game that is official, that is mainline, that can be beaten. Unfortunately, this disqualifies Ultimate Custom Night. But if Ultimate Custom Night is more like a sandbox and it didn't really fit what we're doing today. You know, because if I wanted to play Ultimate Custom Night for an hour and not die, I can control that. Versus, like, the game getting harder on its own. You know what I mean? So, that being said, we will be playing in, in this order, and I do this order specifically for a reason. It's release except for the last two. Duskina, thank you for the membership. That's very, very kind. The games we will be playing are... FNAF 1. FNAF 2. FNAF 3. FNAF 4. Sister Location. Pizzeria Simulator. Security Breach, Help Wanted 1, Help Wanted 2, and FNAF World. FNAF World will be after FNAF 4. I forgot to say it, but I wanted to say that one for the end. Um, I'm doing both VR games at the end because it's a bitch to take down VR and keep the stream running. So that way I can just leave them. But also, I figured by then we'll be the most sloshed, and VR could be very funny if I'm a little sloshed. Um, furthermore... No 50-20 mode for an hour. Furthermore, with FNAF World, the rules will be a little bit different. It's not every time a character dies. You know what? No, let's, let's make it interesting. I'm not going to lose FNAF World. Anytime a character dies. Um, anyway, let's boot up FNAF 1. And we'll try this. Uh, if we beat a game early, we're just going to move on. So that way we might have more time for, dip for games that will take longer later. Bovar with the $2. Only FNAF could, dr could milk dry... Wait. FNAF World Lore? Oh, first off, we love FNAF here. Don't, don't, uh, if that was supposed to be an insult, go fuck yourself. Second, um, FNAF World Lore goes crazy. I have a full video on it. But thank you for the two. That's very kind. Um, I think I got it. it. Starts at 2.45. When's the first break? All right. I do have two scheduled breaks to, like, you know, pee and eat and all that stuff. Kyra and Eris with the incredible kind, too. Before we start, happy Kwanzaa, y'all. Happy Kwanzaa, Kyra. Bolva super shatted $1.99. Why can cents. I not hear Only FUNAF could milk dry FNAF world lore. That's so Vomiting okay, face what I'm going to do... Well, could you guys hear Foxy? Because I'm not going to be in VR, so I'll be able to just read it. As long as you guys can hear Foxy, we're good. What about Ruin? Um, while we're playing Security Breach, I'm going to switch over to Ruin. Ruin is counted as Security Breach. Um... But I'll chatted one probably load up partway through. You guys can? Okay, that's the important thing. Happy Kwanzaa, I'll probably load up like partway through candle, Security Breach because it's such a long game. Heart, we're definitely not going to be able to see most of it. There we go. I had to boot up Steam to be able to find FNAF. It wasn't an insult. Okay. 
I, I had a feeling. That's why I was just like clearing the air. Alcohol dehydrates. That's why I've got this entire thing of water right here. Remember, again, drink responsibly and take care of yourselves, chat. But also, don't drink along. Just enjoy the stream. <laughs> yeah, I've got a big old thing of water right here uh, that I will be drinking just like normally because I like water. That's I, Fun fact about me, I've never actually been like drunk drunk. I've been very tipsy in the past, but I drink a lot of water and I'm slow at drinking beverages. So I've never really gotten like drunk. So I don't expect to today. I do expect to get pretty tipsy. We'll see what happens. But I'm also a god gamer and I never lose or die. So there's that. All right, we'll turn down the music as much as I love Pumpkin Hill Instrumental. We are about to start gaming, chat. God, I love 2014 Five Nights at Freddy's that doesn't work properly. Let's close when we open it. Hey, Fake Scott. Hey, Icarus who flew too close to the meme sun. No, it's Fake Scott. It's funny. Um, Apparently the save file I had already had beaten night six so that's cool anyway i don't ex here's my my bet to you guys i'm not gonna die until night four this is the one the one thing i want them to bring over to youtube from twitch is channel points so if anyone's never used twitch channel points has uh, is this thing where you earn like a fake currency from watching a stream and you can use those to like activate effects or like bet and gamble with them and it's not real money so it's fun and I love the, like, fake money gambling on Twitch. Because you could just be like, will Rye make it to night four without dying? Yes, no. And you can, like, wager channel points. And that's so fun. There's a browser add-on. I didn't finish setting it up yet. I wanted it ready for today. Oops. There's a browser add-on that brings it to YouTube, but it's not as good. Because, like, so many people use their phones, yada, yada. Kyra with the $2, will you be Bailey's French toast after the stream? True. Hey, Anza Pavliska. Finishing up my last week now is a Says this like Modern FNAF works so properly. True. Be a bit go, go, gadget pixel reducer. Oh, I'll turn off the pixel reducer. There you go. How's the ad lord? Good. I haven't gotten uh, that many see. ads First, recently. I don't know why. Reading. kind of hurts my feelings. Company. Companies reach out. I need money. Read. But, you know. Companies money. I need companies. Audio's a little loud. Gotcha, gotcha. Unfortunately, I can't adjust it while in game, so I'm just gonna have to like move it and hope. How's that? Is that good, better, too quiet, too loud? What time is it for you? It is 2:49 p.m. for me. I would love bets on YouTube Live, right? It's so fun. This isn't quite like Spiff's marathons, because I'm pretty sure he beats them fully, and we're not probably going to be beating most of these games. Uh, hey, Sin. Welcome, welcome. A bit quiet? Eh, I'd rather a bit quiet than too loud. I mean, it's fo it's FNAF 1 phone guy. You guys know what he says. <laughs> Tom's and Strange with the $2. Incredibly kind. Sorry this is much, but you're my favorite LGBT YouTuber. Well, thank you. First off, that's very kind of you. And also... Any look, I never want someone thinking uh, like a dono. Obviously, take care of yourselves. Not everybody can donate. Just being in chat is enough, you know. Donating at all is above and beyond. Do not feel bad that it was a low amount. Two dollars is amazing. Thank you so much. Like uh, just being in chat is more than enough. And I'm just happy I get to do this. Like this is a celebration of this community. Like I can't believe we're at two hundred fucking thousand subscribers. That is insane to me. It's like I can't process that in my brain. Um, goal any percent for every game, pretty much. It's really quiet. I can turn it up a little bit. I'll turn it up a smidgen. How's that? Brain SK with the incredibly $2. Incredibly kind $2. 
Inside, Took 100 uh, camel. Uh, as long as you're above 21, and make sure you're taking care of yourself and being, so, being smart, being uh, safe. Glitch world's gonna be crazy for a tipsy person, true. Um, yeah, streaming Lethal inside, Company anytime soon? For sure. But, hey, uh, now that the crazy. Help Wanted 2 okay, hype is starting to uh, dial, I'll probably be playing. Help, I'm gonna be playing Help Wanted 2 a lot because it's necessary. really fun and I just like playing it. But I want to play some more Lethal Company. It's been a long time. It's really, really fun. Oh, Bonnie's out. I don't really need the camera. Like, it's one of those things where, like, I've played this game enough that I kind of know what's going on. Like, hi, Bonnie. If anyone's never played FNAF 1, which, like, kind of wild that you're this, you're watching a, a FNAF marathon, but you've never played the first game. But, hey, no judging here. Um, that's better. Cool, cool, cool. But, um, essentially, the only reason you need the cameras is to check on Foxy and stall Freddy. Otherwise, Chica and Bonnie will come up to your door. And you can just see them there. And Freddy's not active night one, so this is a super simple, super straightforward thing. What are my thoughts on the Nightmare Oil plushes and Help Wanted 2? God, I wish I had any. <laughs> Lethal Company lore hunts. I've delved into the lore of Lethal Company. It's interesting, but it's, I don't think it's something I could make a full video on. What is Lethal Company? Really fun. I have a couple streams on my channel for it, but um, a lot of people have been playing it. It's like a multiplayer horror game. Page turn with incredibly kind 10. This is my first time catching a stream because the Christmas rush is over and I have four days off again. Good luck, Ryan. will be drinking along. Well, make sure you're taking care of yourself. I hope you're 21 plus. Um, thank you. That is incredibly, incredibly kind 10. Play Band Band 6? No. Uh, never finished FAF 1 because I'm so bad. Don't know all the strats. Uh, I mean... It's not necessarily... I wouldn't say anybody's necessarily bad at a FNAF game. It's just there's a specific thing you have to do to play it. And you either do that or you don't do that. Um, especially FNAF 1. FNAF 1, as much as I think it's like one of the scarier games in the franchise, it's incredibly formulaic. All you have to do is check your doors, check on Foxy Stall Freddy. If you do that, you win. It's very, very straightforward. There it is. I'm like, why can't I don't honk? Right, let's get with another incredibly kind tweet. Wait, did you do it twice? Because the same text. I hope that was on purpose. If not, I'm sorry you got scammed. Uh, talk that up with YouTube. But if you did, thank you. That's very kind. FNAF World is my favorite. FNAF World is very fun. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's definitely S rank for me. Lethal company with other FNAF YouTubers, potentially. I have, like, a private Discord where it's, like, people who I enjoy their content and would like to collab with them. And I've just been posting in there, like, hey, I want to play Lethal Company these days, anybody free. And that does include FNAF uh, YouTubers. I don't know how people are supposed to reach out for collabs. I really don't. So this is what I'm doing. I've never done any of this before. So. Can't beat FNAF 1 Night 5. It is hard. You do have to be really, really quick. Hey, Leon with a 12 month. Thank you so much. It's incredibly kind. I have a feeling we're not going to start dying until, like, night four, night five. If we get to night six, night six. Um, but I feel like the, a lot of deaths are going to start by, like, FNAF 2. Because FNAF 2, I do die, tend to die more often since it's just a lot of stuff happening all at once. Why is there a fake Scott? It's a very funny story. Uh, they set their username as fake Scott once as a joke and can't change it. So they are forever cursed to wear the moniker of Scott Cawthon, but not truly be. Talking with people is hard for real. True. And then there's also my issue, right? My, here's my big issue. I don't know if any creators can relate to this in chat. But, like, I have an issue where I'm like, as a fellow creator, how do I approach another creator without feeling parasocial? Especially as someone who watches everybody else's streams. I watch so much content. Now that I have mutuals that stream, I watch their streams, like... Pretty much any time a mutual of mine is streaming, I'm probably lurking in the chat. So the question is, like, how can I approach you as a person without feeling parasocial? You know what I mean? Because as much as I am, like, a mutual, I'm also a fan. And that's a hard thing to separate.
Because, like, it was pretty straightforward before I, like, actually was, like, mutuals with a lot of these creators. Because I could be like, oh, yeah, I'm just a fan. But it's like now I'm a, I'm a mutual. I'm on equal footing with them. It's like, how do I, how do I approach you in a normal way? It, it doesn't help that I'm already bad at conversation. Hey, welcome, Hex. And no, it's not because uh, UCN can't be beaten. You just play it harder and harder. So we're only playing ones that you can be beat. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good are you at FNAF? I'd say like 7 or 8, probably. Because it's like, I wouldn't say I'm like god tier or anything. Like, I'm not a FNAF speedrunner of most of the games or anything like that. Um, I can't just get to night 5 guaranteed on every game or anything like that. But I generally, like, I'm pretty good, I would say. Especially the early ones. I will say, FNAF 4, big issue for me. VR is going to take me the most shots, I bet. Probably. Not in Help Wanted 1, though. Help Wanted 1 is really easy. Help Wanted 1 is just about, like, um, doing routines. Imagine not being able to people. True. How's your day going? It's been a while since I've been on your stream. How's your Christmas? Also, fun fact, three months ago, I started a new job at Walmart around 22. Well, congrats on the new job, and my, my holidays are pretty good. Hey, gamer, how are you gaming? I'm gaming in a gay way. Not with any of these. When we get to Security Breach, we'll be, we'll be talking about... We'll be talking about some... Uh, some uh, so, uh, when we get to Security Breach, it, it'll be very... I haven't even started drinking yet. When we get to security reach, you guys will know. Well, I'll just do the bit of <laughs> Those glam rocks are something else. Anyway, um, oh gosh, FNAF 4 Shutter. You could technically beat UCM by doing 50-20 mode. If I try to beat 50-20 mode, I'm going to be out of all beverages in like 10 minutes. Drunken VR sounds nauseating. It might. We're going to find out in about 8 hours. Uh, there are I remember when FNAF first came out, it's those days I'm old now. True, same. Also, <laughs> so I didn't mean to call you old, but like, same. I remember when FNAF 1 first came out, me and my friends plugged our laptop into like the family TV so we could all play it together in the living room. And it was like the craziest shit. Not that you would be in any danger, of course. I'm doing good at Curse World. Also, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. Where'd you spike your eggnog? I, I didn't buy spiked eggnog. I bought a dairy-free coconut milk eggnog, because I have IBS. And I bought Bailey's, and I just did uh, half and half, and put a lot of ice in it. How will you play when you're drunk? Who knows? Why not do all presents in UCN? Uh, okay, here's the thing, right? One, you can't really beat UCN, realistically. And two, I don't like playing UCN. <laughs> so it's 50-50. I prefer a game where there's like a sequence, like there's like a story-based sequence where the game gets harder on its own. So I like it more. Um, someone time out Jack too because they're annoying. Hey, Pogos Pizzeria, welcome, welcome. Don't get too tipsy, probably not. Oh yeah, if there's any new mods in chat, because I know some of y'all got some of the mods we got are pretty new. Um, if you're a mod in chat, I give you full rights to ban anyone who's kind of annoying. It's our community. We gotta keep it, we gotta keep it in tip top shape up here. Man, Bonnie, go away. Also, Casey. Oh my god, Bonnie, you're draining all my battery. Thanks, X. Hey, Sire Squawks, welcome, welcome. Who's kind of annoying? He's making me go, look, I'm being for real. If I, like, part of streaming is I enjoy doing it and I enjoy talking to chat. And if you're going to be in chat and be not, like, enjoyable to talk to, get out of here. Simple as. M without the J with the incredibly kind 12 
euros? If I say if it's not euros, correct me. Uh, hi, Ryan. I'm so happy to see you thrive. Oh, thank you. Uh, you've become a favorite content creators, uh, and I look forward to all your streams. You deserve all love. Oh, well, thank you. New account. Oh, Tilly. Okay. Yeah, I know you, Tilly. Well, welcome, welcome. I like your username. Oh my God, Bonnie. We're gonna lose power just because Bonnie's like, hey, oh, you need to drink. <laughs> Did you leave? Finally, my word. How about you, Foxy? Oh my god, Bonnie was here for like an hour. That's Euros? Okay. Because the Euros kind of looks like an E. Canyon Sports with incredibly kind $10. Love your content, been here since 10K. So awesome stuff I go. Well, thank you, that's incredibly, incredibly kind. Can't wait for the FNAF World segment. FNAF World, I'm a little bit worried about. I said so, like brazenly that anytime a character dies I'll drink and then I realize that I'm not that good at FNAF World <laughs> Bonnie's just a frat bro true <laughs> Bonnie's an enabler uh, I <laughs> this is gonna really be put into context if we get keep getting killed by the same character that they're just a bad influence um, I don't know if that's I mean I can't see profile pictures I assume it's the real Cyrus Quox, but it might not be. Uh, the the chat I have open doesn't have usernames, so it's hard to tell. Or it doesn't have um profile pictures, so it's hard to tell. How many shots do you take estimate you've been taking by the end? I don't know. I mean this this has half a bottle of Bailey's. Which, again, like, Bailey's is a liquor, but it's only, like, 18% alcohol by volume, which is less than wine. So it's not, like, an incredibly strong liquor, so this should be fine. I don't know. I'm kind of a lightweight, though, so... I don't know. Ryan, again with the incredibly kind $2. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Ferrachite with the incredibly kind five drink of choice. I, so this is the first time I've had Bailey's. I've actually really liked that Bailey's and coffee that I had, but typically if I'm making my own drink, it's almost always a Moscow mule or a, uh, mojito. I just really like rum. I think I, I really like rum. It's a little fruity. It goes in like fruity drinks. I, I like fruity drinks. I don't like the taste of alcohol. So like mojitos and Moscow mules do a good job of like covering that alcoholic flavor. Foxy's raring to go, dude. Jay with the incredibly kind 10. Always watch the stream and never really join chat, so I just wanted to drop in and say hi, love the stream, congratulations. Okay, well, thank you, that's incredibly kind. Guess it's not bad if it's 50 50 eggnog. Yeah, it's 50 50 eggnog, and it's like a low percent alcohol, so we should be okay. Like, I'm not expecting to get drunk. I don't. I, I, that's not the goal today. Mojito is so amazing. True. I like my fruity little drinks just like me. Honeybee? I've not tried a honeybee, but that sounds good. Foxy has been so ready, dude. of cider. Cider's pretty good. Depends on the cider. I really don't like the taste of beer. So if your cider is anything beer adjacent, I'm not gonna like it. Um, there's a, a brewery within like an hour or so of me that does a Ren Faire every year. One, great Ren Faire, but two, they have really good cider. And they're like flavored and stuff. I think we've incredibly got five. Low right. Oh. Someone's walking past. Whew, that could have been our death. Just wanted to ask if you're okay with being a parental figure for kids seats online. I mean, I, I can't stop you. I think there's probably better out there. I'm kind of just figuring it out myself. Um, but I guess we all are kind of figuring it out, so. Pirate software. I don't know a lot of pirate software stuff, but from what I've seen from pirate software, 
he seems like a probably a better <laughs> better one to go after. But I mean, I can't stop you. Miranda Skate, thank you for the uh, membership. You have been just throwing two dollars. Thank you so much. That's incredibly kind. Um, there's some like behind the scenes stuff. Not much, because I just don't have a lot of funny bloopers. Um, there is like a full members only video as well. Foxy was just teasing us for like three hours. Have I had a strawberry daiquiri? I have one, so it was pretty good. First espresso martini the other day. Way too strong. I feel that. I can't do strong. As a former bar back, I can guarantee as long as you have like three or four drinks within an hour, you're most likely going to get drunk. Fair. We'll see. I mean, this is probably like two or three drinks. I, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not like a bartender. I don't really know that stuff. Better ride than Andrew Tate. All right, that's a low bar though. Andrew Tate is such a fucking terrible piece of shit. Uh, is Freddy active on night three? I don't remember. Hey, you're doing great. But most people don't last this long. I mean, Ashley with incredibly kind ten. Thank you so much. Thank you for making the FNAF community most enjoyable to partake in. Oh well, thank you. That's incredibly kind. Uh oh. Toddler Toast is screeching. I've got um, Toddler Toast open on the camera. He, he's taking a nap right now, so he's in his crib. Um, and to help Mama Toast, I'm just keeping an eye on him. He's okay. He's just, like all toddlers, fighting a nap and trying not to take one. How long will this stream be? About 10 to 11 hours is the schedule. We're trying to keep it a tight 10, but it might go a little long. Thoughts on mimosas? You know, I don't think I've had... I, I'm not a huge drinker. I, I don't think I've actually had a mimosa yet. The throw you had, you said, is to... Out there is the true... Ba I don't know what the hell you just said, Game Flares. Vivi, it's very clearly not actually Scott. <laughs> if you enjoy fruity rum drinks, you'd probably enjoy Bahama Mama, tropical rum drink. Interesting, that sounds good. I just really like rum. I really only drink on occasion, so I, I haven't had like a lot of drinks. And I didn't do a lot of underage drinking. Uh, chat, don't drink if you're underage. Um, but when I was underage, uh, <laughs> I did partake in, like, the occasional, like, New Year's party jello shot and things like that. But I never really had a lot. One of the things that really prevented me ever from really getting drunk drunk is one of my biggest things that happens when I get tipsy is I get sleepy and I get kind of eepy eepy tired. And then I just kind of fall asleep at the party. So <laughs> I've never really gotten, like, drunk because I'm too busy eeping. I don't think I've ever heard- was that Chica tapping on the window? Did you guys hear that or was it too quiet for on your end? I don't think I've ever heard Chica tap on the window like that. That's crazy. Imagine if fake Scott was real but he's just using that to chat. What if Scott was one of us? <laughs> Alright, that's her leaving. I gotta be careful because the full screen doesn't trap your mouse. So if I go too far to the right, I just end up clicking out of the game and that will probably end up killing me. Not much, Star. We're on night three. I haven't, haven't died yet. Don't worry, Felix. It's not that bad. And I've got plenty of water right here. So far, not to jinx myself, but so far night three has been easier than night two, which is very funny. Well, thank you, Felix. It's very kind. I hear footsteps. Is she here? So she's, so she's walking to 4B then. I never understood that they walk past you before they get to you. Uh, it was actually Help Wanted 1 that taught me that. Because you, like, literally watch them do it. 
Have I seen the security breach video from Pymations? I don't believe so. It's not familiar. I did just watch, um... Oh shit, Freddy moved. I guess I wasn't keeping good enough eye on him. I did just watch Samination's, uh, The Amazing Digital Circus song. Like, music video and stuff. That's really good. I'm really happy that Samination's is, like, doing music and doing what makes them happy as a channel again. What a glow up. Because, uh, the I'm Psycho, the Purple Girl song was actually pretty fucking hard. And then, um, this new one, it's good. I really like the chorus. If I'm being honest, I don't, I think the Kane voice actor they got needed a little bit more energy. He kind of sounded like almost tired, but that could just be me nitpicking or not. I don't know. It was a good, he was a great singer and I liked the song. It just felt like it needed a little bit more energy is all. Um... But, I mean, it's still like an 8 out of 10 video. Maybe the incredible kind of $2. Do you, do you think FNAF 6 really happened? God, are we already getting into this? I do think it really happened. Um, but the interesting thing is, like, from what we see in Help Wanted 1, it seems like a lot of it was probably sensationalized by the indie dev. So the question is how much of it really happened, you know what I mean? person who made 5 a.m. at Freddy's really old phantom stuff. That sounds familiar. We could go say twink trap, but it feels like a slur. <laughs> Glitch trap is a twink. We've confirmed this. It's okay. What's the song called? Uh, oh, it's by Zaminations. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's like Wacky World. I think it is. It's Zamination's most recent video. It should be pretty easy to find. How long have we been live? Like 40 minutes, maybe? Question mark? About 40 minutes. We started this game at um, 2.45. So we'll be playing FNAF 1 until 3.45 or until we beat it. And I'll count beat as night 6. Custom night doesn't count when we're talking about did we beat the game. So as long as we unlocked Custom Night, we've beaten the game. So for FNAF 1, 2, and 3, that's Night 6. FNAF 4, I think that's also Night 6. I've never actually beaten FNAF 4, so expect just me dying a lot and then the game ending. Um, sister location, any of the endings will do, but I will try to beat Entered Night if we can get there in time. FNAF 6, I'll, be try I'll go for the true ending. Um, I've never never in my life made it past like night two in FNAF 6 because I just don't understand the mechanics. I'll go for the clock ending in FNAF world. Um, security breach. We're not going to even approach an ending. Maybe if we just play Ruin, we might be able to beat it, but I, I do want to play security breach as well. Foxy just fucked off. Describe your community in one word. Cool. Actually, Colt. Starting to, starting next year, we're going to be playing Colt of the Lamb. I'm going to try to play it a couple times, and we'll be naming the Colt members after Chatters because I think that'll be really fun. And also, I just want an excuse to play more Colt of the Lamb because that game is peak. FNAF 6's sounds are so quiet. I just don't know. I, like, don't understand how you're supposed to play FNAF 6. I've never done it properly. Play Security Breach until you die? No, no, no. We'll play it for the full hour. We should be good on power. Let's go. What'd I tell you? Night four, no deaths. Now the question is, can I beat night four without dying? Uh, I don't know. My big problem with FNAF 1 is I don't typically die. It's more that I'll run out of power. So that's what I got to worry about is not running out of power.
Watching play FNAF 1 is so weird. It's been so long since so watch Mark play it. True. It really is a blast from the past. The hitbox for the nose is like slightly below the nose, which I find very funny. Not by promotional stuff, so the money's not worth it. I figured. I figured just like worry about buying upgrades. Especially because you can get a lot of money just playing the games. I see the. Oh, someone's mentioned. Did I see the spring trap like Scooby Doo video somebody made? Yeah, I, I really like that he went and recasted it with like actual voice actors. I'm like super, super anti AI with stuff like that. So, and to quote that one Twitter post, everybody really needs to like reminder: true artificial intelligence does not exist yet. Everything being marketed as AI is just machine learning, which is a cool thing, but it's not AI, and it also should not replace artists in any field. Have machine learning do like useful stuff for the world. Let the humans make the art. Foxy gets stalled at any camera. Right, I'm, I'm not necessarily looking at trying to stall Foxy, I'm just trying to check where he's at. That's why I start and end it on Freddy. Just listen to Wacky World is pretty good, right? Like, it's a pretty good song. Have it do the grunt work? Yeah, or something like that. Like, you can use it as a tool in your own, like, in your own processes, but don't use it as a replacement. You know what I mean? Ah, shit. That was my fault. I, I took a while to check Freddy. Why Freddy didn't move? Because I'm trying to stall him. As a writer, ChatGPT terrifies me. On the bright side, ChatGPT is not nearly advanced enough to meaningfully fuck us over in that sense yet. And even if it's beginning to self-cannibalize, so I would really... It, like, it's something to keep an eye on. Not necessarily something to be afraid of yet. Um, and it's, it's also not good. <laughs> it's just straight up is wrong very often. But yeah, if you haven't noticed, uh, a lot of machine learning modules are starting to self-cannibalize, where they've been outputting so much junk onto the internet that when they go to learn whatever they're trying to machine learn, they use data sets produced by other machine learning bots. So it's just starting to turn into fucking gibberish. How many drinks are we in already? None, because I'm a god gamer. Um, also, it's FNAF 1. Like, come on, guys. <laughs> this is a very easy game once you... Like, all... FNAF 1 is, is learn what you're supposed to do and do it properly. Which, like, sure, it's uh, the, you could say that about anything, but FNAF 1 especially is very formulaic, so as long as you know what you're doing, you really shouldn't die until it's just a matter of, like, doing it efficiently and effectively. Like, I, I have a feeling, if I had to put money on it, I don't think we're going to get jump scared while we have power. I think the issue is going to be, I'm going to use too much power throughout the night. Because it's pretty easy to defend yourself. The problem is defending yourself in an efficient enough way where you don't run out of power. feed your fish? Well, tell your fish I said hi. It's so hard to reach out and play FNAF 1. Like, all the early FNAF... Like, when I'm playing Security Breach, I can reach out so much. I'm playing Help Wanted 1 and 2. I have so many, so much downtime. When I'm playing these early FNAF games, how the fuck am I supposed to reach out and play FNAF? I'm trying to reach chat. Can you guys hang on for a second? These animatronics are not letting me reach chat. Not very based. Bonnie is approaching. I keep hearing footsteps. Uh, 
I knew you were, dude. I saw Chica in the dining room. Oh, you ran off quick, dude. All right. Thought so. Someone who enjoys writing, creating art, especially astronomy, I think it has interesting, more useful scientific field. Yeah, like, the creation of actual AI could be very useful for specific fields. But one, AI doesn't exist, they're machine learning data sets. And two, they're being used in very unethical ways. So, we gotta fix that shit. Any aspiring voice actors out there, do your best to try to copyright your voice so that uh, people cannot use a machine learning data set to replicate it. I don't know the process, I just know you can. Which, very dystopian that I have to say, hey, make sure to copyright your, your own voice, but hey, it's the world we live in, you might as well protect yourself. We're gonna run out of power and it's not even my fault. Angry. Well, first drink might be coming soon. Because we're at 8%, 7% power at 4 a.m. And Chica will not leave me the fuck alone. Girl. All right, desperate times call for desperate measures. Is she still there? Okay, thank God. I don't think we're making it. It's not even 5 a.m. yet. Shit, man. Oh, let's drink one. gonna drink off an apple and that's crazy look i ran out of power i didn't do a pregame shot but i did take a sip at the beginning of the stream oh, Mom. oh shit sorry i went to open obs and i forgot that's gonna minimize the game there we go we're back we're back i didn't mean to i didn't mean to interrupt you freddy i'm sorry What if he just let me live? Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Cheers. First drink of the stream that is of me dying. Oh, God. That is strong. I put maybe too much Baileys in there. <laughs> God. That is... <laughs> Not great. All right, back to night four. Casey, what's your problem? Oh, so I had a stream, Casey. I'll go play. I think I just need to check doors way less often. Maybe that's the move. Take take my time. Relax. Go play some Pokemon. Enjoy Dragon Tamer. I really want to play the new DLC, but my um, Switch is still in a storage container because we're like in between places right now. Let's anti Rizzler, not base Skibbity Ohio for me. Gets no gout for killing us. You know what, Festive Nerve? That really is Phantom Tax. Take a shot of water. That This is water. How's the cat? Good, just a menace. Casey's like a good cat. He's just a menace. Should I stay on stream or finish Breath of the Wild? Bumblebee, uh, Bumblebee Pumpkin Patch. Por que no los dos? Watch the stream while you finish Breath of the Wild. It's a good game. But also, the stream will be a VOD, and it'll be an edited video soon after. So, like, this will exist in perpetuity. Uh, Fly Ezzy with the incredibly kind five dollars. Been doing nothing but watching your stuff stuff since the movies dropped to send help uh no because it gets me money when you watch my stuff now 
Oh shit, is he already in the bathroom? Where? Where's Freddy? Foolish man with incredible guy, ten dollars. Literally late but take my money. You're fine. Thank you. That's incredibly kind. Is Freddy in the bathroom and I just totally missed him already? Okay, Chick is in the kitchen. So those foots of Okay, he is in the bathroom. Shit. Uh oh. That might be a problem. How many shots in are we? I've only taken like, I took one drink to start the stream and I died once so far. We've only been playing games for like 45 minutes. And we're on FNAF 1 for another 20 minutes. So if I'm gonna start struggling with four and five and six, then I, I'm gonna go from one drink so far to a couple. We'll see how it goes. That's fair, Bumblebee, honestly same. Logan Angler, thank you for uh, the membership. And welcome to the Gloom Givers. There's some cool behind the scenes stuff for you. And a video on Resident Evil 8. Enjoy those. Sky Mallory, that is a hot take, because I think FNAF 1 is. Ah, shit. I think FNAF 1 is. Genuinely, probably second scariest game in the franchise. Um, it's not scary to me anymore, just because I've played it and seen it so goddamn much. But this this game has some of the best renders, in my opinion. Hey Ryan, other people, how do I become a member? I believe it's a button on the chat where you pay money per month. I am not. Do I'm trying to use power less, but in doing so, I'm letting Freddy get very close to me. I really gotta stall Freddy now. Uh oh. Have I watched Owl House and Figure of Gravity Falls? So I fully watched Gravity Falls, amazing show. I got the first couple seasons into Amphibia, but I didn't get to finish it yet. I really want to, because I was really liking where it was going. Um, and I haven't watched the Owl House yet. That's on my list. FNAF 6 is ex extremely unsettling. It does a good job creating tension. FNAF 6 loses some points for me only because it is, I, I agree, it's very, very unsettling and does a great job at doing tension. The problem I have with FNAF 6 is it has some of the worst jump scares in the entire franchise. Which is really disappointing because it also has some good... Like, Scrap Baby is a great design. And she doesn't get used because her fucking jump scare is atrocious. But at least we do get the Salvage minigames, which has some of the best rendering in the franchise. 4 is super quiet too. True. So Chica just walks past. Freddy, slow down, true. I'm actually paying attention to him now, so. Scrap Baby's jump scare and help on two is so good. True! I think part of the reason her jump scare is so good is because it's like the first time she's had a good jump scare in the franchise. And it is re it's a really good jump scare. Help Wanted 2, it's not, the jump scares aren't perfect, but the Help Wanted 2 jump scares are a big step up from Help Wanted 1's jump scares. Help Wanted 1 jump scares are kind of dog. Um, which is funny, because I think Help Wanted 1 is overall a scarier game. M funniest thing, one of the least scary games in the franchise uh, special delivery, the AR like Pokemon Go ass phone app. I do hold I and people people call me crazy. I think it has probably the best jump scare animations in the entire franchise. They are so good, like weirdly good jump scare animations on special delivery. 
Hilda. Oh, Hilda was so good. I only got to watch a couple episodes, but I do really want to watch more Hilda. From what I saw, it was really good. Stella, I hear you that they're quick, and that is nice. But it's the fact that all they do is hop into frame. Like, that kind of sucks. I think, honestly, Ruin probably has second best jump scares in the franchise because they're like death screens. Like, you see them about to kill you. It's not just like, ah, boogity boogity. You know, it's not just like being scary. They actually, like, attack you. And I think that's based. Because that, that makes for a good jump scare. Not gonna lie, special delivery sucks. The gameplay of special delivery is not very good, and the game itself isn't scary. I'm just saying the um, animations on the jump scares are peak. The blob of the tango is better than burn trap. It's an interesting concept. I wouldn't say like better or worse. It's hard to compare them. They're very different. Hey, Chica's trash sack, trash sack in ruin. True. Cool, Freddy's still there. God, we kept Freddy at that one room for like the majority of the night, which is very funny to me. Of course he doubled up on me. At this point, just close the doors? No, no, no. We don't have enough power for that. We can probably stop checking on Foxy, though. Let's go! Are you drunk yet? Robot Botters! I died once! <laughs> Balloon Boy enjoyers rise up, he stays on top. I don't know. He's got a good design. I just wish he did something different than just appear in vent, run away. Um, alright, night five. Hey, what I tell you? I'm good at FNAF 1. Hey, Trace Nico with the incredibly kind five dollars. About to finish off one two let's play. I love your content theories lately, please come down. Oh well, thank you. Okay, Freddy's already on the move. I did notice that. I think it has more to do with the princess than our character. Excuse me. Only because when we eat food in the lobby... I'm talking to you, uh, Evan. I'm responding to your comment. Only because when we're in the lobby, if you eat food, it's like a very masculine-sounding voice who chews and sometimes burps. So I would lean on that before the princess, because at least the princess quest has the excuse of like, well, it's the same exact noise the princess makes when she's hurt, you know? But that's a fair point. It could go either way. Balloon Boy ain't as bad. Fair. One Swamp Balloon Boy is disgusting. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. The Balloon Boy skins in special delivery go crazy. The swamp one and the snow one are insane. They're like actually pretty scary. Special delivery had some good designs, being real. Again, microtransaction slot, not very fun to play, but it had really good designs and really good jump scares. So credit where credit's due. Also one of the like very, very few games that Balloon Boy can actually hurt you, which is kind of funny. Imagine, like, someone ordered a balloon boy to visit your house, and he shows up at your door and just smacks you with the metal balloon thing that he has. Only good balloon boy is Junior's balloon boy? No, I think... I like balloon boy's design. Honestly, hot take. I like Junior's. I think it's, like, a, a fun game. And I, I, I will admit, the mangle boss fight, peak. So, so good. The way the music crescends while the game gets harder, that's awesome. I love that. 
Um, I don't love a lot of the designs in Juniors. Don't get me wrong. Like, the, there's there's definitely like talent. Like, it's very well done. It's just not my preference. I think is what I'm trying to say. I, I, that style doesn't really work for me personally. I would prefer like a Bite at Freddy's kind of visual style. But that's just me. Again, great game. Obviously, a lot of talent went behind that. Um, but I, I don't love the designs personally. DD was my favorite part of the castle just because it annoyed everyone. True. Fair. Have I seen Samuel's FNAF 4 animation? Oh, is that the one with like the, the flat teeth animatronic? Like they've got like uh, realistic mouths and like herbivore teeth, like the flat teeth. I've seen those, those are really, really good. I don't necessarily think they'd be good in the game, but as like a fan animation, they're super, super solid designs. What is Gyat? All right, I'm gonna be super real guys. Yacht died the moment. Here, here's the here's okay. Here's how slang works on the internet anymore. You want to know how slang works on the internet anymore? And you can track this. I swear to God, every single slang term that gets used by Zoomers and Gen Alpha, every single time, this is exactly. Here's the, I'm gonna break it down for you. Here is the cycle of internet slang terminology. There's two cycles. One, which we saw with Phantom Tax. A creator says it a lot, their fans say it a lot, and then everyone starts saying it. That one's pretty straightforward. Here's where Gyat comes in. And in case you're, you're any of my, uh, any older millennials out there, or any rare boomers in chat, here's how things like Gyat have started. And this is, you can see this throughout culture, because it happens a lot. Um, I'm gonna be, here it is, fucking... People, people, especially like white Americans, love stealing other people's shit. Th that's what it is. White culture is stealing other people's culture and pretending like it was yours. And a lot of online slang comes from like POC or other communities, drag queens especially, African, uh, African American communities especially, using a slang terminology once or twice. And like white suburban teenagers using it incorrectly and running it into the ground. Okay? And Gyat is a perfect example of that. You wonder where Gyat came from? It's literally just God damn. It's just God damn. G-Y-A-T-T, -T, damn. It's just an exclamation of God damn. And it was used when someone was very attractive or very hot. It was just like God damn. And that's where Gyat came from. You want to know the moment Gyat died as useful slang terminology? When white suburban middle schoolers was like, were saying shit like, Oh yeah, Gyat is an acronym. It stands for Girl Your Ass Thick. No, it's fucking not, you idiot. It just means goddamn. If you're gonna fucking steal culture, at least do it fucking properly. Gen Z slang is just AAVE. Exactly. Gen Z slang is white kids in the suburbia using AAVE. Exactly. I'm not saying you can't, look, anyone can use slang. I'm not the arbiter. I'm also, I'm, I'm very white. I'm not the arbiter of this shit. I'm just saying, like, if you look on the internet, it's very clear. Uh-oh, I clicked out of the game. We might die. If you look around, it's very clear that the majority of slang terminology Gen Z uses is just like AAVE or like drag queen. Yeah, we died. I clicked out of the game. Fuck. Bonnie's here. What if we just don't look that way? White suburban middle schoolers should not be allowed on the internet. True! Just got on the screen, what the heck? <laughs> Look, I'm just spitting facts. Whole ass lecture on a shitty word. It's not even that, like, this slang is not good or bad or anything like that. I'm just saying. Counts as a loss. Oh, yeah, no, this counts. If I click out of the game by accident and we die, that fully counts. I'm just gonna try to salvage it. Let's just hope Foxy doesn't attack for the next two hours. Freddy is two rooms away. As a black man, it's hilarious seeing that shit. I can imagine. Don't look at cams. Oh, no. Bonnie's in the room. If I open cams, I die. Kyra, uh, Neris, thank you for the incredible hand, too. It's a POC. Thanks for using. Oh, okay. well, thank I, I do my best. Just an ally. 
Okay, so Freddy is now at camp. It, you know it had to happen. I feel like AAV has been fueling slang for as long as it's been around. True. Yeah, no, AAV, if most like slang comes from, white people love stealing other people's shit. <laughs> I'm going to be super real. Most slang terminology comes from like AAVE and then white people misusing it. And then that's where, that's what you mean. Oh, there's so much Baileys in that. Way too much Baileys. That's why I stay in my lane and say shit like cool beans. <laughs> Drink the root beer. It's uh, eggnog and Bailey's. How bad would the hangover be? I'm drinking a lot of water. Like, if you notice, every time I drink out of the alcohol, there's water right here that I'm offsetting it. So there should not be a hangover. Will you camp stall for Freddy? I couldn't. If I opened cameras, I would have died. Because Bonnie was in the room. Is Bonnie in the room with us right now? Just joined out of context AF. Fair, fair. What are we drinking today? It, it's 50-50 dairy-free eggnog, because uh, I have IBS, and uh, Bailey's. God, I keep clicking out of the game. Scott, re-release re your games, but haven't locked the mouse in the fucking game, please, because I keep clicking out of game, and it's going to kill me more than once in the stream, I guarantee it. Ugh. Haven't taken my headphones out because I got a call, Miss Me. <laughs> I told you, Foxy really wanted your booze. True, he's trying to. I don't look, Foxy. I don't have any rum. Leave me alone. Remember to mix your drink. I have been mixing the drink. I think I just put in too many babies. Oh, Foxy's taking. Or Freddy's taking a shit. Bro wants to drink on purpose. No, I'm trying to not. I'm trying to not. It's it's good content. Understand that culture is meant to be shared through all cultures. No, no, no. Phoebe, I'm not saying culture can't be shared. Obviously, culture is meant to be shared and mixed. But, like, it's, there's a, okay, so this could get really deep and philosophical. I'm glad you guys are bringing it up while I'm still mostly sober so I can, like, be eloquent about it. Um, there's a difference between sharing culture and steering, stealing culture. And a big issue, and the reason why a lot of this feels more like stealing is the inherent power structures in especially America um, within like, so the, okay, so let's break this down, right? There's a thing called, um, help me in the chat, I forget the word for it, but it's when you take different forms of uh, like demographics, like class, race, um, economic location, and you compare how they interact. There's a word for that. Um, I forget what the word is. It's like a type of analysis. Uh, no, 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 I'm not talking about cultural appropriation. I'm talking about a type of analysis. Intersectionality. Thank you, X Zilinov. So it's called intersectional uh, intersectional analysis, and it's how different uh, demographics interact. It's like intersectional analysis is how you can see where like just because someone is wealthy doesn't mean, or just because someone is white or black doesn't mean uh, certain things happen. You have to consider well where where do they live? What is their like race and ethnicity compared to where they live? What is their economic status? Stuff like that. So at an intersectional approach. The reason why a lot of the time when black culture is co-opted um, by white culture or drag queen culture is co-opted by straight culture, when, when these cultures are co-opted, the reason it feels more like stealing is because there is a power imbalance, especially when it comes to like drag queen culture versus straight heteronormative culture or black culture versus white culture, because there is that inherent power imbalance in American society, you know, where historically and for many many years with things like redlining and things like redistricting um black voices have been suppressed for so long and black voices have been threatened you know like uh many uh, for th throughout all of culture but especially in american culture um especially in american society uh black culture is often either demonized or told as unprofessional you know like um 
a, a big thing is like with hair, where like natural black hair is often called unprofessional in the workplace, and that's straight up oppression. You know, like you can't be your natural self because of the way you're born. Um, so, that being clear, Freddy's at our door. We're definitely not living this night. Um, <laughs> and this is actually 3:45, so we're going to be moving to FNAF 2. So the reason why a lot of the times um, when white people co-opt black culture or straight people co-opt gay culture, it feels like stealing is because when people of that culture try to express their own culture, often they are uh, demonized or made to feel lesser than because of it. And it feels like a slap in the face, right? It feels like a slap in the face where in all your life you are demonized and made to feel lesser for just expressing your culture. Mm -hmm. And then the people who are demonizing, or the group of people who are demonizing or making you feel lesser, then go on to use it. And that's why there is that feeling of stealing of culture. I hope this is what y'all signed up for when I said I was going to play FNAF games and get drunk. I don't <laughs> but that's... Uh, so anyone who joined in midway through that rant... Well, essentially what we were talking about is like how the difference between why sometimes it feels like people steal culture versus culture is being shared when do you get memberships I'm probably gifted and obnoxious gotta adjust my camera like all the way to the side any cam will do well, the thing is, Clay, uh, Freddy's at our door because I was being bad at it, so I don't really need to check on Freddy. Sounds like I did some good research. I I try to keep informed. Um, we aren't even in the big stage of drunk. No, I'm sober. <laughs> I've had like two sips of my beverage. All of this started because someone asked the meaning of God. True. I mean, well, that's what it comes from, right? Like, God is a perfect example of this where, like, Gyat came from just like, I believe it was an African American in, on TikTok was saying Gyat as in like building up a really powerful god damn as an explanation of, hey, this person is a tracker. But that piece, and that, and that got popular, but that then became part of the culture. And the moment it became part of culture, a lot of white suburban kids who are otherwise, many of them can be racist, but they still come from a group of people that can oppress, um, then turn around and start using that. And then they start misusing that. And then as a oppressed group of people, seeing like, hey, this is something we came up with that's really funny. This is something I came up with that's really funny. And people who demonize me for doing it are now not only using it, but using it improperly too. Like it, it, it feels like a slap in the face. I can't take you seriously saying Gyat. We're doing an academic dissection of Gyat. Uh, I hope you guys are ready for that one. Oh, God. I'm so strong. My tummy hurt it. Piper from Brawl Stars is coming to Clash Royale. Never played Clash Royale, but I have played some Brawl Stars in the past. It's pretty funny. Uh, well, that's been an hour, so we're going to move on to FNAF 2. I, I got to night 5, did not beat night 5. Big shame. Drink 3, though. Exactly, Frankie T. Uh, that's a great uh, point. I want to point, as we're switching games, Frankie T in chat, definitely black students at my high school were treated as unprofessional if they used slang, but white kids could use it all the time and be seen as just being kids. Yeah, like that's a perfect like microcosm of that. Um, and, like, where this issue is. The lore analysis of Gyat. I mean, we essentially just did it. Goddamn 200k. Thank you for the $2 super much. Um, this is very kind. Uh, we're switching over to FNAF 2, aka the worst one. No. <laughs> I've got beef with FNAF 2. It's really just, I don't think the gameplay is very fun. Is what it comes down to. game. We're probably going to die a bunch in here. Three jinx and didn't even beef an apple. That's crazy. Festive nerd! 
It just, I, I spent an hour, we got to night five, I died a couple times because I kept running out of power. Double standards are crazy, exactly. Oh god, I forgot how, I just don't like FNAF 2, man. I'm gonna be super real, where's the music box? Mask flash music box. Yeah, I gotta get. That's true. I should practice the like immediate masking that you have to do on like night four and five. <laughs> immediate masking, aka me walking into a public space. Foxy should be in Smash. True. Dies, drinks, <laughs> gets drunk, dies even more. Repeat. Yeah, this is gonna spiral. I can tell. Map field console pretty fun. Gameplay feels much better there. I can imagine. Poor Rise liver. Now, I don't drink a lot. My liver will be fine. I do have a spot on my liver from the hospital overdosing me on Tylenol when I was like eight. Try to have an open mind. I'm not going to dog on it. Here, here, you know what? I will say something positive about FNAF 2. I think the camera renders are some of the best in the franchise. But that's also partly why I get so angry about FNAF 2, is you're never allowed to actually look at these fucking camera renders because all you're allowed to do is wind the music box. Like, I wish I could look at the cameras more. I said this on the podcast, I genuinely think Phaser Blast FNAF 2 in Help Wanted 2 is a better FNAF game than, Help Wanted, than FNAF 2 is. Why are people wetting in chat? What'd I say? Oh, oh, the liver thing. Yeah, it's funny. Funny. I didn't die. Had the best trailer of all. I had a pretty good trailer. Pic I have pictures of my liver when I had to get my gallbladder removed. That's wild, Juno. I can't imagine knowing what one of my organs looks like. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Phaser Blast stressed me out to watch. True. Phaser Blast was my least favorite minigame. Help on 2, can't lie. I think it's really fun. Oh, were you guys wetting when I said FNA Phaser Blast FNAF 2 is more effective? No, for real, because in Phaser Blast FNAF 2, each of the animatronics do something a little bit differently, and you have to respond differently to them. And I think that's more effective of a FNAF game than Mask or Light, and that's it. Pandapool, thank you for the incredibly kind five. Hi, Ryan, love the vids. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you. That's incredibly kind. I just do what makes a new UCN using the newly made characters like Glitchrap, Benny, and etc. That'd be hog. I'm still incredibly surprised that we haven't gotten a traditional FNAF style game with the new characters. Like, why is there not a custom night in Security Breach? And furthermore, why has nobody made a fan game that's just Security Breach custom night? Though, like, what do you- what? I understand, like, we need to do new gameplay and stuff, but, like, why are you not also doing- a custom night for security breach. That's insane to me. Planning on asking my surgeon to take pictures during top surgery? Oh, I'm excited for your top surgery. That's super poggers. Help on two bunny bowls, the worst minigame? It's, I think it's fun. I just, the issue is VR bowling is kind of weird and wacky. But as a game, I think it's fine. I think bunny bowl would be more fun if, um, I think Bonnie Bowling would be more fun if it was less uh, systemized, where like things happen at the beginning of your round, then everything resets. I think it would be more fun if it was just like things would happen randomly as you were playing, not like at a specific time. It makes it feel like more of a formality and less of a threat. Oh, there's the meme sound effect. Just returned, what did I miss? Ah, not much paper bag, just some politics. Oh yeah, y'all see what was happening on my fucking Twitter today? So last night, um, I saw on Twitter that somebody like, some British conservative, some like fucking Tory, I don't know the British politics, um, was talking about the, a Christmas carol. Seventh animation was the incredible kind five, go drink along, but I got thirsty and drank all my soda. Fair enough. Um, they were talking about a Christmas carol and they were like, isn't it so interesting that as an adult rewatching a Christmas carol, 
The tale of Scrooge is actually a retelling of conservative politics, where their woke family members tried, like, unironically saying that Scrooge was the good guy. So I made a tweet where I was just like, insane to me that a conservative can be like, hey, I relate so much to Scrooge, a villain who's no so notoriously bad that their that his name is an insult. And you can do that and and not get the point that you're not you don't have good politics. So so I, I retweeted that and I said that, but I, it opened with gotta love conservatives so and so and so and so. Um, and so I think some people thought that I was unironically saying that you have to love conservatives, so I took down that tweet. I was like, no 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 no, I do not fucking listen. I'm very outspoken politically and I'm very left leaning. Is this just politics? Nah, it's just while we're still on the topic. It, it, it happened last night, so it's still... Oh, it came to mind. Scrooge the good guy. For real, for real. I watched George C. Scott Christmas Carol every year. Wait, which one's that? The only Christmas Carol I know of is... Honestly, the one I probably watch the most is... Um, is Puppets a Christmas Carol? I watched the puppet, uh, uh, sorry, not puppet, the Muppet movie, A Christmas Carol, so, like, every year. I love Muppet movies. They're so, they're peak. I probably watch, uh, Muppet movie, A Christmas Carol the most of, like, any of the Christmas carols. Muppets Pog. Yeah, Muppets are so good. Good guy in the end. Yeah, no, like, Scrooge turns around at the end, but they were saying, like, beginning of the Christmas Carol, Scrooge was, like, a good guy. And I'm like, no! He's notoriously a terrible dude! How do you how do you read a, or watch A Christmas Carol and think the beginning of the movie, Scrooge, is a good guy? <laughs> Jim Carrey's Grinch, a classic. Muppets Christmas Carol's your late husband's favorite. Well, I, I, I think Muppets is a really good, like, uh, I always call Muppets like good like family entertainment where like it's great for the kids but it's also really entertaining for the adults too Muppets is so so good Rankin Bass better okay Rankin Bass clears I will say uh, fucking a uh, 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 year without a yeah, Santa Claus goes like so model. hard yeah, only for Heat Miser Cold Miser uh, I think as I okay here's, here's the take the of the Rankin Bass Christmas movies I think Santa Claus is coming to town. Is that the one where it's like the Santa origin story? That one's probably the best Rankin Bass. And then it's Year Without a Santa Claus, and then it's uh, Rudolph. But hear me out, hear me out. Heat Miser, Cold Miser, best songs in the entire catalog. Holy Heat Miser, Cold Miser is so good. Hot Take Modern Muppets, isn't that great? I really haven't kept up with it. I just, my mom has the entirety of the original Muppet show on DVD, and that's what we watch. And like all the movies. Watches Elf every year. Uh, here's my hot take. Elf is like an alright movie, but it's really overplayed. Like, there's nothing wrong with Elf. I just... I think Jim Carrey can hold a movie together a lot more than Will Ferrell. I think he's a little much for me. And that's just my taste. Polar Express clears. Yo, I haven't watched Polar Express in forever. Fucking hot, hot, hot. We got it. Polar Express is so good. Kind of weird to have that weirdly realistic 3D animation that early, but I mean, it's not bad. He might as well your slaps. Yeah. And the fact that they're both like just <laughs> mama's boys, gotta love it. Or mother nature's like, hold on, my sons are being assholes. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about my asshole sons. Hot take Rudolph shiny New Year's the best ring of best. Is that the Rudolph movie? Is there more than one Rudolph movie? I only know the one... Rudolph movie with the elf that wants to be a dentist, which is really funny. G shout out the plot point being a toy maker elf wants to be a dentist. That's like, that's like modern levels of funny writing, to be honest. That holds up really well. Unpopular opinion, Christmas story isn't that good. I don't think that's too unpopular. I like a Christmas story a lot, but it's not like amazing or like the best Christmas movie by any means. Bad Xmas movie is junk Jingle All the Way. I don't think I've ever seen Jingle All the Way. I don't know what that is. When I was little, thought 
<laughs> when you were little, you thought uh, Polo Express was live action. I mean, valid, especially if you're like really little, and that's like the first time you're seeing CGI animation. Nightmare Before Christmas is really good Christmas movie. True, I tend to think of Nightmare Before Christmas more as a Halloween movie, but it is good. Fuck Tim Allen, but the Santa Claus is so clever and good. Here's the th okay. Here's the funny thing about Tim Allen, and I've noticed this. I've always wanted to make like a four-hour video on this. Tim Allen is an enigma. I don't like him as a person at all. And I've noticed every time Tim Allen is a character in a movie or TV show, he plays the same exact character. The gruff asshole. But here's the thing. The moral of these movies that Tim Allen is in is always the same. From what I can see, except for maybe Santa Claus 1. But everything I've seen Tim Allen in the moral of the story is never that Tim Allen learns to be a better person. It is consistently that the people around Tim Allen's character learn to love him in spite of him being kind of an asshole. Which is really funny to me. That like consistently, Tim Allen, who himself is kind of an asshole, consistently plays characters who everyone else just has to learn to like. <laughs> like, what, what is going on in the writing writer's room of these games? Oh, hi, Bonnie. Just like Adam Sandler? I wouldn't say so. I actually just watched Leo today. What an acid trip. Nobody warned me Leo was a musical. I went into Leo being like, oh yeah, it'll be like an okay, cute movie about like growing up or whatever. And it's a fucking unironic musical. <laughs> like no one warned me about this. I don't think the music was necessary at all. Like do what you want, I guess. It was very strange to have it be a musical. It was an alright movie though. Maybe a hot take, I don't like the Home Alone movies. Um, I don't know if it's a hot take. They're kind of mid. I mean, they're like good slapstick, but they're not like the pinnacle of a Christmas movie or anything. Why don't people like Tim Allen? He's just kind of an asshole in his personal life. Very Roseanne Parr coded. Like, you're welcome to like him. It's I, I don't care. I just don't like him. Also, Last Man Standing really rubbed me the wrong way. Can you believe Fox canceled Lucifer to put on more Last Man Standing? Thank God Netflix picked it up. I would have been so pissed if Lucifer ended forever because of The Last Man Standing. It's a musical, right? It's not advertised as a musical at fucking all. But Leo is a musical, like with many songs in it. You wouldn't know by the advertising. They never say it's a musical, but it is. It felt like a jump scare. I gotta flick my light. I keep f holding the flashlight and it's gonna die and it's only 4 a.m. Any Christmas, mo Christmas movies you fully like? Um, well, like I said, Muppet mo uh, Muppets A Christmas Carol. Peak Christmas movie right there. But that's more so because it's a Muppet movie. Um, I do really genuinely like most of the Rankin Bass movies. That's probably like peak Christmas movie for me. Other Christmas movies. What other Christmas movies? I mean, the Santa Claus is okay. Like I said, it's like one of the few Tim Allen movies that's actually pretty good. People are gonna walk into the Mean Girls movie musical and have the same experience. I actually, I had a, such a brain fart. I'm so musical brained that we got a commercial for. The, we, when we want, went to see the FNAF movie in theaters, we got the trailer for Mean Girls, the musical movie. But they just advertised it as Mean Girls. And the song they use is um, Burn. Or World Burn, I think. It's the, the my name is Regina George. It's like that song. And as I'm watching the trailer, I turn to Amanda and I'm like, why are they remaking Mean Girls? The game's only like, the movie's only like less than 10 years old. Why are they remaking it already? And she was like, well, you know, they never did it like that. I was like, what do you, what do you mean? And she was like, they never did it with the songs. 
because it's the musical. And I was like, there was like, and then it clicked. And for, I realized that for that moment, I forgot that the songs from the Mean Girls musical aren't in the movie because I'm so, I love the Mean Girls musical a lot. So <laughs> I like, I just didn't process. Are we gonna try and beat Security Beach? We're probably not gonna beat it. Uh, we're gonna try our best. We're play. We're playing each game for an hour. Quack quack sound effect. True. Night three. Pog. Shut up. Realize I never honked the nose. My bad. Sorry, chat. How drunk is he? I just joined. I've only had like three drinks. I'm doing all right. Repo the genetic opera is so fun. It's okay. It's got some really banger tracks in it. The actual musical is okay. But the, tr the songs are really good, I will say. Isn't Mean Girls 20 years old? Mean Girls is 20 years old? No shot. Is it a fucking 90s movie? I thought Mean Girls came out in like 2010. Am I wrong? Am I just straight up super wrong? Favorite Christmas song? Either you're a mean one, Minster Grinch, or Heat Miser, Cold Miser. Those are I probably just because they're the most in my range to sing, and they're the most fun to sing. Mean Girls turns 20 next year. Oh, at least it's still in the 2000s. I keep forgetting that shit that came out in the early 2000s is 20 years old now because we're in like 2023. Oh my God, Foxy, fuck off. Do you know what Billy Bust Up is? I'm really excited to play it. It's still in early access, right? I, I do know what Billy Bust Up is. It looks super, super fun, especially as a fan of musicals. <laughs> 20 years ago is 2003, right? Like, I'm, look, I'm only 25. I'm not, like, I don't have a lot of memories of early 2000s, but it's weird to me to say 20 years ago and not mean the 90s. Kyra with, uh, Kyra with incredibly kind $2 again. Thank you very much. Um, what are y'all's favorite not at all Christmas, but definitely Christmas movies? Um, that's a good question. Hmm. I've never seen Die Hard. That's one of my confessions. I know a lot of people are like, oh, Die Hard's a Christmas movie, and it's like a haha -ha funny joke. I've just never seen it, so I can't really talk much about it. Um... I don't know. Krampus? That's a good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Sorry, I really like, I like game shows. The Trolls Holiday Special, which is a fucking acid trip. Nah, I don't know. New, yeah, like Die Hard is... It's, at this point, guys, I'm going to be honest, the Die Hard joke isn't that funny. Like it's like it's fine to say it and to mean it, but like I feel like everyone who says that Die Hard is their favorite Christmas movie thinks there's a they're a fucking genius comedian, as if it's not a joke I've heard a thousand times every Christmas. Blows my mind to think the 80s were 30 plus years ago. Jack, I was going to say 30 plus because Jack, bad news. Part of the 80s was 40 years ago at this point. Rise of the Guardians. Ooh, that's a good answer. Rise of the Guardians goes hard, but it's not like necessarily a Christmas movie. It just has Santa. In it. Rise of the Guardians is a good ass movie. That was one of the first few. That was one of the first dates me and Amanda went on. God, uh, y'all remember the Tumblr sexy manification of Jack Frost from Rise of the Guardians? Remember the fucking Jack Frost Elsa shipping on Tumblr after Rise of the Guardians came out? Holy shit. I guess after Frozen came out. You could not escape Jack Frost and Elsa ship art. Holy shit. What if Rent is your favorite Christmas musical? I mean, valid. I, I, I have a soft spot for Rent, but I do have problems with it. My, my hot take, which is not really a hot take, but I feel like Rent is a movie about trying to make it and struggle, written from the perspective of somebody who's never struggled for a thing in their fucking life. <laughs> and look, I like Rent a lot. I'm not dogging on Rent. 
but just some of the shit that gets said in Rent is so, like, privileged to say. <laughs> Not Elsa and Jack Frost LMAO. I'm right. I'm sorry Sorry to just, like, activate every sleeper agent in the chat and give you horrible flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, 2010's Tumblr was a fucking... Oh. 2010's Tumblr was a different fucking time. Holy <laughs> I kind of forgot we're on night three already. I hated Jelsa. Yeah, who the fuck ships Jack Frost with? Who who the fuck ships Jack Frost with Elsa when the Easter Bunny's right there? <sighs> Drink now before. You gotta be quicker than that. Rise of the Brave Tangles Frozen Dragons. True. I never watched Brave. I do really like How to Train a Dragon, though. That whole trilogy is peak. Have I seen Tick, Tick, Boom? I still have not been able to see Tick, Tick, Boom. I kind of want to, though. Uh, some of the music in this is pretty good. Rent takes place in 1990. Coughs. True. Thank you for the $2, Cryptid. Jack has a child? Is he? I don't remember. Isn't he like immortal? I don't know. I'm watching that. I'm just saying uh, that was like before Frozen came out. I feel like all the art was um, Jack and like the fucking Easter Bunny or something. I don't remember the dynamics. Oh, I clicked out of the game. Oops. I don't know. He was never for me, I will say. All I remember is Tumblr in 2012 was insufferable after Rise of the Guardians. How many fast games ago am I going to play today? All of them. Thoughts about Ben getting a movie? I think it's going to be really fun. Avid Breakfast Club hater, which isn't a Christmas movie. Um, do people call Breakfast Club a Christmas movie? I don't remember it that much. I didn't really watch it a lot. I just know a lot about it. Mmm. Look, let's just not get into the discourse. All I'm saying is Tumblr was insufferable after Rise of the Guardians, and we'll leave it at that. Oh, you're right. People did ship Jack of the Tooth Fairy a lot, which felt weird. I don't know. Let's not get into the discourse. Rise of the Guardians DS game slap? Probably. The movie was pretty fucking good. I like the Rise of the Guardians movie a lot. But I just... <laughs> Tumblr was insufferable after it came out. <laughs> I mean, Tumblr's always been kind of a hellscape. But that's why we love Tumblr. Freddy in Space 3 is where it gets really good. Um, I don't have it slotted just because we don't have a lot of time. If we beat a game early, we can boot it up. But also, I'm not going to die in Freddy in Space 3 because I'm good. What was my opinion on the Gremlins franchise? Never really watched it. Chad, is Ryan going to die again? Probably. Ace Attorney's peak Christmas media? Never played Ace Attorney. I hear it's good. Am I going to be playing the spinoff games? No, we're only playing the official games, uh, including FNAF World, not including UCN. Because, like, doing, like beat it and try not to die doesn't really work with UCN because it's such a sandbox. So instead of UCN, we're doing FNAF World. You just have to embrace the craziness. True. I miss Tumblr sometimes. I still have a Tumblr. I just don't use it a lot. If I use Tumblr, it's just to watch like people's nice comics of like Zelda and stuff. Tangled's peak movie. I'm kind of surprised that like Frozen blew up the way it did, but Tangled never did. Because for my money, I think Tangled's the better. Tangled is a better movie than Frozen. I don't, I don't hate Frozen by any means. I just think Tangled's a better movie. Zachary Levi kills it as Eugene. Um, I think it's Mandy Moore kills it as um. Fuck, that was so slow as Rapunzel. Oh, that was so slow. My reaction time. Drink number five. Drink number five. Why does Elizabeth die before the MCI? No, not not my opinion. Actually, Friday's video is all about 
what Help Wanted 2 tells us about the early order, and I don't think people are going to like my conclusion, but whatever. Music is better, too. True. I love the Tangled songs. I will not be playing Furious Rage. You know what, actually, while we're still talking about shipping culture, you know what's so surprising to me? So many people simp over villains and media, and I totally get that. I feel like nobody ever talks about Mother Gothel when they bring up, like, baddie villains. Because, like, Mother Gothel's literally whole thing is she wants to be a MILF forever. Why do people not bring her up when they talk about hot Disney villains? Am I crazy? Like, I feel like people need to bring her up more in those conversations. Is it just because Tangled wasn't as popular as other Disney movies? True, she is hot. True, she's... Right? Like, I'm not fucking crazy. She's a baddie. <laughs> Sayu, look. Uh, we're a little tipsy talking about shipping. But I'm right, though. She's a baddie. Her whole goal in the entire movie is to be a baddie for eternity. Like, what the f... <laughs> I feel like everyone's like, like when you bring up Frozen, people are like, oh, like Hans is hot. And like Hans is the most fucking white bread, basic ass villain I've ever seen. And you're not going to talk about literally a villain with mother in her name. You're crazy. Like, come on. It's right there. Hard disagree. Mother Gothel is all over your feed. Really? I don't see any mother. Am I just not following the right, like, people? Dr. Facilier. You know what? So valid. Oh, here's my, here's my hot take. First off, Princess and the Frog probably my favorite Disney movie. It's so, so, so good. Here's my hot take. I don't even know if it's a hot take, probably a cool take. If Friends on the Other Side was a full length song and didn't have the like two minute card interlude, then I think it would probably be the best uh, Disney villain song of all time. The beginning and end of Friends on the Other Side is so, so, so very solid but it's held back by the two minutes of basically dialogue in the middle. Cause holy, holy shit is the rest of Friends on the Other Side so good. She's a baby kidnapper? She's a villain! They're all bad people! I'm not saying Mother Gothel's a good person. I'm just saying she's hot. Like, chill. <laughs> Princess of Frog Fest movie. Oh, that was slow we did. Are you ready? Bam, 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 bam. Are you ready? That song's so good. Are you kidding me? Clay Fallon, I don't believe you. Chat, here's any... First off, don't do that, because that would not be a smart use of your money. But chat, uh, always keep in mind, if anyone ever pays you to do something, make sure they pay first. I'm just saying. Evangeline is also a most romantic Disney. Oh, Evangeline's such a good song. The Princess and the Frog soundtrack goes so hard. It's I think Princess and the Frog is my favorite Disney movie. It's so so good. You can in fact <laughs> I've read in chat, you can in fact be a an awful person and hot. It's possible. True. Mother Gothel kind of Lady Demetrust vibes. It's similar. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that take, though. Is it just Withered's on Night 3? I feel like I haven't seen any of the toys. I should probably just start masking them when I get out of camps at this point, huh? Just for preservation's sake. Hellfire is literal fire. True! Oh my god, I totally forgot about Hellfire for a second. Hellfire is... Okay, here's the thing. Hellfire is a great villain song. But it's not as much as a, of a bop as the beginning of, of Friends on the Other Side. Don't get me wrong. Hellfire is an amazing song and very effective for that villain. But it's not as good of like a standalone song for me. Because I, I want your villain song to like bop too. I want to be able to jam out. I, I will say this is... I haven't seen Wish yet. So I've heard this is the thanks I get is kind of good. I have not heard it yet. Besides what like the snippet they sent out on Twitter is. Also, Mother Knows Best, great, great villain song, true. I, oh, another somewhat spicy take. Um, so Mother Knows Best, good song. 
if anyone who's watched Tangled, she gets a somewhat very brief reprise after Rapunzel says no to her. And I think if they gave Mother Gothel a full, full-on villain reprise of Mother Knows Best, that would also be a contender for best villain song. Because the little bit they do give us is super solid. What about I Got No Time? What movie is that from? Doesn't sound familiar. Oh, that might be death. Took me a while. Hercules soundtrack does through. Damn it. We were so close. Hercules does have a banging soundtrack. Hercules is in my top five for sure, for sure. What was that, drink number six? We only have ten more minutes of FNAF 2. We can do this, chat. I have not played Kingdom Hearts 3. Of course, poor Bruno isn't a villain, but his song. Oh, yeah. Look, say what you want about all the um, um, Lin-Manuel Miranda songs coming out of Disney right now. We don't talk about Bruno as a bop, and you can't deny that. Poor Unfortunate Soul Erasure. Okay, look, every villain song is good. And I do love Poor Unfortunate Souls. Especially, like, when it's performed in a musical and they get, like, an actual drag queen for it. Um, but here's kind of a hot take. I don't think Poor Unfortunate Souls is Ursula's best song. If anyone who's seen the Little Mermaid, like, stage, play stage musical... I Want the Good Times Back is such a good, gleefully evil song for Ursula. It's so good. It's just her reminiscing about being, like, outright evil for, like, a whole song. I love it. Someone said King Candy can hit me up any day. You mean the, like, manifestation of fucking... Oh, who... Who's King Candy? Is that, um, Tudic? Alan Tudic? Hello. I think it is. But it's literally just him incarnate. <laughs> Look, no, uh, nothing. To, uh, King Candy's a great character, but he's not hot. <laughs> he's fucking King Candy. Coco soundtrack certified banger. Yo, I first off love Coco. My toddler loves the Coco soundtrack so much so that whenever we're watching Coco, and there's those like three scenes where it's a really close up shot of guitar playing. He'll always run up to the screen and try to play the guitar on the screen. So we ended up buying him a little ukulele. So it's like a guitar that's his size and he'll strum along with the movie. It's so fucking cute. Just listen, I got friends on the other side. It's fire, right? Like, wouldn't it, if it was just like a full version of the beginning and end of that song, it would be such a peak song for me. King Candy when he's in bug form? Obnoxious, you monster fucker. I should have known you. Were you the first person that said King Candy? Of course you'd like bug form obnoxious. Remember me is the Coco song is so good. My toddler absolutely loves and will sing along to the duo version in the credits, like the like Spanish pop version. He loves that version. Like he'll sing along to all of them, but he will sing along to that version. Even the Spanish. And he doesn't know Spanish. He just knows how to, like, sound the words properly. I mean, he doesn't really know English yet either, because he's, like, two, but, you know. Not people agreeing in chat with Obnoxious that King Candy bug form is hot. Y'all are y'all are on something. What are we talking about? We're talking about, like, uh, villains in especially Disney and Pixar movies. And which ones are hot and which ones aren't. Kayla, uh, who said that? Trisha, I'm glad you felt comfortable to confess that. I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. Poco Loco? Oh, yeah, Poco Loco. I think if I had to pick a favorite song from Coco, it'd probably be Proud Corazon. That's the one he sings at the end. Like, when it's him celebrating with his family in the next Dia de los Muertos. I I'm a little tipsy, so apologies. Uh, for tri tripping over my words. Uh, that's a really cute song. The one with uh, the, like, where he's, like, just singing about how much he loves his family and stuff. It's really cute. Oh, that was so slow. Okay. Rising King Shaming did just bagled. <laughs> what does bagled mean? <laughs> 
Book of Life was sick. I still need to watch Book of Life. I haven't had the time to watch it yet. It looks so good. Tangled does have a show. Oh, I've heard the Tangled show is really... I didn't watch any of it, but I've heard the Tangled show is really good. Have I heard the music from Bluey? I have a toddler. Of course I've heard the... One of his first, like, requests ever was looking at the TV and going, Bluey, I love Bluey. And I do too. It's a great show. Uh, but yeah, we have a Spotify playlist for music for our toddler. And on that playlist is, like, all the released albums for Bluey. It's really nice music. Also, the full version of the Bluey theme goes unreasonably hard. There's like a guitar solo, a saxophone solo. It's crazy. Hades is objectively the hottest Disney villain, but his anger issues kill it for me. Okay, are you saying it as a pun because he's like made of fire? Because I wouldn't say objectively hottest Disney villain, unless it's a pun, then based. Pineapple, the incredible kind two pounds sterling, I believe. Coco was the first Disney movie that made me cry. Oh yeah, first time I watched Coco, I cried like a baby. Balloon Boy, can you fuck off? <laughs> Guys, I feel like my ADHD is kicking. <laughs> Maybe just FNAF 2 does it to me. Coco made me cry like a little baby. A couple episodes of Bluey made me cry like a little baby. Um, apparently in the new episodes of Bluey coming to Disney+, Plus, one of them deals with Chili's mom being dead. And that's probably going to make me cry too. The th if you want to know, the thing in media that always gets me to cry, it's not necessarily other characters being sad or crying. It's when a character's like trying not to cry and then after a while they eventually do cry. That breaking point, that makes me fucking fall my ass out. Holy shit, that gets me. Um, I don't know if anybody's watched Lucifer. Um, but spoilers, there's a, a character in it who eventually- <laughs> Damn it. Well, that's time. We're gonna move on to FNAF 3 now. It's like drink number seven. Um, there's a character that eventually dies who's somebody else's love interest. And he's like, he's one of the detectives on the like case. And he's like trying to bottle it up. And he, and he for a while does bottle it up for a long time. And then by the end of the episode, it cuts to, um, that's what, for anyone wondering, this is the alcohol. Um, it cuts to him in his apartment and he just starts trashing his apartment and like sobbing. And that shit made me fucking sob. Oh my God. That got me so good. What night did we make it to? Night three. I'm not good at FNAF two. <laughs> and also my, for whatever reason, my reaction time is slightly, um, slightly inebriated. Actually, someone in chat pointed out, I should try to stand up and see what happens. How are we doing? Not too tipsy. We're uh, we're about seven drinks into a very large mixed beverage. And I would say I'm too tipsy. I feel I'm at the point where, like, my head feels a little heavy. But we're doing okay. Have I heard One Piece Jingle Bells? Oh, it's so cute when they get all the characters to sing. FNAF 3 is the only game I can confidently say I 100%. Oh, yeah, we are going to get all of the mini games in this. Worst jump scare time? True! No, but Lucifer at the piano in the last season. I did not get to see the last season yet. No spoilers. We're re-watching we're re it now, so I can. Eventually. Um, is there any... Lore? For FNAF 3? Not lore. Is there any... Sorry. Fuck. <laughs> Is there any mini game you're supposed to get in uh, night one? I don't remember. Um, I know you have to do Mangle's Quest and then Balloon World. Is Mangle's Quest... I don't think so, because I think you need... I think you can access Balloon Boy, 
but you can't get Mangle's quest until night two, so it doesn't matter. Am I right? Make sure to drink water and get some food. I will be, I think my, my scheduled break is six o'clock to go get some food and like hit the bathroom and all that. And then we'll be back. You need Balloon Boy? I don't think we need it yet though. Or we need Balloon Boy and then we do Mangle. Oh, you know what? You're right, you're right. Let's do Balloon Boy. Okay, so we can't do it yet though. We have to wait till night two. Balloon Boy, then Mangle, then BB Cupcake. Right, right. We get the balloon from Balloon Boy. We do Mangle's quest to get the cake. And then we do Balloon Boy again with the cake. I remember that. Thank you. Thank God we have chat. Night one has no mini games. We're just vibing. I'll just vibe then. How's chat doing? Oh, oh I should not do that. I have pit stains. Oops. I'm, I, I, I'd be sweating though. <laughs> Double click, BB? Oh, shit. We can do Balloon Boy. Okay, cool. I didn't know we could do Balloon Boy. I didn't double click, that's my bad. Holy shit, I don't even know what currency that is. Mrs. Trap, thank you very much for the, this is just a dollar in USA money. Okay, thank you for clarifying, cause I was like, did you just fucking, okay. Thank, thank you for clarifying, Mrs. Trap. Still incredibly kind for the dollar. Happy early New Year's ride, don't forget out this is like a dollar in USA money. Well, thank you, that's incredibly kind. I think Foxy does a conversion rate when he pops up. We're a little tipsy. I have Lucifer on my list, but Grandma says it's good. Feel like we need more movies like Coco for good representation. Also shows like Amphibio with Thai culture representation. True. Yeah, Lucifer is really good. You gotta be careful because like the, it, there's always the thing about like watching detective shows. A lot of them are very much like propaganda and shit, where it's like the bad guy is the lawyers defending people, and the good guy is always the cops. It's like uh, that kind of doesn't work in today's episode. Um, <laughs> um, but I feel like Lucifer does a pretty good job at not dwelling on that for too long. And also, here's a fun fact. All the, like, <laughs> main cast members of Lucifer are hot. We got Lucifer, Chloe, uh, Dan, who else? Amenadiel, Maze, uh, Linda. Like, all these characters are hot. Got super behind, how did that happen? I have no idea, but you can click the live button to catch up. Uh, might be a hot take, but I think Stephen Universe is a terrible show that teaches a really bad lesson. I've never watched it, so I don't know. Oh, I saw that, Jay the Gaming Panda. I hope that those that office gets sued for everything they're fucking worth. Has that one text always been green? I don't know. Ella. Oh, Ella. True. Almost forgot about Ella. Tom Ellis is a work of art. Who uh, does Tom Ellis play? Yeah. Also, great character writing. That's the thing about Lucifer. All the characters have so there. Lucifer is really good at having like a realistic character arc that feels earned. He's Lucifer. Oh well, then yeah, I could <laughs> I could list the ways in which I like Tom Ellis. <laughs> Ella from the novels? No, no, no. We're talking about Lucifer. Am I going to play Glitched Attraction Christmas? Oh, do they have a Christmas update? I didn't know. What's your opinion on the current state of the Marvel movies? I'm curious about your opinion. I actually haven't really kept up with Marvel. I think the last Marvel movie I, like, fully watched by my own accord was, like, Iron Man 2. I just... I never really kept up with it, and then it felt too, like, overwhelming, so I never went into it afterwards. Speech to text really dropped the ball on that one. Rip. I don't remember the Frozen short that went on for 20 minutes. Oh, the like wedding one? That was weird. 
Maze's outfits in Lucifer are so good. Oh yeah, Ma all uh, Maze's fashion in Lucifer is really, really solid. <clears throat> Should I play Hep One or Two? Even though I've already watched you and ID's video on the lore. If you just want it for lore, then don't. But it is an incredibly fun game to play, so I do recommend it. Have I watched Infinity Train? No, I really want to. Infinity Train and like Bee and Puppy Cat are up there of like shows I really want to watch that I haven't had time yet to. Oh my neck. Just watch Spider Man movies and you're good most of the rest of my ass. I think most of it's ass. Um, I've watched many of the uh, new Spider-Man movies. I really mean to, because I've watched all the other ones. Like, obviously, I watched the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. Those are really, really solid. I like them a lot. Um, I never watched any of the Tom Holland Spider-Man movies. I didn't avoid them. I just didn't have time. I'm not just an incredibly kind $20. Merry holidays, Ryan. Thank you for making amazing content. Let me be a monster fucker in your chat. <laughs> you know what? Thank you. That's incredibly kind. Um, much too much, but uh, thank you anyway. And also, uh, quit fucking so many monsters, obnoxious. <laughs> Watch me and get when you can. I, it looks really fun and, like, cute. Speaking about Lucifer, I'm excited for Hasbun Hotel to come out. I like the design of Lucifer by Vizzy Pop. I did see that design. I'm excited for Hasbun Hotel. I like... Vivzy Pops' stuff. I, I like I genuinely like Hell of a Boss and I'm excited for Has Been Hotel. Um I'm more excited for Has Been Hotel than I am Hell of a Boss. Um I'm also excited to see where Amazing Digital Circus goes. It looked very fun. The like first episode was really fun. Sam Raimi Spider Man trilogy. It's so fun. Not necessarily a good Spider-Man trilogy, but it's really fun. How do you get to me? Hey man, okay, Number I have some is... awesome news for you. First of all, we found some okay. vintage hey, audio training there? cassettes. Let me just Dude, these are like really how do you <laughs> hang out I think they were like bit. training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like we can, have like, them playing like over the try to speakers out. as people walk through the attraction. How do I get to so that makes this feel legit, the man. But I have an even better surprise for you. You're not gonna believe. Okay, it is. Ah, shit. <laughs> that doesn't count as a death. There we go. How toasty am I feeling? I'm a little tipsy. I'm a little loosey goosey. That does not count as a death chat. Yeah, I do remember. We do this to get the cake and then we do Balloon Boy again. And then I believe the next night is Chica. It counts, though it does not. You lie. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, fuck. Shit. Parkour! It counts. You know what? I'm only gonna say these count because I'm probably not gonna die in the actual FNAF 3 gameplay. So you know what? Fine. It counts. But two drinks. One, two, bronze sushi. That's going to be incredibly helpful when we're at night four. It's night two right now, so not yet, but it will be incredibly helpful when we get there. There we go. We did it, chat. What do you drink is that least whiskey? So for the holidays, it's half eggnog and half Bailey's. I'll call it a Stanley. No, 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 it's off brand. I call it my Stanford. I got it from fucking Timu for like 10 bucks. <laughs> it's okay, but it's definitely off brand. And yes, the, the, the 
the this is water. The like bottle on my left is water. Nine drinks now, probably. Being all the FNAF games back to back. We're not beating, we're playing each of them for an hour. Okay, so now do balloon boy. You. Have I watched any Spider-Verse films? I watched the first one. I have not watched the second one yet. I really want to. Part of it is that my wife hasn't watched the first one yet, and I want to watch the second one with her. So I'm just waiting to have time to sit her down and watch both. Because they were really, really good. At least the first one was really, really good. Is that a black and green arrow bottle? Yeah, it's the metal arrow bottle with the green attachments. It's not flavored. It's lime, but I, I have it regular right now. What happens if I drink all the alcohol? I mean, I'll probably just get, like, a glass of wine. Um, okay, after we beat... Hold on. Okay, after I beat this one, I'll come up. Like, this level. After we beat this level, because we can't really, like, pause... Hello? Um... I have to go help uh, my wife get out of nap. Timu steals our info, don't. Uh, I heard that. I didn't look into it too much, because I, I only heard about that in post. And I'm just probably not going to work with them again. Um, but just correct me if I'm wrong. From what I understand, like, the info that they're stealing is, like, what everything steals from you? I could be wrong. I'm not here defending Timu. It's not a good Hi. app, necessarily. It's just, like, you, you pay for a low price and you get a shitty product, you know? Air up, though. Air up's really popular. Not sponsored. At least not right now. I've been sponsored in the past by both of them. <laughs> how many shots in am I? I don't know, chat. How many times have I died? Like, 11? Let's see. I died three times in FNAF 1. I died... Six times in FNAF 2? And I've died twice in minigames in FNAF 3. If this is live, how can I play in two times speed? Um, you would have to go back in the stream Hello. and then catch up in two times speed. Anyway, this is the easiest FNAF game, so I don't I think we're only really gonna die in the minigames here. Unpopular opinion, but FNAF 3 is your favorite. <laughs> uh that is an unpopular opinion. I don't think you're necessarily wrong in thinking that. I really like FNAF 3 because I think the lore in FNAF 3 is done the best. I think the way you get access to the lore in this game is done really, really well. But I admit the gameplay kind of sucks. <laughs> You're able to watch it two times a week because it allows you to catch up. Yeah, exactly. Have you seen Invincible? It's really good. I think you'll like it. I have not watched it yet. It looks pretty good. No, you're not a time consumer. My holdup with Arup is having monthly subscription for water. Hello. Um, I mean, again, not sponsored by Arup, but you don't need to. I, what I generally do is I'll leave one of the pods in there. Because it sucks to drink out of if there isn't a flavor pod in there. But I'll usually leave a flavor pod in for like a month or so. And it only works for like the first week. Hello. But it's also just a good water bottle after that. I just think it's like a pretty good water bottle. Uh-oh. Willie's on the loose and we need to reset our audio. Oh, he's in the vent. Okay, I think I already locked it, but we'll double check. Yeah, he's back. Is FNAF 3 easier than Sister Location? Um, that's, that's a hard question because, like, obviously we're not talking about Sister Location Custom Night. That's really good. That has difficulty. Sister Location, besides the FNAF Night 2 and Night 4, really doesn't have a lot of gameplay. So, like, I think Night 4 Sister Location, the Spring Locks, is harder than anything in FNAF 3. But I think the rest of Sister Location is much easier than FNAF 3. And that's saying something, because this game is very easy. Hello. 
Hello. Can I do 50-20? Fucking no. No. Where's Willy? Oh, there he is. Okay, Hello. Well, then get over here, Willy. Will the sister location night through jump scare count? Fucking no, it's scripted. Why would that ever count? Uh-oh. Where'd Willy go? Hi. William, get back in the fucking corner, William. Hello? Yeah, if anybody hasn't played FNAF 2, or FNAF 3, it's literally just keep him in Cam 10. So, people were saying that you're supposed to keep him in Cam 9? Fuck that. Keep him in Cam 10, and just keep Cam 14 locked. It's easy stream. Hello? Where you at, Willy? I thought after all that smack talk, I was gonna die in fucking night two. <laughs> okay. Cause he can vent? Yeah, but you can lock that vent, so like, who cares? Okay. I gotta go help my wife. So I'll be right back. Your timing is perfect as usual, comma. I just beat the level I'm coming up. That <laughs> was... We were in a very bad spot all of a sudden. We went from great to terrible in like one second. Alright, so let's... Close the game. I'll be right back. Wait, holy shit! Aiken with the incredibly kind 70 ZAR. I don't know what that is, but thank you. Uh, hey, Ryan, I hope you have a happy holiday. I'm curious to know if you think we're now officially done with the Pizza Plex saga or will someone remain relevant moving forward? I will go into that when I get back, but I think it's still relevant.
There's a surprising amount of ace people in the chat, says Burning Soup. Uh, I mean, my wife counts as one of them, so add one onto the pile. Uh, hey guys, what's up? Uh, I'm back. I was gone for, it seems, 10 minutes, so we'll add 10 minutes on the clock, and we'll be done FNAF 3 at 5.25, not 5.15. Two more. Um... I took a little bit longer because I went to order a pizza and I wasn't sure if I muted the microphone. I did not want to just dox myself if I, <laughs> in case the uh, microphone hello, was live. Hello. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring locks located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments. Position your head and torso between these parts in a manner where you can move and speak. Try not to nudge or press Where's against any of the it? spring locks inside the suit. Do not touch the spring it? locks at any time. Do not breathe on the spring locks, as moisture may loosen them and cause them to break loose. In the case that the spring locks come loose while you are wearing a suit, please try to maneuver away from populated areas before bleeding out. Hi. That does not ruin the customer experience. Where's the last cupcake, Chad? As always, if there is ever an emergency, what please go to the designated safe room. Every location is built with one extra room that is not included in the digital map layouts program to the animatronic or uh, I'm missing a cupcake, am I wrong? This room is hidden to customers, before. invisible to animatronics, and is always off camera. As always, remember to smile, you are the face of Freddy. Oh, found it, we're good. Oops. I thought it would be harder, so I was looking more. Do you need to collect these? I don't think so, but why not? Alright, now let's play the game. Bubble Bee Pumpkin Patch, I feel that. So, I mean, I'm not male. I'm, I'm very gender fluid, if not just like a gender. I don't really feel connected to any gender, go by any hall. Uh, but as far as like what gender expressions I'm attracted to, I find pan is the most useful term that I can use for me because I find a lot of different types of people attractive. But I do tend to be more attracted to femininity um, rather than masculinity on any kind of presenting person. Um, Hi. And that's not a hard and fast rule. I literally said earlier in this stream that um, uh, Tom Ellis, who plays Lucifer in Lucifer, <laughs> is very hot and, like, duh. <laughs> but for the most part, I think it's less of an attraction to femininity and more of a slight rever Hello. revulsion to masculinity because a lot of very masculine presenting people are kind of stinky. <laughs> Uh, any mods in chat? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll handle this one myself, actually. Bang. Get the fuck out of my chat, weirdo. Sorry, someone was doing a fucking tired ass I identify as a attack helicopter tier joke. I'm like, bro, we're very Hi. obviously... Like, read the room. Even if you want to be a bigot, read the fucking room. <laughs> like... Literally same. Fair. Actually, if anyone in the chat can explain it to me, I have no idea. I you raise really a good point. Um, officially a sim, omni leaning pansexual. What is? And again, a lot of these labels are only really useful if they're useful to you personally. But in general, what is the difference between omnisexual and pansexual? Because I've never understood. That's just something I haven't known. 
Uh, I'm Judgment with the Incredible Cat Five Pounds Sterling. Hey, Rai, you're a brilliant Faf content creator. And my partner and I watch you all the time. Well, thank you. That's incredibly kind. And Cassius <laughs> with incredibly kind 5R. I don't know what R, what R dollar sign is, but thank you for them. Hey, Ryan, chat. Congrats for the 200K. I've played all the FNAF games to help on two. I've been avoiding watching anything about it until I get MetaQuest 3. Fair. Well, your fair warning. We will be playing it at the end of the stream. But we won't really be talking about it until we're there, so you should be safe. All right, imagine trying to be a bigot in a chat full of queer people <laughs> in a queer creator's chat. Exactly. Like, who? read the room. I'm straight except for Glamrock Freddy and Sidon. That's so valid. <laughs> Omnisexual has gender preferences while Pan doesn't. Oh, okay. I can see that. So I guess Omni might be a closer inkling. Because, again, it's less that I'm more... It's less that I'm attracted more or less to, like, m male or female presenting bodies. And it's more so that I just think a lot of masculine presenting people tend to be stinkier. And I'm very attracted to cleanliness. <laughs> Page turn with the Cobra Can 5. My roommate thinks phone guy is William. He's a bit new to his family. So Wait, William, where did you come from? Well, shit. That took me so off guard. Where, where was... He was in Camp 10 like a second ago. Was my vent not locked? Oh, maybe when the vent failed, it unlocked. I never relocked it. What was that death 14 do we have any idea who phone guy is um not really we don't have a lot of hints as to specifically who phone guy is it's kind of just a, a best guess situation hello I'll try to get you up to camp 10 buddy I will say, Cam 9 feels almost more dangerous to me. Because doesn't this vent take you right to your fucking door? I guess what he did, he probably went 9, then here. Because he was at Cam 10 like a second ago. I forgot to close vent. That tracks. <laughs> Omnisexual and polysexual are even harder to distinguish. Yeah, actually, that's a great chat. That's a great point. I wouldn't know what the distinguishing factor would be. Um, I have no idea. It, I feel like for me, and again, this is probably just coming out of a place of not Hi. knowing. To me, hearing those terms is more of a matter of like what it's less. What does this term specifically mean? And more, what does this term mean for me personally? That's what that feels like for me. I mean, that's a lot of labeling, right? Like, the main point of being able to label sexuality or gender is not so much so that you can fit in a box, but so that you can have a term to refer to yourself as that feels good, you know? How many drinks have there been? Like, 14, question mark? I haven't been counting. I probably... There should have been a counter. That's a great... That's a great fucking point. Actually, I can make a counter after this night. Um, we'll do a, a, a drink counter after this night. Just everybody figure out how many times it died. <laughs> Get back there, Willie. What do you call if you're not ace and not being touched? I mean, it depends on the person. You know, that, that could be demisexual, where you are attracted to certain people, but after you have a strong emotional connection. Um, it depends on what fits best for you and what feels right to you, you know? That's the, that's the whole point of all this. We like who we like and the rules don't matter, exactly. Oh, hey there, Will. Uh-oh, he went through the Camel Eleven event, didn't he? Is that death? Is that just we died? Hello? Okay, we got him there. Where do we take him to? Camp 5? <laughs> I feel like that's the closest camera. 
Or is it camp two? Are we dead? Well, we might be dead now. Yeah. Damn. Okay, let me do a text filter. If I die right now because it restarts, it's not my fault. Let's do a text display. De drink. Counter. Text document. Deaths. Open. I think we're at 15. So we're going to say we're at 15. How many deaths in the 8-bit parts? Only two. I was just bad at the um, mangle platforming. Oh, man, that font's terrible. Where's my um, Franklin Gothic? Yeah. Franklin Gothic heavy. We are going to want to give this an outline, though. Can we ask a question about lore? Yeah, sure. Can I have his three so easy I won't die at all? For real, I don't remember dying this much after three. It might be because I'm 15 drinks in. Speaking of, drink number 15. Three plus two plus one plus two is eight sips. Well, I died three times in FNAF 1, like six times in FNAF 2, and now like five or six times here. So we're just going to call it 15 and call it a day because I don't actually know the number. Yeah, exactly, Mango. Like, putting so many rules on the labels are kind of missing the point, because I feel like having labels for sexuality and gender are so you can better identify yourself, let like, and less so. Hello? Um, it, it's more for being able to have something to refer to yourself, and that's the thing that matters. Your, your correct personal labels are what you think they are, period. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, when it really comes down to it, just making sure that the people you're talking to are comfortable with Hi. what you're saying to them. So, like, um, where did he run off to? There you Hello? go. Get over here, dummy. Yeah, shit. right next to a vent before we did all this. Gotcha, dummy. That's a really funny render of him. So that should boot him back into camp five. Thank God, we found him. Let's get him to Camp 10. Nice and safe. Hello? Hello. 
you're right, people should like the live stream if they've Hi. liked the content so far. Uh, I think it helps in the algorithm. I don't really know how liking a live stream works, to be honest. Three for real, for real. Literally, I was talking so much shit about how this game is so easy, and I've been dying on night three. Kind of embarrassing. Hi. Oops, I did not realize you already moved. Sorry, spring trap. Hi. Come back, please. Wait, where'd you go to? You were right here. He was there for a second. What drink am I drinking? Uh, Bailey's and eggnog. Hi. Okay, camp five. Random question, what's my favorite genre in any media? Oh, I'm gonna need a more specific question than that. That's too, that's too broad. I don't know what to answer for that one. Hi. Cam five. We're gonna be cam eight. Hello. The boy. We'll lock this while we're here, while we wait for audio to come back. <laughs> Bring him to cam nine. Reboot everything. I tried to MacGuffin. Oh, he's in a vent. Uh-oh. If he's in the wrong vent, more trouble. Cool, he's in a locked one. Based. Stupid. Let's go! Bailey's and Eggnog has not been bad so far. It's pretty good. No, 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 not Bay Leaves. Bailey's, the cream liquor. Yeah, bronze sushi. We need the uh, the uh, wall code because I believe now night four is the code, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, somebody asked before I went out, uh, do we think the Pizza Plex saga is over? I don't think so. I think there's a lot about the Pizza Plex we still need to learn. We're at night four, so it's 395248. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Uh, there's been a slight change of company. Based. Yeah, let's get out of here. God, do I remember how to do this now? Someone pointed out to me, and it blew my mind, that this is also a keypad, and like the the key to how what you're supposed to do.
this game sound effects are so loud. True. Ah, oh, shit. He does not like that noise. Well, luckily we'll get out of here soon. Yeah. Sound is awful. Look, I'm sorry. Damn. What am I supposed to do here? Hold on. What are we doing here? I'll turn it down while we're trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. So we're here. It's not just straight up, right? Oh, it is. Okay. Fog. Fredbear with brown hat breaks your brain. Hi, John. Also, same. What the fuck? It's never had a brown hat except for this. Now, okay. To be to be fair, is it just does it just have a brown hat because it's got a black background? And if it was a black hat, you wouldn't be able to see it. Hey, there he is. We got him. Um, and now we need to do night five. Okay, we got this. I totally didn't die a bunch on night three for no reason. After talking so much shit about how this is the easiest FNAF game. Where is William? Oh, he's right there. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, William. Let's lock this cam because I feel like he's going there soon. Oh, he's still there. Hello. Poggers? Poggers? Can we get him into 10 chat? It's the day of the day. Please? Oh well, we'll find out. John, Jacob, Jingle, Hyper, Fazbear. <laughs> Good bit. His minigame color scheme is far better than FNAF 4 and UC on Ultra Color Scheme. I mean, uh, I think as an animatronic, I like the purple. But as an 8 bit, the brown is fine. Hello. We got him, chat. He's in camp 10. We've won. What a dumbass. <laughs> Get him by the exit door. <laughs> no worries, obnoxious. Have a good one. Also, you have a problem. <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? Get back here. Is there any way to avoid Phantom Foxy in this game? Oh, I never updated the drink thing. We're on 16 now. Hello. Purple would have worked fine in the black background. True. Actually, that's a good point. Scott's just kind of an ass. <laughs> Audio. So I think you're the five incredibly kind. Um, congrats on Twitch. Okay, thank you. Been listening to the podcast on my drives. What's an animatronic you wish was more than just given in the FNAF games? More than we have been given, I assume you mean? Um, Ennard. I've been a long proponent that I think Ennard is possibly one of the coolest animatronic concepts we've ever gotten. And realistically, Ennard shows up like once. I guess now twice because of Help Wanted 2. But like, Ennard is so underutilized in the franchise. Turn around so I don't get jump scared. Now we're safe. See all the chaos? Oh no! No, tell me you didn't see us talking about Mother Cothel, please. <laughs> Red Bear wasn't given a purple hunt until FNAF 4. It's weirdly inconsistent redesign. True. I think Fredbear with purple hat is the best design of Fredbear we got. I like that design of Fredbear a lot. I think I just like purple. Now, chat, when I say drinks, again, for anyone who joined midway through or joined late, it's a large sip of Bailey's and eggnog. It is not an individual drink, nor is it a shot. Uh-oh, he didn't come back on the second call, and I have to reboot to the video. We might be in trouble. Um, now, it is 50-50 Baileys and eggnog, so it is like an alcoholic beverage, but it's not... We're okay. It's not like I'm taking a shot every time we die or something. Which some of you insane people wanted me to do. Hello? 
Well, I don't like you being in Camp 2, my guy, so let's bring you to Camp 5, shall we? Hi. Bring you to Camp 8 while we seal this vent. No, no, no. Hello. Get back here, dummy. Biggest wrench in the FNAF lore? Probably the fast wrench. I can't think of any other wrenches, so I think by default it's the biggest one. <laughs> I'm being an asshole. I <laughs> um, where the fuck did Willy go? <laughs> we found him, chat. All right. All right. You got me. You got me. Um... Although, 525, we get to move on to FNAF 4. I can't believe I didn't beat FNAF 3. That's fucking embarrassing. FNAF 4. This one does... I'm going to be super real, chat. This one does not bode well. I've never beaten FNAF 4. All right, John. It's the easiest FNAF game when I'm not uh, drinking alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> the entire new system location of the biggest wrench. True. Oh, I should probably make it so the game gets captured, huh? That'd be pretty cool of me. What did he do this time? He locked you in your room again. Not four. You're gonna capture. Hello. Why is FNAF 4 not capturing? Alright, let's go to the title screen. Oh shit, is the pizza here already? Alright. Oh, they said 45 minutes. Thank you so much. Wanna say hi? Chat, we're eating pizza. We're eating pizza like Freddy's. Oh, we're just switching to FNAF 4. What do you mean? What do you mean? Where are you on? Where are you? What do you mean a way off schedule? Hold on. I've been playing each game for an hour. You're early. You're half an hour. Early. I'm half an hour early. Snack four is at six o'clock. How am I half an hour early? Is there a scheduled break I missed? Uh, it is coming up at five forty-five. You must have beat a game early. I didn't beat any games yet. Chat. I've been, I've been, I did FNAF 2 for 45 minutes. I didn't do it for a full hour. Fuck. All right. When is FNAF 4 supposed to start? Six? Mm -hmm. All right. We're going to do FNAF 2 and FNAF 3 for another 15 minutes each. Actually, chat. I'm going to run a poll. Do we go back and we play more FNAF 2 and FNAF 3? Or do we just take longer and help one and two? The fun one. Apparently, I, I, I did my timing wrong and nobody told me. We're supposed to be playing these for an hour. Okay. Go back and write the wait hold on wait what do we fuck what do what do more fnaf 2 and 3 how many options can i do cool just more fnaf 2 just more fnaf 3 Friends on the other side is peak. More help wanted to at end. Start poll. All right, chat. You guys can decide that while I eat. Oops, I did a big stupid. I can fully beat um, help wanted two in an hour and a half. So if we add this half hour to help wanted two, we fully beat help wanted two.
Is there a clear winner? Is there? Oh shit, how wanted to is running ahead. Holy shit. <laughs> Even if it was just two options, it's still 75. Am I wasted yet? No, I'm not that much of a lightweight. I'm definitely tipsy though. Riot, a great point. You could beat Help on a two in an hour and a half sober. So why isn't this capturing FNAF 4? What if I use game window instead of game capture? That fixed it. Why is FNAF 4 weird? Um, transform, stretch to screen. I get there. There we go. Cool. Game sounds on. All right. So it looks like Help Wanted Two is the clear winner. Um, I'm gonna keep eating for a couple minutes, and then we'll start FNAF Four at five thirty, and we'll play it for the full fucking hour this time. Jesus Christ! Sorry, guys. Oh, you know what, Abby? That's a great point. I should make that sips instead of drinks. That's a great point, Abby. That's probably confusing newcomers who don't understand what I'm doing. Hey, VB, thank you for the two dollars. Enjoy your pizza. This is pretty fucking good pizza. I tell you where it is, but I don't want to um, dock myself. So just uh, buy your local pizzas. Why is FNAF 4 weird? That is the question, dude. Don't worry, not needed. It's not weird. FNAF 4 is entirely a simulation based off of hallucinogenic gas in chambers done by William Afton. The gameplay is what we experience at night, but the mini games are what we experience during the day, and they're all fake, and those chambers are what becomes FNAF 6. Do I think that's true? No, but it is technically possible. Uh, just regular plain pizza. I do prefer a deep dish, but take what you can get. I hear it's dinner time for the baby upstairs. Hope you got one of the mukbang content. Sky Mallard, it's incredibly kind of $2. Pineapple and pizza or no? Personally, I say yes. I really like Hawaiian. I don't like pineapple by itself, but if there's a savory meat with it, like a ham or a bacon, it's pretty good. Somebody asked, what do you mean it becomes FNAF 6? I actually, I actually have a video on this theory. Um, I don't know what the video is. I'll look it up while I'm eating my pizza. Buffalo pizza is very good. Have you ever had honey mustard chicken pizza? It's really solid.
I think I mention it. I think I talk about it in my we were wrong about sister location video from three months ago, which was like, was it real in its circus baby with gas on the and like a fake circus baby? Super solid thumbnail, by the way. As always, Barbara Joy knocks it out of the park. Again, I don't think so, and I hope not, but it's possible. I think FNAF works best in a smaller location. Where's audio? I'm not tabbed into the game. I'm eating pizza. I love me some Little Caesars. It's not the best, but it's hot and ready. Is Chica the only one not on the cover? Because I see Freddy, Bonnie, and Foxy. Okay, I'm going to go take a quick pee, and we'll start for now. Go piss, girl. Somebody just said in chat, every time I come back, there's a break. Bro, I've been live for... How long have I been live for? I'm live for three hours. I took two, like, less than five-minute breaks. Chill. Um, <laughs> but it is time to play FNAF 4, my favorite. Um, This one I feel like I'm going to die a lot on. I 
I'm not good at FNAF 4 at all. How's the sound on the game? Because obviously I have to blast it for me. Warning on this one for anyone who has never played FNAF 4 before. Um, it's loud as hell. Locked you in your room again. Don't be scared. I'm here with you. These are my friends. Ah, I should have washed my face more. I hate the feeling of after you're done eating pizza when you can smell it on your face. Oh, yeah, that's better. Um, how big is a sip? It's about this big. Like a like a strong two second sip. Um, I do have to just update. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? <laughs> I'm a bad influence for myself. Oh, it's shift. Do I click at all in this game? Besides moving? Okay, so it's shift and control I need my fingers on. How <laughs> much does it hurt to get stabbed? About this much. <laughs> we got him. With... Crying Charles Fox Pillage the top half is excuse me, is gone. Yeah, I could see that being a thing. I think I think FNAF four is the I think the gameplay of FNAF four is the nightmares of Michael Afton going through A, a a nightmare of a nightmares of Michael Afton based off of the PTSD of going through testing facilities m created by William Afton, um, affected by the Crying Child as the Crying Child tried to contact him. In Alone Together, we learn that when a ghost tries to reach out to you, one of the first signs is that they affect your dreams. I think that's what we're seeing in this. I'm eating and drinking water. I will say this Diet Coke and the pizza is not settling super well with all the cream that I've been drinking, so that might be a mistake. We'll see. Where did the name Evan come from, from The Crying Child? Um, from what I understand, I don't know exactly, but it was in the security logbook. We get the name Mike and Cassidy from doing puzzles. And people try to do puzzles to get The Crying Child's name because The Crying Child is very likely the other speaker in that book. But no one could ever quite figure it out, and the best guess someone had was EVA. So Evan kind of stuck. But it doesn't. it's one of those things where, like, Pardon me. It's one of those things where it doesn't have, like, great evidence supporting it. But it's not a huge deal if we're wrong about it, so who cares? Like, if we're wrong, so what? Reliving the memory to try to change the outcome. Actually, that's a great point. I don't think he's trying to changed the outcome here but the idea that Michael is purposely reliving this memory to learn anything about his brother is actually a pretty good idea I 
I think the carnival games that help wanted two are meant to be references to Fall Fest. Yeah, Crying Child is confirmed to be a boy. The uh, bullies say, your younger brother, when referring to him. I saw you, Chica. Will we ever know? Should I do the Markiplier, the... Well, you know... Uh, night one's usually pretty easily, so we should. Did y'all see... I got the IV bags. Did y'all see that on the last go-through? The IV bags were there. I thought it was static. I didn't know it was a rare screen. The IV bags were on the left side on the like the second to last one I went to. That's so dope. Yeah, I'm really interested to get more information on Fall Fest. Right now I'm wondering like I'm thinking if MCI is first, which I'm still not sold on, but if MCI is first, the Fall Fest could be why the MCI happens. Not sure, though. Logan, there's no verses. Both are based. I do remember you, EM the Destroyer. Hi, Bonnie. Cryptid Bonnie in the background. Maybe we should have a timer so we're doing the correct amount. Well, now that I know we're doing an hour for sure, um, we'll just swap over at 6.30. It's 5.43 for me right now. So we have... Now we actually have 45-ish minutes. That's because we've been playing for a little bit. Although I, I did start late, so maybe we'll 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 do we'll save forty. So we'll swap over at six forty. We'll stop until we find him. <sighs> what does this room mean, Scott? What the hell? Anyway, uh, jump scare warning in three, two, one. Forgot that it was alcohol. <sighs> Guys. I'm not even that tipsy. I'm just stupid. <laughs> water. I was like, ooh, I want like a nice non-water drink. My Coke is over here. There it is, chat, let's go. Plus trap death does count as a loss. Willow, that's based, and so are you. Last two sips of an accidental true. Yeah, if we die on plush trap, that's a loss. Logan, leave it be. You're being weird. We support other creators here. We don't trade them down.
What are we drinking? The alcohol is half and half Bailey's and eggnog. Dairy-free eggnog, because I have EBS. Oh, Chica and Foxy were scared away. Let's go, Pog. Still no Foxy. Love that. Pog. I do not play Fortnite now. I hope my volume's up high enough. I haven't heard breathing yet, so I don't know. I guess we'll find out together. Bay leaf. Festive, it's not bay leaves. It's bay leaves. The alcohol. I do think the environmental sounds in FNAF 4 are probably the best in the franchise. It really feels like a real soundscape. How old am I? 25. I think the really look at your hands part. I think when Mystic Hippo says really look at your hands, I think she's trying to remind Cassie's dad that he was the Bonnie bully. That's my hot take. Because I understand the whole like your hands look the same with and without the mask on. But just as a limitation of VR, you need to give the player visual identification of their hands or else it's unplayable. I'm not drunk yet, robot. Get out of here, chica. Foxy just ran, but to where? Foxy ran to the left side. Yo, I kept Foxy out the whole night. Let's go. <sighs> Rise younger. Yeah, I'm 25. Don't you remember what you saw is interesting? Like, it could be brushed aside, but you never know. Is that William Afton? If that's William Afton, who's talking to me through my plushie? Tomorrow is another day. All right. This one's so quiet. I need to turn up my volume, but whatever. My plush trap. One. Two. Got him. Let's go. Chat, we still have like 
50 minutes left? We're running through. Never dying. We're so good. No TikTok clip on this one, I guess. Ah, damn it. Fox is in. Jump scare warning in three, two, one. <laughs> Well, pride cometh before the fall. Hey, 20. <laughs> this could be our downfall. I'm really bad at FNAF 4 and FNAF 6, so they're going to be big problem areas. I'm on night three. I didn't hear the breathing, though. Got Foxy. How full is the cup? Like half full. Yeah, hack. It's hard for me to reach chat while I'm playing. I can take, like, little peeks, but that's about it. Man, I'm going to have to crank my volume. I barely heard that. Or I didn't hear anything, and I'm crazy. Feeling anything yet? A little tipsy. Opinion on the hex plushes? They look pretty cool. Man, Foxy is booking it. I didn't get to see ID's video yet. I'm really interested, though. Foxy. I gotta turn my volume up or something. I didn't hear that at all. Sorry, volume warning for chat. I'm about to crank my volume. I'll try to turn down the game sound to compensate. Let me know if that's too loud. Oh, I won't burn the back of my throat a little bit. I did not stir that one good enough. <coughs> oh, that one caught me.
Did I turn the game sound too quiet for you guys? I think the game sound might be too quiet for you guys now. Don't hear anything? Oops. Is that better? Oh, Foxy's in. Damn it. Jump scare warning. Three. <laughs> I hear the frettles. Thought so. I gotta do the closet. Okay. Doing okay. make him go away. Oh, hi, Foxy. Listen for breathing for five seconds, good to know. It's been a while. Hopefully Bonnie doesn't kill me here. <laughs> okay, I can hear the footsteps walking away, which is helpful. Hi, Foxy. Hear this frettles. Is Chica not active tonight? Because I have not seen her at all. Let's check Chica. It's been a while. Chica's active. Gonna close the foxy door immediately. I know. I'm aware. Five a.m. though. We're doing okay. This one is fully sound based. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> she was right there. Get out of here. Me too. I'm very bad at it. Yeah, good. We're still on FNAF 4. I didn't fuck up this time. Since it took me about 10 minutes to eat, we're going to be on FNAF 4 till 640. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it.
It's at 5 a.m. We were so close, chat. We have 40 more minutes of this fucking game. At least I can stall in FNAF 6. I can't stall for shit in this one. We were so close. Not going for a hundred percent, but we are trying to beat everyone. Got him. I did not hear her. Keeping away from Foxy is so difficult. It was a misclick. It was a misclick. William, thank you very much for the 25 knock. I don't know what that is, but thank you. It's very kind. My opinion on the Sisolo Kishi animatronics designs, they're pretty good. I do have 3D audio on, which is, and, and you're right, it is very, very helpful. Evelyn, thank you very much for the 200 uh, for the uh, congrats. Thank you. Oh man, hey, at least this location is Oh no, FNAF World is next. Oh, FNAF World could be rough. Hey, at least we get to play FNAF World after this. That's that game's peak. Pardon me. Sorry for the camera shakes, Casey's on the desk. Not pretty good. I just don't like playing FNAF 4. Especially because I can't really talk to you guys because I have to listen. I think Chica's approaching on the right. I hear her footsteps, but I didn't hear breathing. I might have fucked myself. Okay, we're safe. Never punished. Bye, Foxy. Uh. 
Okay, so what I thought was his breathing was footsteps. God damn it. Every sound effect sounds the same in this game. That force is not made with streaming in mind, that's true. <sighs> 30 more minutes, chat. I've only been playing for that for over a half hour. I had a feeling this and six were going to claim the most victims. <laughs> Fast Gamer, I know you're memeing, but FNAF World is not better than Undertale. Great game, though. If I could make one change to the lore, what would it be? Um, I don't know if I necessarily would want to make a change. Uh, maybe I would get rid of the Deadshot incident. I feel like it's unnecessarily complicating the lore. Oh, I play Five Nights at Candy's next. No, we're not doing Fanverse today. The beginning of the end for real, for real. I think I heard her. How long do you have to wait? Not that, not long enough, apparently. Does does the lights, do the lights always flicker when they leave? Or do you just have to guess? Twenty four lipo. Here's the fun thing. Am I slurring my words because I'm getting tipsy, or am I slurring my words because I've been live for four hours? Who can say? <sighs> you have more favorite games that aren't FNAF or Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I mean, as much as I love FNAF and Zelda, I wouldn't say either of them are even... No, this is a Zelda game in my top five. So if we're talking favorite games of all time, it moves around a lot. But in my top five, in no particular order... Wait for footsteps audio? Okay, thank you. I'm sorry for the burp. Casey! Casey! Oh, oh. Oh. Not my fault if we die. Casey knocked over a light because he's an asshole. If we die, it's not my fault. Okay, now if we die, it's my fault. I saved it. Okay, but yeah, in no particular order, in my top five is Terraria. Borderlands 2. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Sorry, I'm also listening. Brain power. Divvied up. Portal 2. That's four. Probably Wind Waker. Wind Waker, I admit, isn't like objectively a great game, but it's really nostalgic for me. 
Uh, CLN, why not both? I believe game devs should be getting paid money. Twist is up with an incredible count of $2. At home sick with COVID, thanks for the entertainment. Glad to provide. Okay, I now know what footsteps I'm listening for. Oh, my chica. Okay. Be more patient, chat. I only went there because Foxy was there. Bonnie might be at the door. Three, four, five. Okay. Three, four, five. Okay. I'm being patient, chat, just like you told me. If I die, I blame you. Two, three, four, five. Eight, four, five. I heard a lot of footsteps on the right when we might be in trouble. Footsteps on the left. Oh no! No, I misclicked! No, I misclicked! I meant to close the door! No, we were so close, chat. Chat, we were so close. I meant to close the door. I hit the flashlight like a dummy. <sighs> well. I know what Alt F4 does. I'm not dumb. Hate to see it. For real, on the bright side chat, we're learning so much. I'm being patient? I'm never patient. You have to get water after this, because I'm running low on water. We kept Foxy at bay the whole time, which feels good. One. I saw you, Chica.
Yeah, monster. I'm still. It's still the same big cup. I haven't died that much, realistically. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, there's the timer and help on a two arts and crafts. Got him. Get fucked, Foxy. Cool. Hi, Bonnie. Flash for Foxy because he came back. Flash for Freddles. Check the right door. We're learning, chat. We're learning. It's okay. We don't have to play this game for 20 more minutes. Hi. Hi, Bonnie. I hate the delay on the flashlight sometimes. that foxy It's not straight alcohol. So for anyone who joined late, it is a off-brand Stanley Cup called the Stanford. It's 50% eggnog. Dairy-free eggnog, I should specify. And 50% Bailey's, which is a cream liqueur, which is about 17-82% alcohol by volume. I thought I heard his footsteps. I had to, I just, I had to talk while holding the door shut. I just had to talk while holding the door shut. No! Okay. Hey, I'm going to take my time getting some water. <laughs> because I hate FNAF 4. I'll be back. I gotta go get water. Allergic to dairy? I'm not allergic to dairy. It just makes me bloaty. And very gassy. In a very uncomfortable and painful way. Not allergic though. That's lactose intolerant, I think. Uh, what ending are we going for? I'm gonna try to get the clock ending. I think that's I think that's doable. Dairy makes you gassy skill issue. Now that's true.
Sorry it took so long. One, I'm stalling. But two, uh, Trolls is ending. And can't stop the feeling my toddler loves and he was dancing too, so I danced with him because I miss my baby. Oh, I miss my wife. I miss my wife, Tails. <coughs> um, we have 15 whole more minutes of FNAF 4. Yippee! <laughs> oh. <coughs> I'm feeling okay, don't worry. Foxy's already in? Nah, fuck that, we're dying. <laughs> you already died of Foxy because I am. I'm letting it happen. Fuck that. I'll let Bonnie kill me. Ready? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that. Fuck. Oh, no. I kept Foxy away till 5 a.m. last time. Fuck that. We're not dealing with Foxy. Thought we'd be a FNAF world. You know what? Chat, to fix the schedule and to get back on track, you want to just move over to FNAF World at 6.30, which is in, like, five minutes? <coughs> I don't think we're going to be FNAF 4. I'm going to be real. I think we're going to be on night three until I'm done. But if I can go get mad if I inhale Fred Bear Plush, true. <laughs> God, did you do Fredo with a sweating emoji? What are you trying to say? Oh, okay, cool. We're cool with that, too. Cool. Five minutes with time zone on my end. Eastern Standard Time, the best fucking time zone. No shot. <laughs> Foxy, what 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 do you want? What do you want, Foxy? Literally like We kept him out until 5 a.m. Like three times in a row. And now he's just twelve like two seconds in running to the closet. Man. Foxy's in the closet faster than me at a fucking family gathering. Jesus Christ. But he just did a screenshot. Sorry, Britt. It's drinking time, I guess, probably. I think of Ness from the FNAF movie. Uh, uh, funny cameo. <laughs> I see I've resonated. <laughs> I see the queer content read. I see that the uh, the queer content creator has resonated with the queer chat. Am I, <laughs> am I right, folks? How big's a sip? Like a good, it's a skinny straw. So like a big, like, for like a second or two. There it goes. Get out of here. I haven't checked on Foxy in a while. You think we're dead? Let's go close it right away. Based. Oh, map MatPat Mattress Particle. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Markiplier isn't the sequel. He was meant to be in the beginning. Apparently, he was meant to be Ryan Reinecke's, uh, like, the first night guard that dies. Um, I mean, I'm not mad about it, because Ryan did a great job. Um, but uh, he couldn't because of scheduling conflicts with Iron Lung. I think we're dead chat. Let's go right away and not look. Just not gonna check that door. Um, but Scott said on Reddit that like when they start filming FNAF two, they're gonna try again because they obviously want Mark in there. Who thinks we're dead? I do. We're not dead? Wild. Top five FNAF songs? Top five favorite FNAF songs. Pizza the action, pizza the action, pizza the action. Um, join us for a bite. Pizza the action. In that order. That was only four songs. Throw a piece of the action on there again. Hi, Bonnie. There's definitely five. Chat, I'm already tipsy. You can't gaslight me. <laughs> Can Guys, I literally said we're done. And that's the one we maybe are going to beat it on. That's insane. Hi, Foxy. <laughs> I meant to close the cur the closet, so that kind of scared me. <laughs> Opinion on piece of the action? Fucking peak. As is everything Stupendium does. Uh oh, I think we died. Just not going to look. Can't make me. Okay, new new plan. Let's just play until we die. Holy shit. I can't believe we actually beat it. <laughs> I've never fallen for Alt F4. I've been raised on a computer. Clay, stop thirsting over fucking frettles. There were two times I thought I died and I just left and it worked out for me. So I think that's the that's the new strategy. If we're about to die, just walk away. You have to get up. You can get out this time, but you have to hurry. Where is your plush toy? Mine is spring body. My daddy says I have to be careful with him or I'll pinch my finger. He's a finger trap, he says. Better watch out. I hear they come to life at night. So does, again, this is like, does this mean MCI happens before Crying Child? But like, I've always thought that Crying Child happens first, but Help Wanted 2 has me all confused. Who the kid who always hides under the table and cries? No one else is scared. Why are you? Stop being a bitch. <laughs> playground? There's the playground. Hey, chat. Hey, chat. Oh, 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 hold on. Kihu, that's strange. Chat. Chat, why is... Oh, what did I do? Uh-oh. Where did it go?
Skölj mig. Kan du trycka? Uh oh. I'm resetting transform, but it's not working. It's gonna have to delete that and make a new one. My bad. Okay, now, now, like I was saying, chat. Oh, why is this happening again? Whoa, oh, oh. Okay, so don't go out of the window when I'm stretching it. Chat, <laughs> chat, chat. Why is Toy Chica missing its beak? Chat, chat. What does it mean? Chat. Why is Toy Chica missing her beak? Chat. God, was it worth it? No, it wasn't. Why does stretch the screen put it over there? Why is it so broken? Oh, is it because it's in a folder? Let me take it out of the folder. It's because it's in a folder. I'm learning OBS today. Hey, I'm, I'm learning OBS over here. I guess someone's over to help you. No, I'm fine. Uh, I'm just having fun. Control Z, wait, you're so right. <laughs> Press the Windows button and pull game on full screen. No, no, no. It wasn't the game. I was moving sources in OBS. And because it was in a folder, it, like, got fucky. Is it just a random chance? If I, like, do this, can I make 1983 show up? Ah, I don't care. I'm not. <laughs> Get it right, chat. Ugh. If you think this is drunk, you haven't drank alcohol. I'm just tipsy. Tomorrow is another day. I'm just naturally a little silly. That's where we're at right now. We're at stage one, a little silly. Okay. Peak. Thoughts on Insomniac leaks? Um, it it's a real shame. I, I like I'm f typically all for leaks, but the fa the public reception to it has been terrible because like a lot of employee information was leaked, which sucks. But also, there were so many people, like a weird amount of people, who were looking at literally pre pre alpha footage. Of a game that's nowhere near ready, looking at it and being like, man, this game looks terrible. Like, the graphics look awful. I'm like, guys, the game's not coming out for like three years. What are you fucking talking about? The fact that anybody can look at the Insomniac leaks and say that that's like a worthwhile criticism for a game that's going to be coming out is insane. Like, what what is wrong with you? Dangerous. Thoughts on FNAF Roblox? The de developers seem shady. The developers seem shady, and I'm glad that's restarting. Um, and I don't think it's fair to judge the quality of the game at this early of a stage. 
Damn it, Fox is here. But I do think it's worth criticizing the dev team for being that irresponsible with something of that scale. And the fact that they put microtransactions in before they did any other kind of game does say a lot to me. Oops. Well, like I said, chat, on to FNAF World. Shady, what did they do? Everything about it just is wrong. The fact that they would release a game in that state and think that that's a, like, a, a responsible or correct thing to do. Like, <clears throat> if I would prefer if a developer, like, if your game is clearly unfinished and the guy you're working for, even if the guy you're working for comes up and says, hey, release it, your first response would be, hey, this isn't finished yet. Not, yes, sir. And, like, the fact that that skin looks good could be misinterpreted as release the game like uh and apparently their previous games have been like very like crypto adjacent bullshit so like the devs seem kind of sketch <sighs> on the peak chat so like i said going into this um i'm going to count because it's FNAF World, right? It's not a hard game. I'm going to count any time a, a animatronic dies. Not if we lose any time an animatronic dies. So hopefully we don't get sloshed here. Ooh, you know what, though? Enjoy the peak music. I gotta pee. Bro passed out. Bro went to pee. Calm your ass. <laughs> um, new game. Race data. 
Adventure. You know what? Just for the hell of it, we'll do hard mode. I've never played hard mode. Tell me if the game's too loud, by the way. I'm going to see what you can find. Be careful, though. Our woodcutting auto chipper has gone haywire. It has been jump scaring me all day. I like that the speech bubble points to my <laughs> webcam. <laughs> but you don't really believe that, do you? There is a task for you to complete. You have to leave breadcrumbs for him to help him find his way. Alright, so let's party adjust here. Because Bonnie's probably. Let's. I want to not die here, so let's. Bonnie's our best. Bite and Happy Jam is just super versatile. Pizza Wheel's huge. Um, Hot Cheese. Is Hot Cheese actually good, or have I been lying to myself? <laughs> Prize Ball's fun, and then these guys can just be on the back burner. Was he actually drunk? Nah. I'm a little tipsy, though. <laughs> yeah, if the game is too loud, let me know. It's hard to tell. It feels like it's too loud. It's too loud on my end, anyway. Hot cheese is decent, I think. Hot cheese, all right. Fun time, Foxy has hooked. No, it's Toy Foxy. Am I wrong? Huge. Right at hours. All right, well, be be safe about it, Doctor Fazbear. Definitely too loud. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, it was maybe too severe of it turning down. Try this. Oh, we're not ready for that. I didn't mean to walk in here. Keep recommending Chica on main party. Need a healer. Well, we have Bonnie. Bonnie's healing is just as good as Chica, if not better. TBH. What does... How's this for... This seems... Is this too loud? It feels like it's probably still loud. Still pretty loud? Is it? I turned it down. I guess I didn't check in-game. Alright, let's get the pearl again so we can get the good wasp right away. Oh. Oh, we can get that. Oh. Hopefully it's still there. Huge. Is it Windows? What is the game? What is being captured right now? Oh, it is that. Okay. Um, I want to make it capture my cursor, please. It just has bad sound design. Yeah, that tracks. Just has not great sound design. That chest still there? Okay, it's a different chest. God damn it.
Yeah, if we make it to DJ Music, man, we'll crank that music. All right, here we go. Neon Wasp, huge. Oh. There's a gold chest up there. I wonder if we can get to it. Let's go. Let's go. Um, we probably can move on to the next area, yeah? That 28 was a little scary, I'll be honest. I should have had me jammed, that was greedy. I should probably just jump scare with Foxy. I feel like stunning is really good. What does Little Bit have over here? Oh, huge, actually. Okay, we'll probably only be able to get the 100 for now. Because I don't know how frequently DD respawns. But not frequently enough to get 500 in a reasonable amount of time. Alright, we'll have enough. We'll have 100 by the time we get back. We in there. Camp and will take over two hours. Yeah, that's why we're only doing an hour each. Does it include Security Breach and Ruin? Uh, yes, but they are on the same slot. What, did I get no money for that? Hello? Where's my money? I killed people. Oh. Based. Did I equip that? I did, okay. Male, female, it's a rabbit. Who cares? True! On the MF grind, for, Faz grind for that XP. True. Ooh, could be bad. 40! A little scary. Happy Jam, hello, hello. That's a lot of damage. Why did I poppers? Damn it. We're doing okay. That was close. That was a lot of damage. Huge. Yeah, only one hour for Security Breach and Ruin. Um, it's the same game. Like, it's just DLC. You know what I mean? Good morning, MXD5. All right, so we need to find a clock. The question is, where is it? Oh, maybe not yet. I think I found a clue as to, you don't know as much as I do, but I will, something horrible must have happened on the flip. But I think you can use these fractures to get to the places you couldn't reach before. You have to go and find the source of these fractures. Is FNAF World. Truth is, there's no safe place. You don't understand that you were made for one thing. Before you follow this passage, go back and find the clock. Okay, so not here yet. Go and find a clock first. Got it. 8 bit Fred Bear.
Maybe prize ball kind of sucks. What does everybody else have? Speed song, kind of dope. Maybe double up, maybe we do Toy Chica so we have Water Hose too. I think that's the move. What are the first 16 digits of my credit card information? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 16. Okay, water hose kind of bad, but she has birthday, so that frees up Freddy to do pizza wheel, and we can birthday with Toy Chica. Birthday and cupcakes is pretty good. So is the, where's the? Oh, hey, there's the clock. That was not there before, right? Like I'm not just that blind. We did it. I've never known. What happens if you fuck this up? Does the clock stay there? Or did you just ruin your save? What a hard puzzle. It's a FNAF 3 parallel. Lay off. Hey, welcome back to the you, you You're here just in time for peak. Guys, it's the song I use in a lot of my videos. How's the drinking been going? It's been going. No, we'll be playing Help Wanted 1 and 2 in VR. So not there, got it. We did it. Great. Be sure to press that button behind you to clear the path. For I think a lot of these monsters are misguided. It looks like you can knock them sense into that. You need to find another subtitle under the game. Ahead the dusting fields. I use dusting fields actually a lot more than that one because it's a very like good creepy song. Scariest horror movie? Dead Silence is pretty good. Things don't get more dangerous, you're being played. Meanwhile, the Puppet Masters. This is interesting because Puppet Master is referenced in Help Wanted 2, where one of the office nights is called Puppet Master made just for you, which is interesting. Uh, this clock is in the caves, right? If I had a persona, what animal would it be? I don't know. Is it worth going for... Oh. Oh, my wife is calling me. I'll be right there. Be right back, Jack. Jack. Be right back, chat. I have to change a diaper. Enjoy the good music.
So a bit of a check-in on soberness. Physically, I feel good. Uh, my stomach hurts a little bit, but I think that's just because of how much eggnog I've consumed. But like, my motor functions feel good. My head is definitely starting to get very tipsy. Where like, if I move quickly, I feel I feel it, you know? My, my head feels like it echoes. Never changed, yeah. Does anyone remember? Offhand. What the red chest right over here is, and if it's worth it to go risk it, because we might die. Uh, where is it? That red chest. Anyone remember what that red chest is, and is it worth it to go grab? this out oh, this way because this is the seagull to use if it is worth it say the ABC is backwards bro I can't do that sober what the fuck are you talking about oh my god a hundred damage don't do that again fucker holy shit quarry okay so we're not ready for this yet Jesus Christ Instant shield or mimic? Oh, if it's mimic ball, that's super worth it. Halloween update character first? Well, I'm not a coward. That's like cheating. They're so broken. It's not Mimic. Mimic is in the lake. I think you're right. So if it's shield, that's kind of worth it. Might be shield. Hmm. Let's go find out. Who knows? It could be worth it. It's not like we're doing the... Um, Oh no, I gotta walk up into it, don't I? It's not like we're doing the Nuzlocke challenge where like if we die it's all over. It's just I have to take a shot at it. Block unscrew? Oh huge actually. Regardless, it's a good chip worth getting. Um I just don't know if we're strong enough to be able to run away to get all the way to the lake yet. Whereas this is literally right here. Oh. Hello? Can I not go over there? Oh, that's one. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh-oh. Why can I not go over there? One, two, okay, let's do some quick Googling, shall we, chat? Red chest FNAF world. I forgot that there is specific ones you go to. Um, and you can't just go anywhere once you're in the glitch world. Of course not. Of course not. So what does this allow us to get? All red chip locations in 1.1. Thank you. Who is this? Of course it's Dark Taurus. Thank you, Dark Taurus. Hey, Pablo with one gifted. Thank you very, very kind. Okay, so this one allows us to go where? 
Is this to the lake? Oh, this is to the lake. Okay, so what? So people are saying that's the shield one. Okay, so it's auto shield. God, is it worth risking it? Kind of. Shield is pretty good. Might as well while we're here. Yeah, let's go for it. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> it's not like uh, I'm gonna have to take eight <laughs> eight sips of this funky beverage, right? Right? There's no way we wipe. Glitch trap or Monica from DDLC? Well, one of them is hot, so Monica. Base gets rid of 50% of enemy damage? Huge, okay. It's worth whatever happens after this. To the lake. We run, 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 get out of there. No, 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 get out of there. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It wasn't worth it, chat. Chat, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. So <laughs> that happened. <laughs> I can't believe FNAF World's going to make me drink more than FNAF 2 did. Well, there's... <laughs> Eight sips. Let's get going, kids. Get some water in there. <sighs> Reckoning. True. Oh, wait. Oops. Shame and sit by. I'm running out of beverage. Two more. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, let me update the... Th <laughs> I got a brain freeze from that. I do have an aftercare, yeah. Um, not only is Amanda nearby and will cut me off if I do get a, an, an unsafe amount of drunk, but she'll also be there to take care of me after the stream. So we are fine. I am being safe about it. Do not worry. Thank you for the worry. Thank you for the caution, but it is not necessary. Why is the music so inspirational for fucking fishing? Oh, so close. Why haven't I got any new party members? Your guess is as good as mine. We've only been playing for like a little bit, but you'd think we would have run into somebody. Oh, well, I think we learned our lesson. And we're not going to be going back to the glitch world. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I'll see what my wife thinks is best. Well, comma, I'm out of Nog, period. What drink should I replace it with? Hi, Amber. Is there a shop in here? Or is it just the clock?
Replace it with lean. Not to call you out, but you're definitely like a suburban kid who's never actually had alcohol. No. Chica! Do it! Shit! Wait, the clock isn't even in here? Fuck. Fuck! <laughs> what am I even doing then? Why am I here? I thought the clock was in here! He said don't go to the, the don't go to the dusting fields yet, go find the clock, so I went to go find the clock. Where's the clock then? Are you guarding it? Alright, let me go find whatever the fuck we're drinking. I'll be back. Gotta empty my Stanford.
right, chat. I'm back. I had to do some digging to figure out what to drink. Um, so, we're all out of Baileys, so I can't do more Baileys. But, we had rum. Now, chat, a little uh, information. Uh, again, drink responsibly. But typically, the saying goes, beer before liquor, never been sick, or liquor before beer, you're in the clear. The logic being, if you do, you never want to go up in alcohol percentage if you've already started drinking. Because you're going to get very sick very quickly. Um, what you want to do is go down. Now, Bailey's is 18%, rum is 40%, so that is going up. So what you do to be safe, if you're ever in a situation like that, is you water it down more. So we had margarita mix. I did mostly mar margarita mix with some rum. So that way the alcohol percentage is safer. <sighs> Let's see if I mixed it correctly. Here's two sips for those deaths. It's very sweet. Good morning. But it's rum and... Uh, margarita mix is the best I could come up with on short notice. I didn't think I'd be dying this much. Oops. Um, do we think we're good enough for... Yeah, I think we're fine. We're probably super proud at this point. Oh! Uh-oh. Hopefully we don't wipe again. Okay, I think we're good. Toast responsibly, true. Go. Go. Oh. How are you feeling, mate? I'm feeling all right. Finally. Is it someone good? I have no idea if that's actually... <gasps> what? What? what do you mean? What do you mean? What, what do you mean? What do you mean it one shot? God damn it. The boss didn't even kill us. I'll take my sip. Gotta be fucking kidding. <laughs> guys! Guys, not again! Not again! Not again, please stop! Guys. 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 Fuck. Guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> it was just Phantom Marionette. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey, for my health and safety, can we sw swap the rule? Actually, no, it's 730. We're almost out of here. That's fine. I'll do seven more sips. Jesus Christ. At four. Yeah, I didn't even save the boss fight, too. Four more. Oh, that needs to be mixed. That was all rum. <laughs> I got jumped for real. <laughs> that was better. Eight. How in the fuck is FNAF World the thing killing us most? know where the Halloween update is to be honest 
Um, actually, yeah, we're almost done FNAF 4. I did take some breaks, though, to be fair. Maybe we'll do FNAF 4 for like 10 more minutes. Not enough power leveling, true. Um, I feel better not drinking all that fucking eggnog, though. It's at the start. I've never actually done the Halloween update. Funny enough. What brand of rum? Captain Morgan. It was what's in the cabinet. Olivia speak? No. Just because I don't feel like doing that. So is that the start? I don't care. Is this just not the right download? Let's go! Rub against the trees at the beginning. Oh, it's... It's one of these trees? Is it... Would it be, like, visually distinct in any way? us please please just don't wipe us that's all I'm asking just don't wipe my party please dear god if we wipe again we're ending <laughs> if we wipe again we're going to sister location Jesus Christ no don't do it no Phantom Chica you bitch I saw those screws We're not doing this again. Jacob, I'm being held hostage. Can you not run from encounters? What do you mean hold left? I'm in a fight. Thank God. <laughs> forced to wipe. Born to shit, forced to wipe. Am I right, chat? All right, what the fuck did you even have? It's, uh, it's not even great, to be honest. We'll put you in the back to level up, I guess. It's here. Oh shit. Let's go. I've never done this before.
Yeah, that's actually how I got here. How do I get the Halloween characters, though? This is hard mode, yeah. Play the games. Cool, cool, cool. We're not counting Chica's magic rainbow deaths. What? Oh, I left. Oh, I also didn't update the sheet. Oh, that's the posture song? You're so right. We only have like eight minutes left, but I do want to try some of these mini games. Is that what this is? Let's go! I've only ever played Freddy's Space 3, okay. Hi, Scott. What an awful control scheme, Scott. Oh, I see he didn't cap the speed at which we can shoot. I love that even in fucking Freddy in Space, there's the weird fucking canning effect on, vert on horizontal movement. Poop, it's in space, let's go! What the fuck? Cupcake stick Manhattan true. Not very good. Yeah, death in here count. Just Chica's natural grain doesn't, because that's like meant to kill you and troll you. Let's go. Oh, you can hold it? Paste.
Breakfast at Chica's. Romantic comedy. Why is this area just bubbles? What's the art direction here, Scott? thing over here I guess we go down here then yeah These enemies suck, I'm just gonna... Do have to go back? Oh, I see, I see. Well, we're about to die, and that'll probably end the FNAF world since we're inside 740. <clears throat> Music's kind of a jammer, though. Oh, there it is. to the next game chat and with that we move on to sister location oh man it's only seven o'clock I do have to go to the bathroom though so while this boots up I'm gonna go to the bathroom It's all that eggnog.
Sorry, chat. I think that was the uh, eggnog coming back to haunt us. Uh, being super real. But I'm feeling okay. New game time. Yippee! I never have a hangover. I have AB. <laughs> I didn't have a hangover. I have IBS. That's what I fucking have. I can't adjust well, the volume, so hopefully we that's good. You. How's that volume? Because I can't adjust it. Get started. I'm a Model 5 of the Handyman's Robotics and Unit Repair System, but you can call me Hand Unit. Your new career promises challenge, intrigue, and endless Not janitorial as as opportunities. Well, it's dairy free, luckily. Please enter your name as seen above the keypad. This cannot be changed later, so it seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. One moment. Welcome, Eggs Benedict. Whoa. Remember when I was like, man, I wish I could read chat while I'm playing the game. Uh, this is like no gameplay here, so I can read chat like hell. It is great. Bro, go to bed. It's 7.50 p.m. I'm fine. Seventh animation with Incredible Kind of 5 in honor of FNAF 5 here's $5 based. Thank you. It's not even 8 o'clock. You can now open the elevator using that bright red This is your second stream button. from the, ch Let's from get, the for this channel? Fill this Wild second stream. With some lighthearted banter. Due to the massive success How many more hours do we have left? Uh, a Freddy Fazbear's pizza, a five. It was clear that the stage Ish. was set. No pun intended. We're, we're about no halfway through, chat. Children's entertainment. We're about like halfway through. Venues, our robotic entertainers are rented out for private parties during the day. And it's your job to get the robots back in proper working order before the following morning. You are now in the primary control module. It's actually a cross space between the two front showrooms. What a terrible now, noise. Let's get started with your daily tasks. View the window to your left. This is the Ballora Gallery party room and dance studio, encouraging kids to get Who's fit away, and enjoy Henry. pizza. Let's turn on the light and see if Ballora is on stage. Press oh, you the button on okay. the elevated keypad to your left. Uh-oh. It looks like Ballora doesn't feel like dancing. Let's give her some motivation. Press the red button now to administer a controlled shock. Maybe that will put the spring back in her step. Let's check the light again. Where's my cat? I don't know, somewhere in the basement. One security breach? Later. Excellent. Ballora is feeling like her old self again and will be ready to perform again tomorrow. Now view the window to your right. This is the Funtime Auditorium, where Funtime Foxy encourages kids to play and share. Try the light. Let's see what Funtime Foxy is up to. It might be all Looks like Funtime good. Foxy is taking the day off. Let's motivate Funtime Foxy with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. Sorry, I'm texting my wife to make sure I'm still on schedule. No, this is perfect, period. I just started Sister Location. Looks like Funtime fun. Foxy is in perfect working order. Great job. In front of you is another vent shaft. Crawl through it to reach the Circus Gallery control module. Okay. She thought I was a whole hour off. I was like, what did I do? Just finished. Motion trigger. Circus gallery vent. It caused like 20 sips. On the other side of the glass is Circus Baby's auditorium. Let's check the light and see what Baby is up to. Looks like a few of the lights are Couldn't out, the but we can fix that later. Not. No, I think it happens Baby in chat. Let's cheer up with a controlled shock. So if we're talking about screen time, Circus Baby doesn't have enough fucking Let's screen time. She's barely in this game. Shock. She was in all the trailers, and she wasn't even in the game. Let's 
Let's try another controlled shock. Great job, Circus Baby. We knew we could count on you. That concludes your duties for your first night on the job. We don't want you to leave overwhelmed, otherwise you might not come back. Please leave using the vent behind you, and we'll see you again tomorrow. I see. Uh, my poor wife was confused. Because FNAF 5, sister location, is the sixth one on the list. She was like, isn't FNAF 1 FNAF 5? I'm like, no, no, no. Separate thing. Guys, look at all that gameplay we just did. Another day, another dramatic entry in the lives of Vlad and his distressed mistress. Where will they go? What will they do? All of that and more Pop happening boy. now. Clara, I tell you, the baby isn't mine. Count, I tell you that it is. You're the only vampire I've ever loved. And the baby turns his bottles into powdered milk. That doesn't mean anything. He sleeps on the ceiling fan. Upright or upside down? What does it matter? You need to be part of your son's life. I'm an old man, Clara. I can't be a father. Well, then at least pay your child support, you deadbeat. True. Will Vlad and his distressed mistress find common ground? Tune in next time. Popcorn. Popcorn. Daddy. Is scary Sam trying to sit so he's below her? I think you're just afraid of women and without the chain. No. <laughs> No, that's a fair. I would say scariest is probably. Welcome it. back for another night of intellectual stimulation, pivotal career scariest, choices, and self-reflection on I past mean, mistakes. Uh, We're committed to creating a unique and fulfilling work experience. Anyway, one part of that on. commitment is ensuring that you don't get tired of the voice that you're hearing right now. Using the keypad below, it seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Oh wait, I forgot. For so what's you? you can skip dialogue. Thank you for choosing, nah, angsty team. We're getting the real, the real sister location experience right here. Circus baby's pretty creepy. She's very scary and um, help on it too. Very unsettling. <sighs> I'm a bi woman, I bet. Ah, Ryan, I'm a bi woman. I'm definitely scared of women. Fair. The elevator stopped. You know the routine. Get out now or. So, Whatever. funny story. A dead body was found in this vent once. Okay, so, not that funny, but it's a story. Okay, let's start with your nightly chores. You should check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage, but whatever. Huh. I guess Ballora has better things to do. Let's zap her. That should be fun. Look at this good camp, I guess. <laughs> Well, let's check on Funtime Foxy. Make sure he's okay. ready for showtime tomorrow. Great. 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 There seems to have been a problem with the voice synthesizer. Default settings have been restored. Please proceed Wait, Clay, through the, the vent question? ahead of you to Circus Baby's Circus Auditorium. Baby like best? Coolest? Like what? what's up? We're crawling like a motherfucker. Motion trigger. Circus gallery vent. 
circus baby had a busy day a today. Baby for what? Let's check the light and make sure she's in proper working order. Oh, circus baby, we aren't here to play hide and seek. Let's encourage baby to come out of hiding with a controlled shock. Best? Let's like try another Baby's controlled lore, shock. I think she's scarier, but I really like Funtime Foxy's design. But I guess I'll give it to Circus Baby. There seems to be a power malfunction that is affecting our ability to properly motivate Baby. Please stand by while I reboot the system. I will be offline momentarily during this process. Various other systems may be offline as well such as security doors, vent locks, and oxygen. Commencing system restart. Motion trigger, entryway vent. Funtime auditorium maintenance vent opened. Pulula so gallery maintenance vent opened. I don't recognize you. You are new. I remember this scenario, however. It's a strange thing to want to do, to come here. I'm curious here. what events would lead a person to want to spend their nights in a place like this. Mm. Willingly. Uh, Maybe TZ, curiosity. we counted every death of a Maybe character ignorance. in FNAF World as there a, is a space and under I got the desk. wiped twice. Someone before you crafted it into a hiding place, and it worked for him. I recommend that you hurry, though. You will be safe there. Just try not to make eye contact. It will be over soon. They will lose interest. Guys, are you ready for some fucking gameplay? Ready for some gameplay, chat? Hey, Thompson Stanker. Is this guy drunk? I'm a little tipsy. Uh, Olivia, any all. I will be doing VR at the end of the stream, so fingers crossed. I'm feeling okay. We had to swap from the Baileys and eggnog to margarita mix and rum, but it's kind of watered down, so I don't go over the alcoholic percentage I was already at. I'm getting a little weepy though. Maybe I'll have some coffee. I do need to get more water, but I feel bad because I just took a break because I had to go to the bathroom. You're good, Olivia. You literally can't misgender me. I go by everything. All playing all FNAF games? All mainline ones, except for your Ultimate Custom Night. Hey, Biohazard Gang, thank you. Ever had a Caesar? What's a Caesar? Coffee with IBS? You know I need it. I don't feel bad. When your I'm just guide sleepy, comes back I didn't get a lot of sleep last he night. is going to tell you that he but was our baby's unsuccessful. Like, that you must our baby's restart the system and manually. And like four teeth are about to come out. He so. will then tell you to crawl through Bolora he does not Gallery sleep well because as fast he doesn't sleep as you well, can we don't sleep to reach well. the breaker room. If you follow his instructions, you will die. Ballora will not return to her stage anymore. She will catch you. The power will be restored shortly. 
When you crawl through Ballora Gallery, go slowly. She cannot see you, and can only listen for your movement. When you hear her music become louder, she is growing near, listening for you. Wait. Are y'all ready to still. do this when we do have one or two? Because I'm so Thank bad. you for your patience. It seems that the power system cannot be restarted automatically. You will need to restart the power system manually. Please return to the primary control module. Well, Philip, consider that the robots were overpowering or literally shaped and as and the size Motion of babies. Trigger. Surface gallery vent. You will now be required to crawl through the Ballora Gallery using the vent to your left to reach the breaker room. Need some it is recommended some kind of that you stay low to the ground and reach the other side as fast as possible as to not disturb Ballora. I will deactivate myself momentarily as to not create an auditory disturbance. Deactivating. We have a teether for the baby, but it only goes so well. It seems you are taking a long time. Please proceed as quickly and as quietly as possible. This troll mix is really good. It's just peanuts and raisins, but a third of them are raw, a third of them are covered in chocolate, a third of them are covered in yogurt. It's basically candy, but it's really yummy. There she is. I can't wait to get killed by you multiple times and help on it too. For real, I'm without the J. I'll grab water on the next um, Immortal and the Restless. That way something's actually happening on stream while I'm getting water. Where's my cat? I don't know. It's a great question. Low bit for circus baby? Circus baby easily. Low bit's like a cute Monster design, but doesn't actually do anything. You may now interface with the breaker control box. Using the interface may disrupt nearby electronics. If you feel you are in danger, feel free to disconnect the interface temporarily until it is safe to reconnect. Calm down and go back to sleep. No one is here. Bro, we almost got instantly killed by Funtime Freddy after that. Go back to your stage. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. Let's go back to sleep. Oops. 
Nah, you're imagining things one time. Freddy, you are imagining things. There's a lot of lore in this fucking fuse map. Fun time Freddy being worryingly stationary. Nope, no one is here. We keep going. I still remember why I didn't realize that you could you don't have to bring it to 100% every time you can just do it part way revolutionize this game I have to pee too there's really long cutscenes in between the nights on this so I was gonna go grab water and pee on the next cutscene I still think we got robbed of German Funtime Freddy. Great job. This oh, completes your tasks easy. for the night. Please proceed back through the Ballora Gallery with care, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Is she even active at this point? I don't remember. No witty remark about this one? No, this is not very fun. <laughs> is someone there? Nightmare Fredbear, Nightmares of Recolor. True. Pan stand, best one. Oh no, number one crate is my favorite. Oh, Valley Girl Chica would have been based. I forgot about that. Perhaps not. Yeah, trash in the game characters. Pants stand, bucket bob, and number one crate are trash in the gang. Uh, Mr. Hugs is the vacuum guy. All right, enjoy Immortal and the Restless. I need water. And I, gotta... I can't turn off the mic though, so I'll just not talk. As the sun sets, so also does another chapter in the saga of love lost between Vlad and his distressed mistress. Can they be reconciled? Can their love rise again? That and more happening now. Clara, the baby isn't mine. It is Vlad. They had trouble catching him in the nursery today. So what? Lots of kids get hyper and run around and stuff. They had to knock him out of the air with a broom. I have to go. They're going to dock your paychecks. They can't do that. I'm a vampire. I don't get paychecks. You work the graveyard shift at the Fry Me Taco. Don't lie to me. Oh, the humanity. When will the heartbreak end? When will these two ships passing in the night rekindle their long-lost love? Tune in tomorrow to find out. Play with her. She's so pretty and shiny. 
Didn't you make her just for me? Welcome back to another pivotal night of your thriving new career where you get to really ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? What would my friends say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? We understand the stresses of a new job and we're here for you. To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we offer several musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. We offer contemporary jazz, classical, rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Using the keypad below, please type the first few letters of the musical selection you would prefer. It seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, water. and I will auto-correct it for you. Sorry for keeping Thank you for selecting Casual Bongos. Now that your elevator experience has been customized to your needs and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, your pay has been decreased by a substantial amount. Please enjoy the rest of your descent. Fuck yeah, Bongos. I also grabbed a slice of pizza and some fries. Hey, Corey Bear, the incredibly content. Just super tasty. Congrats on the 100k subs. Hope you're doing okay. Taking the proper precautions with the drinking. And everyone should like the stream if you haven't yet. Everyone should like the stream if they haven't yet. And yes, I'm being safe, but thank you. Due to unforeseen malfunctions from today's shows, your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may not be skilled enough to perform. It became number necessary for technicians to attempt to disconnect crate. Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. Let's check on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. Great, it looks like everything is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. More pizza? It's important to make I mean, sure yeah, she's on I her stage before like entering. I'm hungry. Great, it looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. 
There is no need to check on baby tonight. Please refrain from entering unauthorized areas. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. There's really long lore cutscenes in there. But fuck that, it's already 820. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as flash. to not accidentally Ooh. activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need flash. to get your bearings, flash. and Ooh. to ensure you don't bump into Four. anything. One, two, However, three. use it as sparingly flash. as possible. Two, three, Proceed four. forward to Pause. reach the parts two, and service three, room. Four. Flash, two, three, four. Pause, two, three, four. Flash, two, three, four. Pause, two, three, four. Flash two three four pause two three four flash two three four pause two three four flash oh wait and wait four and eight count flash two three four pause two three four flash wait four in eight count flash two three four one two three four flash two three four one Two, three, four, flash. Oh, fuck, he's right there. Four, flash. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, flash. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, flash. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, flash. Two, three, one, two, three, four, flash, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, flash, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, flash, two, three. Let's go. <sighs> Motion trigger, parts and service. No, Great I'm not job that drunk. reaching it's just parts and service. Fun. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located I'm on the other side of the I don't the know if Astro came up with it, but I first to saw it, it on we will Game first need to open the face plates. You will need to count. press the faceplate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. Great. Now locate the button under his left cheek and press it. Great, now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Great, now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. Fake out jump scare. Good job. The face plates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Excellent. The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Great work. You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. God, we might die here. I'm actually really bad at Bonnie. At Bon Bon. Damn it. Bon Bon, where are you? Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Got Great him, job. let's You've go! You've acquired both power modules. I gotta play this AR completes now. your tasks for the night. Please exit the building AR. through Funtime Auditorium, and we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Uh, oh, we gotta go back. Um, chat. This one does not count. It is a scripted jump scare. <laughs> that does not count. It is scripted. Shh, be 
still. Are you guys ready to possibly absolutely fucking ruin my liver on this one? Sleeping for quite a while. I think no, uh, yeah, this is unskippable. I'm just gonna the relax. Last night. The cameras <sighs> were searching for you, but they couldn't find you. I have you hidden too well. I kidnapped you. I do like that bit. I will say the like the the as much flack as I give this game, the dialogue and story of this game is really fun. And just the idea of like, I kidnapped you and Night 4 starts playing, that's really, Don't really fun. Afraid. It's a shame the I'm gameplay not sucks. Going to hurt you. I am only going to keep you for a little God, while. you know what I really want? Try chips. not to wiggle. I'll ask my wife to see if we have any chips. You're inside something that I could go for some fucking chips, pizzeria. man. I don't think it was ever used. At least not Do the way it was meant to Even be the small used. Too dangerous. It's just big enough for one person to fit inside, but just barely. You're we did miss out on our episode room. of Immortal and the Restless. Do you know why they call it the scooping room? It's because, dummy. This is the room where they use the scooper. True. True and based. Obvious. Isn't that a fun name for something? The scooper. It sounds like something you would use for ice cream or custard or sprinkles. It sounds like something you would want at your birthday party to ensure that you get a heaping portion of every good Thing. I'm not on Twitter. You're on Twitter. I wonder though. Baby's hitting on you? Nah. If you were a freshly opened pint Don't be weird. Is this like a 12-hour stream? 10 hours, but yeah. What kind of chips? I want chips now. Um, anything salty? I feel like with Thank this. You. Oh, Annabelle. I, I always ask you in comments, and then I forget to follow up because I get notifications for the first comment but not replies. Uh -oh. Annabelle, is your like profile picture Al Haytham? That looks so familiar, and I can't tell. Who's your profile picture? Baby is real for calling us a dummy. Just seems like these things can't go a day without breaking down. But yeah, anything salty, like Fritos, um, Ripples, some kind of chips. Nothing flavored, though. Right now, I want just salty-ass regular chips. Think Cassie's dad is Jeremy Fitzgerald? Yes, I do. But I don't think it's the help-wanted one, Jeremy. I do play Gash again without the J. I'm in the middle of Inazuma, but I've been focusing on... Hold on, the game's loud as shit. We'll be looking at the scooper for this. You can see Valor jump or whatever, but you can see the scooper in the bottom right. Here's the thing, I like flavored chips, but right now I just want a salty regular chip. Uh, but I There's do play Kenshin Impact. I'm, a, I'm a, like midway through Inazuma, but I've been taking time. a break for story progression to grind and level up my characters some more and get some better I'll artifacts. To pretend. Manuel Garcia with the incredibly kind five. It's canon after doesn't like Freddy X body shipping, which is the reason why Funtime Freddy pretend doesn't have the real body. True! Way. Too bad you it's canon. It's very Valora never learns, but I. I'm not nauseous or anything. I just didn't want to burp on the microphone. They think there is something wrong on the inside. The scooper. We be scooping. The only thing that matters is knowing how to pretend. pretend. You can see the scooper in the bottom middle of the screen right now. Yeah. Actually get to see it in action. Doing the same thing but with Fon Fontaine. I really want to play Fontaine, but I'm so behind in the story. I'll open the face plates for you. 
I didn't play Genshin for like two years. Um, I played it on release, and then I took like a two-year break, not on purpose, just ended up not playing it for a bit. So I'm like super behind in the story. I'm excited for Sumeru and Fontaine, though. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. So if I remember correctly, don't prior prioritize filling them immediately, but after a while, don't worry about filling them all the way. And go top to bottom so you can quickly see motherfuckers like this guy. Probably gonna die a couple times here, to be honest. You're wait till I finish dying here. Fair. I'll be honest, I'm going to be able to rechat a lot less until this is done. Been able to rechat a lot on sister location gameplay, but like, can't really read during this gameplay. Peanut butter and cheese is good on a sandwich? Sounds disgusting. I have heard, I think it was on Bluey, they did like cheese and jam. And like, at first I'm like, grape jelly and American cheese sounds disgusting. But I guess if you did like a sharp cheddar and like a really fancy raspberry jam, that could probably be pretty good. But peanut butter and banana sounds better though. Doesn't it rock that the only time we canonically see Springlocks up close, they're just fucking circles? Isn't that awesome? Don't we love that chat? Ooh, he almost snuck up. It's a quick one. Uh oh, we might get spring lock chat. I'm worried about that top left. Right? Yeah, damn it. Can you imagine if I first tried that? Use wraparound screen? What the hell does that mean? Also, don't spam. I literally can't check chat. What do you mean use wraparound screen? On the bright side, it tastes a lot better than the fucking spiked eggnog, so take what you can get. Oh, the misery. We're going to go from 52 to 63. I'll open the face plates for you. That way they came in to check where you're for the celebration. Cameras. And oh, no. Yeah, this is now, this is when sister location is going to increase our drinks. We haven't died yet, so. I also, thank you, Sandwich Lee. You also, you're wrong, but thank you. Wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them In to settings? come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. Really super real. I didn't even know Sister Location had settings. Use an auto clicker? No, no, no you hold it. Clicking doesn't. Uh, clicking is actually slow. You just hold click. It's just a bad game. <laughs> no, it's just not very fun, is all. Chad, how's your night been? 
I'm just here clicking these spring locks. Rum goes good with coffee. Interesting. Well, I did do Bailey's and coffee the other day, but I'm out of Bailey's, so. This night is the worst. True. Never got to this part. Wait, have you just not played the game? There's no challenge until this part. This is like the only hard part of the game and it's incredibly hard. Clay, cool it with the fucking sweating emoji. <laughs> just keeps going, chat. Oh, shit. What if we get this? Th so, deaths on this, I'm gonna... Here's the rule. Deaths on this don't count until we're actually trying. Once we're actually trying, then it's fair game. Because, I mean, how am I supposed to be ready for that? You know what I mean? This game, man. But deaths will count on that. We're going for entered. Deaths will count on that mini game when we're trying that to do way it. They can find you on the cameras. Now all you have to do is wait. I'd recommend that you keep the spring locks <sighs> well done. I did. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. What I had to do. You don't want them to get too loose. And saw it through. Without exception, I plan each charted course, each careful step along the byway, but more. Much more than this, I did it my way. Yes, there were times I'm sure you knew when I bit off. Casey, my lights. Casey! More than I could choose. But through it all, when there was doubt, I ate it up and spit it out. I faced it all And I stood tall And did it my way I've lived I've 
laughed and cried I've had my fill My share of losing But now As tears subside Fuck, the lighting spilled my soda I find it all so amusing to think I did all that and may I say not in a shy way Let's go! Insanity arc true. <laughs> now, I, one, I like singing. I just don't often do it on stream. But two, what the fuck else am I supposed to do during that? Okay. I As the go moon rises, towel. so I also rises the tension between scorn lovers. Clara, it's not my baby. Vlad, you suck. Wait, was that a vampire joke? That was so lame, Clara. Like I haven't heard that a million times. Okay, well, how's this? I'm taking the car. The joke's on you. It's a rental. Well, the joke's on you. I set the thermostat to 90 before I left. Good. I like it warm. Good, because I also set the house on fire. How will it all end? The passion, the tension, the intrigue. <sighs> Tune in tomorrow for the exciting the conclusion. You can already tell. I don't know what you're talking about. Luckily, it's a diet soda, so it's not sticky. Daddy isn't watching. Sleigh bells ring. Are oh, you listening? Welcome back In to your rain, last day on the job. The is that is the last day of your first week. Some of the most valued qualities that we like to a see in new employees are determination, fearlessness, line. and a genuine disregard for Walking instinctive self-preservation. You've earned your one-week bonus, which will be given to you in the form of a delightful gift bag, are you the cost of which question. will be taken out of your next paycheck. Yeah. We have gift baskets containing fruit, nuts, I was doing flowers, for and of course the ever-popular cash basket. Using the keypad bullet, chat. it seems you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for selecting Exotic <sighs> Butters. I can hit both parts. Please be aware that there are still two technicians on site today. I just can't do it at Try the same time. I'm not that good at code with their work, yet. if possible. Also, I can hit the feel free to ask them why they are still outside. there and encourage them to go home. But then you can hit the. Keep from fire, fire from heat. I really can't stay. I've got to go away. One of these days I'm going to record both and put it together and see what happens. How many shots now? Bro, it's fucking here. Read. Oh, I didn't update the chart, though, for the two times we died in night four. I can't update the chart. There we go. Oh yeah, we can just run. Wee! <laughs> oh man, this location does it for me, man. What else am I supposed to do? Let's check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage. <laughs> Takes a break for a while because friend is fitting. Comes like fifty-three steps in a musical fair. Uh oh. Uh. Trigger warning, uh, silhouettes of dead bodies. I'll, I'll speak again when they're gone. Great. Now let's check on Funtime Foxy. <laughs> Want to hear Great. a joke? Sure. It looks like everything is as if it should funny, be in Funtime Auditorium. If it's not funny, I'm going to ban you, though. Now, if it, your task swampy today friend out. You're welcome to tell the joke, but if it's not funny, I'm going to time you Circus Baby had a rough hours. day and is in need of repair. Uh, the dead bodies are you gone. You will be required to reach the parts and service room by once again sneaking through Funtime Auditorium. As always, please proceed with caution. Clay, too far. You for real. You're being weird. Open. Final warning. Clay. Oh, we're doing Freddy? Or Foxy? I was paying attention. 
One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, one. Is Foxy still around? Can I just run? Can I just book it? Let's go! Well, you never know what might be Mushroom a bad experience for somebody, Phil. So it's good to be careful. What do you call a pig who dies comes to the pig who does come Circus food. Baby has been Pork deactivated chop. for an unknown reason. It's your job to make sure she is structurally stable and secured to the conveyor. Our technicians will take it from there. You know what, Swampy? I'll, I'll give it to you. It's not that funny, but it's pretty good. Yeah, if you want to make your Can voice you sound me? a bit more feminine and you're a masculine I'm person, um, it's hard to practice, but I as a singer, I like, I, it was easier to learn. There's a really good channel um, who does voice tips for it, move. but you just have to internally constrict Something your vocal cords. A good way to practice bad always happens. I don't is like going to, to cough but not again. coughing and doing that action. There is something bad um, but once you do that, do that and don't speak with your diaphragm, speak with your lungs. And you go it from here. Be fixed. I'm going to be taken to the scooping room. Heat from fire, fire from heat to but here. It's and it's just like this is imperfect, but it's a great start, you know? What is bad is always bad I know a good knock knock joke, but you have to start it. I'm Will not born I yesterday. I know how this shit works, Ian. So the rest I'm just gonna say knock knock here, say who's there, and I'm gonna look like an idiot. You know what, Ian? Knock knock. Ballora is here. In the room with us. Ballora will not return to her stage. Ballora will not return to her body. I said that so confidently, but you I actually can't think careful. of any knock knock jokes. <laughs> you must remain calm and listen to my voice. There is a button on my cheek. You must find it and press it. Oh, right. A uh, button on the cheek. It's so hard to fucking see. Oh, here it is. Oh God, we got this chat. There is a passcode that you must enter before you can retrieve me. Enter the code carefully. Eh, don't swampy. They're often not funny. Two. One. Eight. Three. Eight. Six. Miss. God, this minigame sucks. <sighs> On her cheek. First time auditorium maintenance vent open. 56 56 10 more minutes i don't know if we're gonna beat entered but i think we can probably get to entered the question is can we beat the circus baby minigame we're pretty much at the end this is gonna be the only game we actually beat tonight motion trigger parts and service can i just hit this great job reaching parts and service circus baby has been deactivated for an un okay, control s Um, oh, but the audio is gone. There is a passcode that you must okay, enter. Okay, I have to hit control S again. Okay. Me. <laughs> enter the code carefully. Six. Nine. Three. Eight. Three. Nine. One. Eight, three, nine. Good. A hatch. Gosh, I hate that mini game. Take the card that you find inside. Now you must turn back. I will guide you through Funtime Auditorium so you can reach the scooping room. When you are there, I want you to destroy this body. Put the card into your handheld device, and I can continue to speak to you. Now, press the green button to your left. 
This will send me to the scooping room. No idea what we're drinking, so we swapped. At first it was half Bailey's, half eggnog. So I ran out of eggnog and Bailey's, so this is margarita mix and rum. You must follow my instructions in Funtime Auditorium. Valora is going to follow you. She will try to catch you. Philip, is this actually Ballora or Maskless Energy? What's the difference? The room. She is afraid. Go back now. Go forward. Stop. Gameplay. Go forward and left. Keep going. Stop. Be silent. Chat, shut the fuck up. Chat, chat, Go chat, shut the fuck up. We have to be quiet. Left. Stop. Go forward. You are almost there. Stop. She is right in front of you. Don't move. He is here to help, Ballora. He is not here to hurt us. Ballora, he is here to help us. Go forward again. Ballora is behind you. She is afraid of the scooping room. She will not follow you. Chat, we did it! I'm skipping dialogue. Warning. This You've entered a highly dangerous like area. Left. You have entered from main... We died! Yay! We did it, chat! Alright, let's go do a minigame. Scooped percent. Hey Chad, this is the first time we beat a FNAF game this stream. Let's fucking go. Um. So now we are gonna, we have like 10 minutes ish. I'm gonna try to beat the Circus Baby minigame. Deaths and failures count for the sips. But I want to see if we can get, uh, if we can beat Enter. Or at least unlock him. Still so many games. What? We only have FNAF 6, Security Breach, Ruin, Help Wanted 1, and Help Wanted 2. That's only 5. 4 if you combine Security Breach and Ruin, which we are. Yeah, this is going to go on to like midnight for me. I like hand unit. simply beat this the first time and not sip any more alcohol for this game. Okay, I get it. Can I get back to the main menu, please? Or with 3 a.m., skill issue. Yeah, that's fine, Swampy. Holy shit, how long is Can I control S the credits? 
Did I just hit escape? Like, what the fuck? Escape. Oh, I had to hit escape. What the fuck? Okay, let's do the mini game. I think we got this in the bag chat. We're so good. Uh oh. That's we need every fucking second. Does not bode well. One. Chad, you're gonna need to keep count with me. We'll update this at the end. We don't have a lot of time here. No, fuck. Two, Ch count with me, chat. I need your help. Two. Just count for this mini game. We'll add it at the end. Absolutely devilish what we have to do for this fucking mini game. Just want to say. You know, Scott, Scott Cawthon, if you're watching this, as a man of God, this is absolutely devilish. I'm surprised as a man of God that you would do something like this. Oh, fuck. There goes this run. Still good practice, though. seconds i don't think we're making it but hey we did it correctly we just need to be faster but i don't think this is gonna be fast enough oh especially not with fucking flubs like this hey at least we can save ourselves is this song called turtle crusher that's so weird Oh, no way do we have enough time. Damn it. Okay. So this is what? Four, I believe? Four. Four, chat. Run. 
rolling. Oh, my wife is calling me. Hello? Okay. Chat, we're going to have to stop it there. It is 9 o'clock. Um, we're at 60 sips. It is the 9 o'clock bedtime break. I'm going to go help with bedtime. I will be right back, and we will be back with some Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria Simulator. So uh, we'll be right back. Enjoy the BRB music.
Chat, we're back. Sorry about the brief interlude. I had to go do bedtime and help put my son to bed. Yeah. And toddlers notoriously don't like going to bed. So it's a, it's a two-person job. But I'm booting up Freddy Fazbear Simulator as we speak. And we have an hour of FNAF 6, an hour of Security Breach and Ruin, and then an hour of Help Wanted 1 and 2, and we'll be done. We're in the home stretch now. Once we beat this, we're fully in the Steel Wool era. Um, so, oh, I need to make sure the game's not being picked up. Because I'm sure it isn't. God, again with this. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Scott, I don't know what it is with the six and sister location, but Scott sure loves to just have his game trap your mouse. And I know I just said, man, I wish the game would trap my mouse, but like, when I alt tab out of it, it shouldn't still trap my mouse. doing Secure Breach and Ruin, or just one? We're going to try to do both within the hour-long slot. Or we can just do Ruin, but I figured there's stuff in Security Breach we don't want to miss. I don't know what. I prefer Ruin, but, like, we should check in on Gregory. It's been a while. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's... Why are there keys going missing on my keyboard? Am I doing that, or is Casey doing that? I can't even ask you guys, because I was on the BR back screen. But two of my keys were not where they're supposed to be. You can place the They're on the keyboard. They're just, like, off and to the side. I'm like, I don't think I did that. I'm not playing that rough. And it was number pad keys. I don't even use the number pad. Strange. I bet it's the cat. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Ultimate Custom Night does not Great. Correct. That should be more than enough. Now let's get Why started. Why not do an hour for both? Because it's On already your a left 10 hour are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click okay. the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between catalog mode and blueprint mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. All right, let's get some money, shall we, chat? Oops. Sorry, Helpy. We do need points, though, so we shouldn't just kill Helpy here. Save that for Help Wanted 2. God fucking damn. We need money. Chat, we need money. We're going to try to salvage every animatronic. Okay, there we go. I'm like, I swear I'm better at games like this. Can't we get money for this? Fuck. Sorry, I'll be. <laughs> Fuck! This is harder than I thought it was. Welcome back, everybody. People are going to start coming in more because I typically stream around this time anyway. They just missed the first seven hours. Let's go! Let's go! Best trash in the game, animatronic is number one crate. There we go. Here's some money. We need more, though. I'm actually not feeling too tipsy. I think I sobered up with Sister Location because we really only drank alcohol at the very end of Sister Location. So I'm feeling okay. Fuck. Um... Get $100 for every thousand points. Good to know. Let's 
Plenty of speed and time because I am missing a few key items. This one. Hi, Miku. There it is. Notably, 1960 is the points there. I wonder if that means something. I promise, Chad, I'm not stalling. I just, I'm trying to one, get lore, but two, get a lot of fucking money. Because I want a lot of money going into it so we can buy upgrades. my favorite to have six animatronics? Scrap Baby's pretty cool. Scrap Baby or Lefty, probably. FNAF 6 without the upgrades is rough, yeah. I'm already bad at FNAF 6, let's get some fucking upgrades, shall we? I 
Oh yeah, this is just wait out the time. This one was nothing but for a Hi, William. So I can't get the speed upgrade, but I can get magnet and go to Do you even have to beat this one or do you just have to play it? So we might end up Take it back. I take everything back. Okay, cool. We just have to play it. I still think probably the most unsettling moment of the entire series. That car, that fucking horn is so unsettling. Game is loud compared to me. Oh, my bad. When we get back to blueprints, I can turn it down. Um, five hundred dollars. Let's upgrade. Did we already buy Midnight Motorist? Because you can get more points doing that one. Boop. Some good point opportunities in this in fucking Midnight Motors. We're not gonna be doing the lore on this one. Lore is long and doesn't get us points. I am speed. God, perfect Midnight Motorist player, maybe? Perfect run? Perfect run? It's more likely than you think. Oh! Had to open my fucking mouth, huh? God. Man. Twenty four hundred though. Drunk driving, true. Play tokens left. Um, I don't want to overspend because I I li I want money for. Ah, oh, these guys are all really expensive. We'll go back here for these guys. Yeah. Oh, we do need the bigger stage. Does and does dumpster diver have a two person stage? It does. Let's go. Just so we get more money for the next day. Um and then we'll just we have three tokens left. We'll just do midnight motors three more times to get some money. So it can fully upgrade. Could add a coin slot. Did I just give us more play coins? Could be worth. Especially if I can consistently get $300 every time I play this game. Because that trade-off would be pretty good. But Although I don't know if I can. At least $200.
game's sound mixing is terrible. Do I think... She, I, I, so I never really liked the idea that the cupcake was possessed by Susie's dog. But I will say, after the FNAF movie, I think the FNAF movie has given the most evidence for that theory that I've ever seen. Um, before that FNAF movie, there was really no evidence for it. Am I already drunk? Nah, I'm a little tipsy, though. Who do I main? Right now, I've been maining um, in Genshin Impact. I've been maining Rites, Roth, Rithsly, I believe. He's so fun to play. Um, I'm running him with uh, Farina and Barbara in the background to add Hydro, and I'm just playing a freeze team. Um, I want. I've got Charlotte on fourth. She doesn't do anything. She's level 20. She's just there so I can get um, a Cryo Resonance. I do want to eventually replace her with Shenha, but I don't have Shenha. But if I replace her with Shenha, I think this team's going to go crazy. I'm not super high. I'm only AR44. Um, but he already does like 8,000 on autos, which is crazy. I just need to get a better uh, artifact set on Rice on Ricely. He's super fun. One play token left. And with like 45 minutes, we'll start actually playing this fucking game. <sighs> oh shit, you finally got past Breaker Room? For me, I just didn't realize for the longest time that Breaker Room... Um, that in Breaker Room, you're supposed to... You, you're able to like close it midway. I thought you had to get full 100% each time you hit the button. Which, it got a lot easier once I learned that. Hopefully you know that and you didn't have to just grind it without knowing, but we've all been there. Holy fuck, chat. Perfect game? I think that's the first perfect I've ever gotten on that. Nuvo with Farina Baizu official. That sounds pretty good. I, I do really... My other main team is I've got Raiden, Nilu, um, Kale, and Dentro Traveler for Hyper Bloom. I really want... I think my two dream teams. The one I'm running now, but with Shenha. And then I'll hate them... Um, I'll hate them right in Farina and then Baizu. Or, no, probably a Dendro healer. Maybe Yao Yao. I'm not sure. A Dendro healer to balance. Because if you have Farina on your team, you need someone who can heal. Because fuck, does she hurt your team? I want to do a Hyper Bloom team with Farina and Raiden on, in the back and with a Dendro driver. But I prefer I'll hate them to. Um, your restaurant is now officially open. What's awesome. her name? That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat What's the handyman the do? Other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry Steam about Steam Tough? Oh, we're talking about Genshin Impact, HE Connect Me. The only money you have to worry about really fun game, but if you have a gambling addiction, don't play it. Because as, as a gacha game, it's going to want you to spend money. I need to turn the game up. Holy shit. The game is quiet as fuck. Nilu Bloom is crazy. Nilu, Nahida, Kale, Kokomi. Yeah. A Nilu Bloom with oh, hate them sounds really fun. And then I've got Raiden, so Hyper Bloom is easy. Also, shining your light 
I thought Baizu was shields only. It was Baizu heal too. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind. Oh, handyman speeds up the other. Okay, got it, got it. These active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. So this is what Handyman speeds up. Got it. Mostly healing his shield doesn't block much. I see. Okay, so Baizu would probably be... So my ideal team would probably then be Alhatham, Raiden, Nilu, Baizu. I'm probably saying some of those wrongs. Is it Nilu? I think that's my ideal team. But... Um, Job. Got him. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Yeah, like I've been drinking for the past seven hours, but uh, I've, I've only taken 60 sips of beverage. So I'm definitely tipsy, but I wouldn't say I'm drunk. Especially because, like, I haven't drank for a while in, like, the past two hours. Um, so, like, obviously, I'm too inebriated to, like, drive or something. But playing a video game is fun. I'm a bit tipsy. Of course, as with everything right. else, hopefully that's better volume wise. Work, it is too loud. Let me know. Come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run okay. the risk Heads of certain up. negative consequences. There is a Namely, chance we have to end early. Toddler's host is not, not sleeping well, as and he's fighting his sleep. If so, you do decide to try to if salvage it, both of them then start fighting it. I might have to go in the checklist. We'll see. During this testing phase check on the animatronic frequently if you feel that it is becoming unstable use the taser provided to you you can use it three times without damaging the hardware every use over three however will decrease the items salvage value before you is an animatronic found in the back alley we are unsure of its origins yeah the salvage it is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage or if you choose to you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Salvage. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Your voice is Henry? I don't know. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three. Two. Sit the fuck down, Walt Freddy. Jesus Christ. Two, one. I'm gonna try to get all sal salvage, but we only have like document results. Begin audio prompt in three. What we're two, ending at 10:15, one. so like 35 more minutes. 
so we probably won't get an ending, to be honest. How drunk are we? It, it, not much. I, I drank a lot in FNAF Document World, but like results. nothing in Sister Location, so I've had time to like calm down and sober up a little bit. And I'm drinking a lot of water, too. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. We're going for a one. completion, I believe. Whatever gets us the Henry FNAF 6 speech, the big one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. So Molten Freddy is supposed to be OGMCI, right? The toys are full cuts in my books. It's it's a little complicated, but yeah, I think generally a lot of people agree that Molten Freddy has the MCI kids, but it's not confirmed. results. You have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. Cheers. Full points. Thanks for letting me join the party. I'll try not to disappoint. Woo. Oh, the money, chat. The shmoney, chat. No lawsuits, too. Let's go. Where's my boy? My favorite boy. My biggest, bestest boy. Where's my big, bestest boy? My boy. My boy. Uh, we do need 900 points, though. So Cause I need that handyman, so we need nine hundred dollars stat. Drunk driving? I'm not drunk driving. I'm driving drunk. Silly, silly. Can you imagine if I was that, if I was that sloshed, we would have ended straight. Let's be real. Oh. Kermit the puppet, I would not be sure. Because Kermit is a muppet. Salvage and main night games are so quiet, but then we play the arcade games and they're loud as fuck. <laughs> Wait, 
go to the house? No, we're trying to win. The house doesn't give us money. And we need money. Okay, we have enough. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Now I'm, we're going to die repeatedly because I don't understand. Chat, how am I supposed to actually play this game? I don't actually understand how this game's supposed to work. I did not get the ads. We have enough money. Where is he, though? No, 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 follow the lore. Follow the audio, buddy.
I don't understand how those get work. Keep all the one side of your office up in front of them getting in from that side. I don't think that's true. It's a lure. Okay, huge. Don't bother, just go fast? What do you mean? I don't understand how this game works. Does that mean he went away, chat? Okay, that means he went away. Good to know, good to know. to go race this last one. Phew! I think it's the first time I've ever made it this far. I'm going to be real. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit pain. <sighs> Please make your choice now. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company as you taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Yeah, this one shouts to be very bad for Document my body. Results. Begin audio He's got one more stage three, to this, right? Two. Eh, I'm not risking it. We got three shocks. Oh, so upright was the last stage. I risked that. Oops. Document results. Got him. The salvage mini games would be scarier if they were harder.
What do you mean, Crypto? We got the biscuit. We have a thousand salvage still. Right there. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. You have completed the maintenance checklist. I, it's okay. We still got it. With the salvage. Well done. End tape. What a deceptive calling. I knew it was a lie the moment I heard it. Obviously. But it is intriguing. I'm still saying I knew it was a lie when I heard it. Obviously, it's such a, like, that's what you say when you didn't know it was a lie. I'm just saying. Woo, money. And we're fully upgraded, so we can just upgrade our store this time. <gasps> Fruit Punch Clown. Hog. Can't afford any of those, but we can't afford these guys. Orville Elephant isn't with them? Wild. Chat, you know we gotta before we go in. <laughs> Fruit bunch for everyone. Fruit bunch for everyone. You do get a lot of points really quickly with Fruit Punch Clown. Huge. Huge. Do this a couple times, we might be able to get Lemonade Clown. Fruit Punch for everyone. Let's go. Huge. Lemonade for everyone. Why is he Italian? Um, so what's in the last catalog? Egg baby data archive. Still such a straight Scott, what do you mean by this? Gravity vortex. That was a trivia question. There's or why is Orville Elephant separate? That's so strange. Pickles. 71,000. Oh my god, she's not that good, guys. Although this I I do remember back in the day this was such a huge reveal. Is, is everyone's favorite music man? Lefty's only five dollars. Look, I'm probably gonna die anyway. Let's just let's get it over with. Finished. I don't understand how this minigame works, to be honest. 
Happy birthday, RJ. I thought I heard you shuffling over there. Do you always get an audio cue? You may not recognize me at first, but I assure you, that's still me. How do you know he's gone? Voice line doesn't mean they're there. What's the fucking point then? I think I'm getting the hang of it. I still don't quite understand what I'm doing, to be real. Which FNAF game do I think has the best ending? Uh, I mean, the Princess Quest ending for Help Honor 2 is pretty fucking hype. If not, I mean, the Henry speech is an easy candidate. I said happy birthday, my guy. Ideally, we'll be playing Help Wanted, uh, so long as the boys cooperate. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. I wanna get something done. This game takes forever.
I don't understand this game, guys. Sorry, we only have it for like eight more minutes, but goddamn. Uh, yeah, if it, uh, White Wolf, if anyone wants to submit fan art, uh, just hashtag Rytart so it's easier to find on Twitter or Instagram. That would be the best way to get it on a video. Because I checked that hashtag, but that's about all I'm able to check. Oh, we're still going to die. Oh, that temperature, man. Go away. It's hot in here. Just staring, just staring at a vent while the fan blows on my face. Two, my bad. God, just let me do my task, please. Just let me do my task, please. I'm running for it, chat. I'm running for it. I'm running for it. Damn it. We're so close. I would have died.
Come on. All we have to do is clean the ovens, please. Please. We've been playing it incredibly safe, but we also haven't died yet, which is pretty fucking poggers. Before but it is 1013, so we're going to have to move on to security alley. breach. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company-issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Chat, I'm going to be super two, real. One. There is a likelihood that we're not going to be able to do a full stream. Do we proceed? What do? Begin audio prompt. What do? Proceed as planned. Skip to help wanted to just in case. Start poll. We we can play out of order if we need to. Hey, John, welcome. Also, yes, true, Begin that is the mimic. Oh, hello! Hello, <laughs> Scrap Baby's eyes! Prompt in three, two, one. Um, because essentially, Toddler Toast is fighting sleep really hard. And if the baby wakes up before the toddler's asleep, I'm gonna go have to. I'm gonna have to go help. Um, and that's gonna be either I'm gone for anywhere from ten minutes to an hour. So, if that happens, I just have to end stream. Begin audio prompt in three. Um document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Uh but it looks like Priscilla's plan is taking place, so we will move on to security breach after this. results you have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage well done end tape you don't really know who your employer is do you no nope. uh, but it seems like proceeds as plan takes it so we will boot up security breach Can I speedrun security breach? Fucking no! I'll just play it quickly. That's the furthest I've ever gotten in that game. That's crazy. Security breach. Woo! So we're gonna play this for like a half hour and then ruin for a half hour. Hello? Oh, my bad. For whatever reason... Anytime I tab out of Security Breach while it's starting up, it just crashes it. I don't know why. Don't know what causes that issue. John, post a spicy one. My one on Friday is going to argue that the correct... That Help Wanted 2 is saying the correct order is Missing Child Incident, then Charlotte, then Crying Child, then Elizabeth. And people are gonna hate it! Let's post spicy takes! <laughs> Bam! 
That's crazy, though. It is crazy. Doesn't mean it's wrong, though. What's your proof, MCI was first? Uh, it boils down to Graves and the Princess Quest, but wait for the full video, because there's a lot more evidence, and I'm very tipsy, so I'm not going to defend my point very well. Um, also, though, in-game sound quiet, got you. Will you shut up? Who said that? I did. Down here. Down where? I still do not see you. Okay, listen. You were sleeping, so Consider, I stomach hatch and climb I will say. My stomach I think, hatch? That place is reserved for oversight. Oh, interesting, Rivka. Thank you for the two dollars. I'll have to check that it later. It is not a safe play area. Let's... Wait, what was the workaround to skip? Is it voice volume to like 70 it was? There you are. What's the thing that skips dialogue? I don't remember. Oh, I forgot this was a drinking stream. Same, I haven't drank in like... I had four sips in the past like three hours. We're killing it. I'm sobering up by the second. Master volume under five, got it. Connection error. I cannot connect to the main network. It's her. She cut you off. She's not going to let you call for help until she finds me. Who? Who is looking for you? Your mother? Shh. I hear footsteps. <laughs> I can't separate the your mother from a yo mama joke. Part. She can help. No, no, I don't trust her. Why not? I don't know who she is, but she's trying to get me. Isn't there some other way for you to communicate with me besides talking so loudly? Ah, take this. It is a novelty. Under five? Oh. Freddy Fazwatch. Sending you an encoded message. Your mother. Hello, Gregory. It is me, Freddy. I will escort you to the main entrance. However, I am unable to leave this room. Hey, German, with the incredible can five. If you ever considered watching the timeline of Gibby's good bad I good idea, bad idea channel, if you do, what are your thoughts? I have not yet. Uh, I just have not had the time. It seems like a really well made video. I just have not had the time to devote to that. Uh, voice volume also needs to be zero. Got it. I'm learning. I'm learning. Hello? Does this game do that thing where if I hold forward and left, I move twice as fast? I can't tell. It feels faster, but it might just be a placebo. Why no voice volume? So we can skip cutscenes and try to get as far into this game as possible. Freddy's voice is funny. That's true. Sag. 
Cory Birds are blooming with the incredibly kind five. My sister's been a long ass email, so apologies, but it's big. Also, while you're tipsy, you ever think about how AR could stand for after robotics? Interesting. Don't want to be crushing to a meat pretzel. Fuck a duffel bag. We're trying to get out of here. Am I drunk yet? Nah. Probably not getting drunk. Unless I start really sucking at help wanted one or two. It's the mimic. If you want peak tipsy, watch like the end of FNAF World beginning of Security Breach. I basically had to chug my alcohol at the end of that. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The end of FNAF World, the beginning of Sister Location. Is it safe to drink while in VR? We're going to fucking find out, aren't we? We can't hear Freddy. That's on purpose. We're skipping these cutscenes. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Officer Vanessa, I threw it back. I am a material girl. Although, I don't know why this one isn't skipping. I don't know if maybe this one just doesn't skip. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I thought it was supposed to. Oh. oh, this one doesn't skip. I see, I see. Turn my gamma up. No, no, no. I turned it down so it's spookier. Have we drank water recently? Got it right here. That one never skips. Got it, got it. Toy Freddy or Withered Bonnie? The toys kind of suck, so Withered Bonnie IMO. I, d I just don't really like the toy designs that much. What if I just speed run? So those speed runners on David Barron's event ran like straight through uh, a thing. I've never practiced that and I don't feel like dying now. So. So what did they, they're like crazy. Ah, uh, this shit works. We might get a record on Help Wanted 2 if I'm able to play it. There you are. Lost boy over here. 
Did they follow you up these stairs? I've never stuck around. I never stuck. I I've. I never stuck. What would the past tense would? Be? So okay, the sense I'm trying to say is I never stick around. What's the past tense of I never stick around? I never have stuck around. That doesn't sound right. I never stuck around. Okay, that seems wrong. Because the thing that's strange to my brain is you would think... Because the sentence is, I have never... The sentence is, I would never stick around. So typically, the verb there is would. So you think it would be, I had never. But it's not, I had never stuck around. It's, I had never. I would never. I would never have stuck around. It's a weird sentence. Or I'm just tipsier than I thought. Hiccup. Who is that? Your mother? I never had stuck around. Ooh, that's what it is. I never had stuck around. I have never stuck around. Never is the word we needed, chat. We got there. Even spookier. Why would you ask ChatGPT? You'll just get a wrong answer. Just Google it. Chica is. We're gonna go save before I die. God forbid. She's up there, so we just want to be over here, then. Okay, she sees me, but she's over there. I'm faster, so... Just run. Simple as. Oh! Uh-oh. Problem. New problem, new problem, new problem. Yeah, I don't think we're making it out of the pizza plex with this one. Unless. 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 I am a god. Based.
don't know where she's supposed to be, but I'm just gonna use this. lining it before I die. Best hide and seek player ever. True. Made it out of the stroller with this one. Yeah, honestly, like, if there was a real life mega pizza flex, I'd be going there weekly. Are you kidding me? Like dope restaurants, laser tag, go karts, and bowling. I'm and an arcade. I'm in. I'm sold. Esnar, Esnar the gamer, mind gobbling these nuts. Come on now. I think I was born yesterday. I know this shit. Woo! Made it. Have you ever played Stardew Valley? Yeah, it's one of my favorite games. It's such a good game. The diarrhea for days would be worth it, and you know it. Have you ever played Cult of the Lamb? I want to play more of it, and we're going to be playing it on stream next year. Ideally within January, depending on how game releases go. This game is weirdly quiet with everything turned down. Hi, son. I have not played Signalis. Uh, I have played Cuphead, but I got af the last boss I beat was the dragon. I don't remember what came after that that I got stuck on. It's less that I got stuck on it and more that I just didn't have enough time to keep playing it. But now I have a Steam Deck. I can probably play it some more. Oh, I might need to turn my gamma slightly up. I can't see shit in the dark. It is dark as hell in here. Oh god, it's been a while. Why do I feel like I'm about to get cornered? Please tell me. Okay, he's out there. He's stupid. He's stupid. He's stupid and slow. He's stupid and slow. I'm fast as fuck, boy. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Distraction, dummy. Okay, I'm just no longer on the path that I understand. So I'm just winging it now. Chat, on now we're winging it. Sounds loud in here. I don't love.
Getting louder, chat. I don't see him anywhere. And I don't like that. Okay, he's over there. Where's the last... Oh, generator's on the floor in that one, isn't it? It's like over here. Oh, he teleported. Oh, he teleported. Oh, he teleported. Oh, my God. I'm too good. Oh, God, hold me back. I'm too strong. I'm too strong. I'm, I'm impervious. Nothing can ever harm us. Uh, eventually, White Wolf. It'll be a second channel thing. Uh, I didn't skip Help Wanted 1. Help Wanted 1 and 2 are going to be played back-to-back -back because it's a bitch to set up VR. So, Help Wanted 1 and 2 have the last two slots of the stream. Which, unfortunately, looks like we might not be able to play either of them today. Because I think my toddler is still fighting sleep and the baby's going to be waking up very soon. So, unfortunately, this might be the last game we play today. But we'll see. Almost walked directly into Moon, Jesus Christ. God, I haven't played Security Breach proper in forever. <laughs> I've played Ruin more than I've played Security Breach, unironically. Hey, don't put it out on me, Rybisquit. Or is it Rybiscuit? Regardless, don't put Bind Terraria on me. It's a great game, but, like, it's a wiki game. You're going to want the wiki up on your side uh, monitor the whole time. Will there be a part two if you don't get to the other games? Maybe not only because it's Help Wanted 1 and 2. Uh, Help Wanted 1, a game I've played incredibly recently. And Help Wanted 2, a game I've played a lot of. So we might just call it a day if I'm not able to play it today. And I will say, though, if you want to see... Um, if you want to see all, uh, if you want to see me playing Help Wanted 1, uh, there's a playlist on the second channel of the highly edited, cropped together, full playthrough of Help Wanted 1, right, it's on the Right Tooth channel. I don't know if some of y'all have heard of it, it's a pretty good channel if I do say so myself. Okay, I lied. It's not fully done, but there's two episodes out, and they're very good. How do I share the playlist? So here's this play. I'm not leaving yet. Don't worry. But if you want to see me play Help Wanted 1, it's right there. I forgot about Maskbot, to be honest. Oh, Crash Master, I didn't get to thank you. First off, I think I missed your super chat. Uh, so apologies. Son of Santa confirmed. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Ho, ho, ho. True. Thank you for the two. But also, Crash Master, I never got to thank you. Thank you so much for Pikmin 4. I didn't realize that's what the fuck you were talking about. You were just saying Pikmin 4. Thank you. That's incredibly kind. Um, What is our objective right now? Oh, get out of here. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. We'll go the way I know best.
Hey guys, it's the place. It's the place that we play in in Help Wanted 2. It's El Chips. We're back. We're finally back at El Chips. Finally back at El Chips, my beloved. Oh, what a good mini game. It's gonna relive some good memories. Guys, it's like we're it's like we're playing Help Wanted 2 again. It's like we're playing Help Wanted 2 again. Oh, my beloved. I think the security breach has a game. It's fun. Not necessarily good, but it's fun. I have fun playing it, and I guess that's all that matters. How unfortunate. Uh oh. How unfortunate. We can't go through the door we want, so we have to go through a different door. I don't even know where Roxy is, to be honest. I'm kind of just huffing it. Oh my god, we did it. Wait, do I have to go over there first? Probably. I can't believe we did that. Crash was thinking of the Incredible Ken 5. No worries, just a little bit. You can just talk in chat, but thank you. Sun would be sent to a moon to be Krampus. Honestly, true and based. We're kind of fucking running, dude. I think, okay, we'll call it at White Woman Jump Scare. We're close to it. I think we can get there. Um, and then we'll swap to Ruin if we're able to. I honestly don't remember how I'm supposed to, like, know when they're coming or how long I have until they do. Where is Monty? Monty, like, already fucked off, which is really funny to me.
Oh, I hit the button twice, motherfucker. I guess I actually have to use the cameras, huh? You don't read regular chat aloud and we crave attention? I mean, I try to, one pro planet. There's a lot of yous. It is a way to guarantee I read your message, but... Oh, hey, chat! First drink of security breach. Let's go. I almost forgot what we were doing here. It's been so long. Oh, I did not mix that well enough. It's been so long. God, I kind of forgot what we were doing. It's been a while. What am I drinking anyway? Uh, we ran out of the spiked eggnog, so now I'm drinking uh, rum and margarita mix. Rumaritas. near the save station they can't see you when they check the doors Ooh, I'm gonna find out sip number two though oh that was mixed better though that was mixed better I guess I shouldn't cheese the we should just try to actually beat it I haven't died in like over two hours <laughs> We're not cheesing. We're doing this the right way. Okay. So I've got the vent door on my left and the other... Oh, wait, no. Let me stand here. I'm facing the vent door. Which is... This door. Gotcha, dummy. I keep forgetting that E is not closed. E's in fact tab. What? He just booked it around? You can do that? Motherfucker. He said, fuck this door. I'm, hell right. I'm running around. I like my drinks to be very fruity and tasty. <laughs> yeah, Crash Wrestler. We actually didn't play Ultimate Custom Night for that exact reason. Thank you for the two. Very, very kind. You can just fucking run around? That, ain't, that shit ain't fair.
Oh no. Well, I wanted to get the white woman jump scare, but we might have to just switch to ruin. <laughs> that being said, if we switch to ruin, we're only going to play for a half hour. And there's not really anything that can kill you until like in like 45 minutes in, kind of. So maybe we just keep playing Security Breach to keep the stream interesting? Oh, it's Casey. Oh, never mind. He ran away from me. Tear. Uh, beep. Oh, did I not update the thingy? Just close them both. Where are we at? Casey. Quit knocking down my lights, dude. Casey. You're being bad. You're gonna knock off my Ethernet cord again. When Casey wants to be bad, he'll knock down my lights and unplug my ethernet, and I'm not kidding. Look at this bastard. This bastard has a full bowl of food, but he wants more food. You have food. Eat your food. Go play. Power, power, house or power? Oof. Nobody out there. Nice. It doesn't help that to skip all the dialogue by volumes super low. So I can like barely hear them walking around. Oh lord. So there. Cool. Uh oh. Casey! Dude, I'm gonna put you in your crate. Get out of here. He's being such a problem. We literally have, like, a dog crate that's got, like, you know, like a cat bed and blankets and stuff. But, like... We literally have, like... Because he gets to be such an issue. I don't know what it is. Like, he's got food. He's got water. He's got a clean litter box. He's just an issue. Oh. He's a menace. He He's mean, too. Like, he'll scratch you. He's the mean one. Mr. Cat. He's a mean one. Mr. Cat. He really is a punk. He's as cuddly as a cactus. He's as spineless as an eel. Mr. Cat. He needs attention. There's other people in the house. Get attention from them. What are you? 
again with this. He j okay, we're cheesing it. <laughs> we we're cheesing it. I'm so done. He's doing that shit where he'll go to the one door, get stuck, and then hightail it around. So someone just said, stand by the save station and we'll live. And you're sure it hasn't been... Oh, you sure it hasn't been patched out yet? Wait, just take the badge and run out immediately? No shot. Is it this door? Which door am I running to? Oh! <laughs> I feel like I've been lied to. Run out the door and leave the office room right as you get the badge. Okay, I'll try it again. Probably his favorite, true. God. Uh, beep. Does it just not work anymore? Did I do it right? right? I'll try to crouch by the safe station. I mean, I've had a good day, all things considered. It's been like a year. They might have patched it out. I guess we'll find out. Worst case scenario, it's 11 o'clock, so we can switch over after this. Game has been patched way too much. Is it being patched a good thing? I just realized Chica's hand is cut off in that poster, in the knife safety poster. I never put that together. She's got the spirit. Um, so it's not not working. I wouldn't say this is a great strategy. Yeah. <laughs> only w the crouch hiding thing only works when you're out of power. Uh, well, regardless, we're switching. Well, let me double check that I'm good to start VR. All right, we'll do one more before we switch off for reasons that you know. Us. How drunk am I? Nah. 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 Uh,
Uno mas. Uno mas. No, 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 White Wolf. If we get it, everyone just comment. Everyone just chat nice. When is next stream? Friday. Uh, in the afternoon. In uh, I don't know if I'm able to announce it yet, but I'll just say it's a collab. And then after Friday, we'll go back to your usual Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9.30 p.m. streams. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. He's shimmying. They're both shimmying at me. Welp. Nice. Man, that minigame is weird. Probably is easier if I'm able to hear them. Okay, I'm going to be responsible. I'm just going to go... I'm not getting a text back, so I'm going to go upstairs and check to see how the kids are doing. So long as they're both taken care of and we're good to go, we will do Help Wanted 1. If not, I'll come back and we will end stream. So I'll be right back. Wait, you're so right. I never actually upped it. All that nice and it wasn't even on screen. Nice. Okay, now I'll be right back.
Chat. Chat. Um, it's been a hell of a stream. Um, it's been. I got an ad. I got an ad on a fucking Sonic O. Shut, shut the fuck up. Chat. It's been a almost nine hour stream. Um, I wanted to go the full ten, but. Uh, there's a couple things going on. The boys are starting to not feel... They're still all fighting sleep. Um, this is just... Kids do that sometimes. Um, that plus me... Still feeling... A bit too tipsy. VR might not be the best idea. But... Huh? Okay, wait, hold, hold the phone, hold the presses. Hold the presses. I just got a text. Toddler is starting to calm. Maybe he'll fall asleep soon. He's been rolling around for almost two hours. Chat. As I'm about to end stream, I just got a text saying, actually, he might go to bed soon. So, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. I, unfortunately, will not be able to be in this chair. But I'm going to go make sure he's going to bed. And I'll be right back. And I'm going to go help out with that. What I am going to do... Chat, have you ever played Words on Stream? Many of you haven't because I assume many of you have never used Twitch before. And it's more of a Twitch thing. But come take a look at my screen for a second. So, chat, all you have to do is either scan the QR code or, um, sorry, all you have to do is scan the QR code or type in chat. The way this game is going to work, fairly straightforward, um, move this out of the way, there's going to be mixed letters on the screen. And you all need to type the words that you can make with those mixed letters. Now, like I said, I will be back as soon as I can. I'll leave the music play in the meanwhile. And I'll be in the chat. But I won't be able to be talking to you directly until the boys are settled. So I'll be back. But in the meantime, enjoy. I realize I should explain some things. So yeah, you you want to do at least four letter words. Um, turn up exactly. Zrick got it. Let's go. The better you do, it will continue. I can continue it from chat. There is going to be delay. There's nothing I can do to fix that in while I'm actively streaming.
You guys are fucking killing it. Holy shit. I'm back, by the way. Level 18 is crazy for the first, especially because this is like, this is probably a lot of y'all's favorite, like, first time playing this game, isn't it? Level 18 for your first time is fucking crazy. Shout out Crash Master, Zany Boo, Everine, myself, Fizzy Pup, Misa, Hia, Michaela. Dead Eyes Incorporated, Monkey, White Wolf, Akari, Noel, Philip Harwood, Digiwoa, uh, Diva Donnie, KRT Dude, Dan Fleegan, 3NO5, Thompson Stanger, Martian Sasha. Oop. Why can I not see anything on my phone? Julia Stegler, Mini Grab 2, DD, Melody Gonzalez, J, RGHD, Kayla Saylor, Zrick Fisher, Kasha San. Your typical internet user, Puck, Call Math, RJ, Bronze Sushi, Mephic, Karina Zart, Ayasha, Jelly, Agent Perry, Ineffable Bree. There's more I didn't get to. Holy shit. You guys fucking crushed it. <laughs> That's insane. Couldn't play because of B QR code? You don't have to scan the QR code. So, sorry if I didn't explain it. All you have to do is type in chat. As long as you have access to chat, you can play. Um, there's a lot of games like that, and now I know they work on YouTube, so I'll try to do those more often when I do BRBs. Um, you guys fucking crushed it! Congrats, everybody! Um, I'm just gonna double check with the wife that I'm good to start again. Toddler is asleep, but I kinda just ran back down here. Just double checking, comma, am I good to start Help Wanted 1? But while that was still going, I went and plugged in the base station, so VR is ready to go. Thought Locke was getting an answer wrong. Yeah, no, I, I needed to clarify. Um, it's something that's more common on Twitch, so I figured I should introduce it. Um, it the lock is just so you can't just spam answers. You guys crushed it. There's, um... There's other games like this by the same company. Um, where there's like a, a crossword, but emotes. It's like, it's really fun. Uh, but I'll use these more often for BRBs. Seeing that like you guys, one, enjoyed it, and two, fucking nailed it. So, <laughs> um... Word about no, Chelsea. Okay, so a catch up for anybody who's just joined. I've been live for nine hours. Sixty nine sips are with mixed drinks with very low alcohol content. It's enough to get me tipsy. I'm not gonna get wasted. Um, I'm drinking a lot of water. This has been over the course of nine hours. Like at this point, I'm very sober. I'm just a little tipsy. Um. So. Again, drink responsibly. Don't take what I do as advice or anything like that. But I do want to reassure you guys, I am safe. I am healthy. I am doing okay. Um, yeah, you guys fucking crushed that. Um, oh, you okay, hon? I'm, I've been drinking. My wife just fell down three steps. I'm going to go check on her.
She's okay. Come say hi. She is okay. I just... She, it was just a slip. I'm so... Caught myself. You're gonna have to talk either closer or louder. <laughs> the slippers are just a little too big. Yeah, Bell might have been an irresponsible hyperbole. Slipped is the more apropos verb. But I caught myself, so I didn't act. I didn't fall. <laughs> um. But in on chat, I'm gonna be real. Somewhere is a good point. Right, if you're in VR, how the fuck are you gonna? I'm gonna switch to the bad microphones. Get 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 fucked. I'm switching to bad microphones. Well, they're bad if I'm too close. To them. They're actually, they're pretty good if I'm like a good distance away. But if I get too close, they get really fucking bad, really fucking quick. Slippers are aptly named. Hyperthusiast. How dare you make a pun that good that I didn't think of. Slipper? I'm married to it. Funny. <laughs> uh, five, four, three, two, one. Mwah. <laughs> Um, okay, now that I don't have to worry about being too close to the microphone. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, people have been raising a really good point in chat, saying, like, Rye, how the hell are you planning to drink in intermidst using a VR headset? Isn't it hard to access the outside world? It is. And I don't want to fuck up our 69. So, here's my plan. You guys hit level 18 on your first ever words on stream, which is fucking crazy. So we're going to leave sips at 69. Because I've got about a quarter of a drink left, and I'm not about to fucking sip it. I am going to stir it, though, because this shit has been sitting for hours. <laughs> <laughs> you are sleeping on the couch, though, man. Yeah. It's um a four-shot... So this whole thing, mm -hmm. uh, about a cup of... Probably, like, closer to two cups of margarita mixer and, like, four shots of rum. I tried to water it down because rum is a higher percentage than Bailey's. You're gonna chug it? Oh, you're not gonna last. I'll be fine. You're a baby. The worst I got in this whole stream was the end of FNAF World, where I wiped out twice and had to take 16 sips. Oh, God. I don't like alcohol. Eh. <laughs> oh, I hate the bottom of a mixed drink, man. It reminds me I'm drinking fucking alcohol. Because you drink them too slow. True. <laughs> Feels like I'm taking medicine. If you drink them fast, you get tipsy fast. Enough, then you don't need to oh. drink as much. That's gross. My, that's my... Yucky, yucky, gross. My method. I don't like it too much. It feels like a bad idea. There's only one way to find out, ain't it, Sky? Uh, pardon. <laughs> and that is not a fucking sip. So the sip can remain. Uh, studio mode. Gameplay. This needs to not be that anymore. We'll make it this. Make it go away. 
open Steam VR. Drinking. Ugh. Thomas Mays with the five. You got this. I do. Here's the real timer on the on the stream chat. Two there's two real timers going on. One, if both boys wake up screaming, uh, oops, I gotta go help with that. But two, I I have a feeling this might be TMI, but I have a feeling my next potty is going to be for a long time. So <laughs> <laughs> my next potty is also an end to the street, realistically. Hello, IBS. IBS and drinking an entire carton of dairy free eggnog. It might be dairy free, but the pain is still there. <laughs> um, do you want your own mic? Or are you gonna be hanging out? I haven't decided. I don't want to get punched in the head. Huh? I said I haven't. Thomas pays super chatted five dollars. You got but this. Mom is hogging the big couch, so I can't watch TV because she's hogging the big couch. Um, I mean, if you sit, so if you want to be in camera, it's gonna be rough. If you sit outside of camera, you'll be safe. If you sit like, oh, but you'll probably be outside of camera too if you're like here, because that's like a dead zone for me. Let My me... shoulders there. Well, here, let's transition to gameplay. Yeah, you're, you're there in spirit. Well, if you would like your own microphone, your monitor is not going to work. Oh, uh, okay. Unfortunately. No, it's We fine. don't have enough outlets. Microphone? No, it's fine. I'll just right. hang for a little bit. Uh, Since... we are both of our computers are on the same power strip, and when I have to set up the VR, uh, I run out of power uh, I see, outlets. I see. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's fine. I'll just dink on my phone some more. Be careful with tipsy VR. You be careful. How dare you look out for my well-being and health? Who do you think you are? Someone who cares about my well-being and health? You don't know me. <laughs> I'm not that drunk, guys. I'm just... I'm Realistically, I'm just tired. <laughs> like, you know how you get a little loopy when you're tired? I think that's where I'm actually at. Versus being, like, tipsy or whatever. And no, I didn't set up the heart rate monitor because I'd have to, like, take off my shirt and set up my phone and set up a Bluetooth and just a whole thing. Kyra, the incredible kind of dollars is giving Uncle Waldo from Aristocats. Fuck, which one was Uncle Waldo? I only remember Thomas O'Malley. Thomas O'Malley. Game sound. Uh, Fetties. Okay. And... Oh, that's very loud for you guys. I'll turn that down. Okay. That's kind of cool. What? You use the... You're adjusting the... Oh, yeah. So, for anyone uh, who doesn't know, if this is the first time you've seen me stream VR, and also for my wife who's here, um, this button pretty much acts as, like, a home button for, like, a console where it brings up a home menu. And Steam gives you options where it's game and then all of your monitors. So in my vision, right here, is my second monitor. So I'm able to read chat here. I can, like, adjust OBS stuff. Um, so if, if you ever see me just look off into space, I'm probably reading chat. Or all the alcohol kicked in at once. <laughs> uh, the screen was working. It's just that I had to, like, set it up and shit. Um, okay. I guess we'll just... We're not going to do a new game. We'll just hit continue, I guess. Because um, everything's unlocked, so we'll just play this for like half hour or so, I guess. Um, and then we'll switch over to Help Wanted 2 and try to beat it in an hour 15. Because what time is it? It's midnight. This is what I'm supposed to switch over to Help Wanted 2, so we'll only play this for like 15 minutes to a half hour. Um, especially because I'm not going to be drinking when I die anymore, since I'm out of alcohol. And I'm not going to make another mixed drink at fucking midnight, so. <laughs> um, what's, like, a very, like, what do you guys want me to play, actually? What's 
Huh? What's in this one? This is the one that's majority remakes of the old games with some new stuff, including the um, Fall Fest Curse of Dreadbird DLC, which I'm put- booting them out of this thing. Fall Fest of 83. Do that one. Okay, so there's Plush Babies, but in a pumpkin patch. Pirate Ride, which I always do. Corn Maze. Hallway. I. I okay. You know what? I'll be super honest. I've really never beaten Hallway, Trick or Treat, or any of the Danger Keepouts. Do we start with Hallway? What do we feel in chat? Okay. Okay. Hallway? Since I've never done it? Pizza Tower is a good game? True. I gotta be careful with, like, fixing my legs, because I'm in shorts, I'm not wearing shoes. I'm not trying to give feet for free on the internet. Hallway! I've never beaten this. I don't actually know how you're supposed to. Um, so I guess we'll just hit it and see what happens. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. Uh, okay. So, bro said, hey, hold up. I'm not finished with you. What? Okay. So, if something opens to my left, stop immediately. Where am I? True, where am I? For real, for real. Hey, Grim Foxy. I didn't even realize there was a door there, to be honest with you. This cord is more annoying than usual. Foxy? Foxy's still there? Whoa. Okay. Chat, what am I supposed to be doing here? Just red light, green light? Oh, okay. So don't move while they're there or I can see them. Okay, gameplay, I guess. Oh, it's because the cord's all twisted. Because it's like riding up my ass. The cord. I can't hear you if you're talking to me. So for what people told me in chat... Am I dead here? The way the game works, don't walk. When there's a door open, like, don't walk past it. And what I see, Foxy, don't fucking move. And I think I'm being followed by Freddy, so don't take too long. Chica. I don't need my hands for this one, so this one's safe. Ah, damn. Okay, so hallway kind of sucks as a game, is what I'm getting. <laughs> Cause like, it's just walk, and don't walk when you're not supposed to.
I don't know. I think Trick or Treat seems like a more engaging game. Maybe we'll switch to that one. It's not necessarily scary. I think it's, like, effective. Don't kill me, please. Right. Maybe I'm just desensitized. I'm finally brave enough to play VR horror. <laughs> I'm a big boy now. I'm a big boy now. I, for the longest time, VR horror was where my brain and body drew a line. Where I just I could not handle VR. Fear. Huh? I helped you with your fear. Yeah. Um, I, I think I've just... I, I've, I've really just... I finally, with your help, played enough of VR horror that I'm kind of just... Like, yeah, I can experience it and be like, man, that's good horror. But I'm not going to be a little baby about it anymore. Hi, Casey. He's so fluffy. Oh. Yeah, let's switch to Trick or Treat, because that's like a game. When was the last time he was fed? Literally, his food's been out all day. Full, all day. The last time he was being a huge problem... Hold on, I gotta untwist this, because it's driving me fucking bonkers. Chat, you'll get a kick out of this, because chat knows that he knocked over my lights probably five times today. <laughs> One of the times I took a break to go, like, fix shit, literally, his food was full and on the ground. He stared at me, meowed at me, standing next to his full bowl of food. I had to pick it up and put it back down again. And then he started eating. I was like, boy, you are so lucky you're cute. <laughs> Thank you, boy. Kind of un... The main cord for the VR headset is, like, so twisted that it's taut. And because it's taut, uh, for anyone in chat who doesn't know, I know your words on stream masters, but taut means very... It's just, like, another word for tight. It's very strict. Like, a fishing line fully pulled would be taut. But because of that, typically, I put the cable behind me and then between my legs so I don't trip over it. Um, but when it's taut, that means it's directly in my ass. <laughs> and I don't like that it's in my ass. Uh, what are you guys on what are your guys' thoughts on FNAF AR? It's fun. He wants treats. He doesn't like treats. He's weird like that. We've given him so many different treats, the only ones he eats are the broths. And even then he'll just drink the broth. Wants to be watched while eating to feel safe instinctive? No no no, you don't understand. This motherfucker doesn't need anything to eat when he wants to. He will eat anything and everything. Especially if it's plastic and not real food. Although he has learned the difference between his food and the other cat. Um, let's try really trick or treat. Why are my Unless hands backwards? You would think Steam would be able to be like, oh, hey, these hands are next to each other in front of a head visor. I'll automatically switch them for them. Nope. Let's do trick. I've never done trick or treat either. Um, this one used to scare me too much, so I wouldn't play it. So let's see if I'm a big boy now. Look through the windows to see who will answer and wear the correct mask. So you have to wear the mask of whoever is answering the door or else you die. Balloon Boy, Freddy, Foxy, Bonnie, Chica, Mangle. Where are we? Okay, so this is more like Fall Fest nonsense. Level 1! Oh, hey, Withered Bonnie! Oh, it's the Withereds! Okay, cool! So it's FNAF 2. Withered Freddy... Music box is playing. I heard Balloon Boy, but I don't see him. Oh, Bonnie's getting up. Is Bonnie answering the door?
Oh, there's the little boy. Ew! Oh, he's moving too. Okay, so Bonnie left. I hate that face he's fucking making. Like Balloon Boy ran to the door again. I think it's Balloon Boy. Hi! It's me! I'm you! Let's go! Okay, I'm kind of based at this, though. I hate the music box playing in the background, though. Oh, here comes Wither Chica. Hey, girly. Oh, Freddy's on the move. So... Oh, Foxy also on the move. Bonnie has not moved. I like hearing Foxy run like hell. There's Freddy. Bonnie's on the move. Haven't heard or seen anything from Balloon Boy. Oh, there goes Foxy. Oh, hi, Mangle. Do I need to put my mask on for Mangle? Or is she just there? Are you gonna kill me? I don't want you to kill me. can't take off the mask. Well, I guess I'm wearing the mango mask now. I don't think it's mango, though. So I might die here. Oh, is it Foxy? Oh, it's Freddy. Oh, well, shit. You was right, true. Easy. Um... Mango mask to reset. What? What's that mean? Report glitches before they spread. No. Hi, Grim Foxy. Does this say so cool? It's got a scythe for a hook. Like the scythe hook. Let's. You know what? While I'm a little tipsy, it's twelve oh seven. Let's beat Help Wanted 2. Oh, you're scraping the walls. What the fuck is that behind me? How's that sound, chat? You want to beat Help Wanted 2 tonight? Get a world record, even? I bet we can. Do you bet we can? I bet we can. I don't. Okay, trying to read this giant menu in VR while tipsy. It's a little rough. Um, is it on my desktop? It is Princess Quest percent. Are you able to reach my mouse at all? No. Okay. I got this. Sorry. It's okay. I just want to... My, uh, my slip did, in fact, hurt my ankle. Where's my mouse? Okay. See that? So I know where my mouse is. Yep. Edit layout. Splits. Total splits. One. It's still eight. What? Okay, all right. Okay, the rest I should be able to do in here. I just needed to right click, and that's. I don't know how to right click in here. I don't know how to right click in here, I say. Oh. Right there. 
able to reach the space bar? Don't hit it yet. But are you able to? Yes. Okay. I'll need you to do that soon. I'll tell you when. And I'll give you a heads up. Let's beat Help One or Two tonight. I don't want to let you go. Let's go for Sub 120. World record is, I believe, it is one hour and 15 minutes. That's our time to beat, chap. But my PB is 135. That's definitely beatable. Wearing an apron and shorts is very silly. It looks like I'm just wearing an apron. Mm -hmm. There are shorts there. Do not worry. <laughs> no, nah. We're already here. Only going to be streaming for like max hour and a half, so no point in getting changed for that. Take me home tonight. I don't want to let you go till you see the light. It's the fellas. All my fellas, blue, 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 blue. All my fellas, blue, 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 blue. All my fellas. Um, okay. New game. Confirm. Okay. When this orientation ends, I need you to hit space. Fazbear Entertainment is offering a yes. new on-the-job training position for a future... Uh, how long of a countdown do you want? We would love to give you more details, but for legal gotcha. reasons are unable to without a signed non-disclosure agreement. Fazbear Chat, I have learned we do not need to do arts and crafts. We can instead do DJ Music Man 1. You just need to beat 16 minigames. You don't need to beat one of each. World record is an hour 15.38. That's our time to beat. That's our time to beat... One. We didn't quite get that. Let's go. We know what you oh, yeah, you can't hear the game. It said well, to confirm, to press or say one. First day starts now. Hit space in five, four, three, two, one. It's a little early, but I'd rather it be early than late. Because it's easier to for the judges to fix the time in post if it's early. Rather than late, where they have to like look at the timestamp and shit. So... Time officially starts when we're in front of the monitor and can move around. So keep that in mind. Now. We're starting with Blur because if we die, we're restarting. Because fuck this minigame. Hate this minigame. This minigame sucks. For your sake. I still don't quite understand the proper way to play this game. Oh, don't kick me in the face, please. She sounds like she's gonna kick me in the face. There she is. Oh, that's so close. I really don't understand what I'm so what I how, like the difference between doing this correctly and doing this incorrectly doesn't make sense to me. Because in my brain, it's like okay, just don't move when she's like active. But then I do that, and I'll still die. And I've learned, I'm just not touching these things. Every time I throw them, I end up dying. So I've just started going around them. I'll just go to one side and then I'll speed past. Are you just falling on the floor? Yes. Why? It's what you do in the original game. Couldn't tell you why. All we're told is don't make a lot of noise, and for whatever reason in our character's mind, it's like, okay, that means I'm gonna crawl. We're just not supposed to move while she's moving. But sometimes she can just spawn on us, and I don't know how to not die when that happens. 
And apparently you can also move too fast. But it's never specified how fast that is, so I just take it pretty easy. I'd rather get it correctly once than speed like 50 times and die 50 times and get it right the 51st time. Does that mean I'll probably never get world record? Probably. But, whatever. You can grab them and throw them, but every time I've done that I've died, so I just don't. It is funny, though. Okay, that was good. Making good time. Because you can go fast in this game. I tend not to, though. Because every time I do, I die. I'm moving. You're way up there, but I'm still not moving. Many readers are giggling. I'm just gonna let him come to me. Not moving. Go after your mini arenas, not me. I don't, I don't, I don't have beef with you. I don't, I have no qualms. I'm not touching your children. I'm going around them. Not moving. I think after the next cycle, we'll run for it. But I don't want to risk dying here, because we had a pretty good run. Because she'll probably spawn two more times. It's gonna go slow. Not moving. I'm not moving. But I'm getting ready to. I want to see some zoom in, honey. We skedaddled. We made it, chat. We did it first try. We'd love to see it. Uh, do you actually have to collect the present? I don't know. Hopefully not, because I totally didn't. Oopsie kitty. Breaker room. <sighs> okay. Breaker room. If we don't die on Ender Knight and we don't fuck up Foxy Log Flume, it's like a 15 minute time save on our, on our PB, which is huge. Which would be really funny if my PB turns out to be when I'm uh, fucking tipsy. What's up, honey? I said, now I'm gonna have a song stuck in my mouth. Which one? Take me home tonight? Yeah. Oh, hon, you would love this one. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, I say that sarcastically. You're in a dark room. You have to point this megaphone at Funtime Freddy to make him fuck off and go home. While doing these power things. Bro's refusing to go back to his stage. Cool, cool, cool. He's at a stage we're about to win. Dope. We can just hang out over there. We're fine. Great job. Let's go! Your tasks for the night. Hi, Freddy. Blood, blood. I'll hit the button, though. I'll hit the button and grab it, but I don't know if I actually have to. I should probably figure that out. God forbid we get to where we're supposed to be and we don't get the fast wrench. Um, entered. 
let's not die on Edward at 5 a.m. like I did last time. Bonbon bon is a gaslighter? True. Oh yeah, the, everything in that level is peak. Where's your head? Um, is this too close for comfort? He got about half a foot from my face. Okay. That's one of the buttons I do need to hit, is right here. Ah, I see. I'll uh, just try not to. Well, I'll try to be mindful. I have plenty of time. It's not like a... The only one I need to hit quickly is here. Okay. Um, he's pretty slow, everything considered. Oh, let me clean off my desk. Um, we'll open at 84. Or, yeah, 84. Give it 3%. Because I don't... St I still don't know exactly how long it takes to go away. There's no sound cue. But I know about 3% of the power is safe. I think Ennard kind of works... I don't... Does Ennard always have two eyes? I swear he only had this eye. Am I crazy? I don't remember him having two eyes. Ennard? Ennard. The, like, endoskeleton guy. Yeah, this guy. I guess I might be crazy. I mean, he's got a lot of eyes all over. I just don't remember those main two blue eyes. Oh, yeah. Ennard's animation in this game is sick. It's so good. It's a good time to read chat, but I can't get carried away. Last time I got carried away, I died at 5 a.m. and it ruined the run. Why is his stage in that room? I don't know. Why is it? Helpful. No, it's it's a great question, because for whatever reason, Funtime Freddy has a stage within the breaker reset room. I'm going to be super real. That's one of those moments that I don't think is lore. I think it's just uh, they needed to make the game function, so they put his stage in there. Kind of crip walking though. He's got like a stank to it. 62%? Nope. Oh shit, he's already here. That's quick. Right? It's fucking fast, dude. Close out immediately, because he's a. This vent is a bitch to close sometimes. Vent again, dude? Fuck off with the vent. That's the one I'm worst at. Oh, he literally fucked off. He exited the vent, I guess. Or did he run closer? What's this mind game you're playing with me, Ennard? Go keep my finger here just in case. Okay. God, I did not like that mind game where he went into the vent and then left it. What a bastard. 4 a.m. Don't fuck this up now, Riley. We've got the power, I can open it. I can close it pretty early. We've got the power to be closing the door kinda early. We've got the power for that. Cool. There's the boy. There is the boy. 
Hello, boy. Fuck you. Piece of shit. Hope you die. I didn't mean to direct that at you, Casey. It's just my monitor is right here. I am though with twenty five power. We're fucking rocking it. We can be liberal with our power usage now. Oh, what happened? Okay. Well, something happened because my whole vision went gray at a critical moment. Uh, I turned and bumped your cord. Try your best to not do that, please. I didn't realize I was, it was like right there when I turned. Sorry. It's okay. Anytime the cords or things are bumped, my whole world either shakes or goes gray. So, like, I didn't do anything, I just bumped it. No, I'm not kidding. Sometimes the cats will, like, move the cord a little bit. And even that will cause my whole thing to start fucking shaking. This is an old VR headset, and it's very, uh, touchy. And has low resolution. But we can play VR, so that's all that matters. That's all we can do in sister location. So let's move on to food prep, because it's fun. I have also learned chat in Carousel Moon resets. Um. Oh, I've also learned this chat. Check it out. Restart the level. You skip the opening dialogue that takes fucking forever. You are late as usual. Your shift begins now. Is this in your space? Cool. Beans and Freddy Fastato. Beans, Freddy Fastato. Cannot hear you. What? Uh oh. I wish you luck, and I wish my sight luck. This is one of the less stressful ones, though. So if you bump a wire, I'll be okay. Bye, honey. Chat say bye, Mama Toast. Sodoroni Fastido with hot sauce. Three, two, five. Oops, sorry for hitting the microphone there. Orange taco with guac. Oh, oh no. F five, four, four. So there are any nachos with guac. Best server you've ever seen, girl. Um, it is currently twelve thirty AM for me, for those asking. Fast potato with cheese. Put you to the side so I don't get cheese on you. And pink lemonade. Service. I didn't pull my hair back before this, which sucks. And orange. Rice corn. Chica skinny taco. With guac and hot sauce. Evening rush, almost done. We're so fast, chat. So fast. 
Orange soda, any flan with hot sauce. Easy order. Flan with hot sauce and then orange on a soda roti. All that done. Oops, sorry for hearing the microphone chat. Rice, rice, fiesta pizza. Love to see it. Two five two with guac. My race. Pink lemonade. Oh, okay. This is a big one. Pink lemonade. Fazbear flan. Four three two. And nachos. Four one three. We both get guac. Flan gets nacho cheese. You get hot sauce. Phew! We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Pink lemonade rice skinny taco. Of course, the one that I don't have. Forgot about that. Nope. And it wants hot sauce and guac. Hot sauce. Walk. Dang. Let's go. Oh, speedy chat. Speedy. <sighs> Omicromium, welcome. I don't think I've seen you in chat yet because you are brand new. Welcome to the gang. Hope you enjoy your stay. And uh, to any new mods, I always say this. I fully trust your judgment. If someone's being annoying, I give you full permission to ban them immediately. We gotta keep this chat in tip-top shape. Keep them in line. And if I and if I point at somebody and say get them, you get them. Heard? Fries. Okay, so this one runs. Fazer sauce. Meat. Not meat. Regular pizza. Sour lime. Okay, so Fazer sauce, not meat, shredded cheese, and meat. It gets the works. It gets the works. That's a regular pizza and sour lime. A smack of dough while we wait in. Whoop. Think I don't know how to make pizza? Pink lemon with uh, nacho cheese and meat. And that's regular pizza. Pink lemonade and soda roni. What? Where's my pink lemonade? Give me that. Yeah, I know I did it. Don't even bother. Orange, pink lemonade, tomato, and not meat. Got it. Tomato. Not meat. If I've gotten any super chats in the meantime, I will look at them probably in Foxy Log Flume when I have the most. What do you mean? Why did it ding at me like I did it wrong? What do you mean? Fucking time loss? What are you talking about? What do you mean I got the pizza wrong? You got the pizza wrong. Eat my ass. I didn't miss a super chat, did I? No, okay. Oh, I did. Fly Ezzy with $2. Oh, I missed a couple. Okay, hold on. Retry. Missed a couple super chats. Crash Bros. with Incredibly Kind 5 and said, Bon Bon called the Gas Gas for Gaslighting. Fun time Freddy all the time. True. Fly Ezzy with Incredibly Kind 2. You're still going out good never. Eh, it's fun. I like I like having fun. What? Did, did I get the fucking pizza wrong? Nacho cheese and the works. Nacho cheese, the works. Man, fucking time loss on a long one, too. Well, at least we have something we can PB now. What you 
a sour lime. Man, I can't believe I got a pizza wrong. This shit's my jam and I fucked it up. It feels bad, man. Couldn't have been one of the early ones, too. Huge time loss here. If it wasn't already, like, 1 a.m., I'd, uh, probably restart there. That's a pizzerito. I didn't cook it? Wait, I didn't cook it? I didn't cook it a pizza! That's <laughs> such an easy mistake. Oh, uh, you can tell it's late, y'all. You can tell it's late, and I'm a little tipsy. I served a raw pizza, and I got mad at the customer. That tracks. It's alright, we'll still PP. No world record tonight. It would have been bad manners if we got the... I did... You know what, chat? Let's just say I did it on purpose, so I didn't world record while tipsy, because that's just not very nice. That would be rude to the people who try very hard at this game. We'll say it was out of sheer kindness of my heart that I didn't want to uh, beat the world record while tipsy and make everybody else feel bad about themselves. We'll say that's what happened. So if anybody asks you, hey, hey, Bright Toast, that guy who doesn't have the world record, you say, yeah, well, you know, he did it because he's such a nice, such a nice person. Fries. Okay, so pizzerita with Fazer sauce. Bazaar sauce, not me use, and cheese. Is it a pizza or a pi That's a regular pizza. Cook it a pizza. When pizza's fly, ah. Pink lemonade fry, pizzeria, Fazer sauce and meat. Fazer sauce and meat, you heard it. You heard it, boss. Fazer sauce. A little bit of meat, you want that to be a pizzerita? I can fucking roll up your pizza for you. Hey, there you go, let's roll up fucking pizza. Fries, and you know what, even a pink lemonade. Just for you. Wait for protein bot. They will be pissed. True. So, okay, fries, fries. P you want a pizza? I'll cook it a pizza. And some tomato sauce and some shredded cheese and not meat. I gotcha. I gotcha. That's a regular pizza. Cook it a pizza. And that's fries, sour lime. And you know what? Just because I like it, use another fry. Enjoy. All yours. And uh, you know, I cook it a pizza. I also smack it a pizza. Dun, 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 dun. That's a pizzerito with nacho cheese and meat. Yeah, you got it. We, you know, some of us just call that a shitty burrito, but you know, whatever suits your fancy. Here's your shitty burrito. Roll that up for you. I said, roll that up for you. You wanted two orange? Yeah, 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 you're thirsty for your shitty burrito. I hear you. I got you. I got what you need. That's smack of the pizza. Okay, you want a, a Fazer sauce shredded cheese pizzerito? That's a little unorthodox, but I can do it for you. That's a fucking pizzerito right there. And you want another pizzeria? Okay, yeah, sure, whatever you want. Where's my fucking rolling pin? What the fuck? Where's... Where am I... Why are you over there? Tomato? Shredded cheese? Not meat? There's another pizzeria? Yeah, sure. Soda Roni? Hi, girl. And you want a, a salad? Really? I mean, hey, we serve salad. I just don't recommend it. Right? 
Sell it? For, you know, if you want to sell it, you want to sell it. I hear you. I want that bowl back, though. Alright, huge time loss, but it's alright. We, we, we press onward. But the pizza toppings in the top put the pizza in the toppings dispenser. I didn't. I thought you had to build it in the tray. That's something I did not know. Bonkabon. Can I hit everything? That's gonna be a problem. That's alright, though, so that might be a problem. Hopefully not too many plush babies spawn there, but last time I said, hey, there's exactly one spot I can't hit with for plush babies, I had three in that spot, so who knows. Fazer sauce, probably vodka sauce. Yeah, I could see it. Or, like, maybe even a spicy ranch. You know, I know a lot of, like, uh, uh, like, gas station places will have, like, a boom sauce or dynamite sauce. It's usually just, like, buffalo ranch. Crushing it, just saying. Oop, I hit the ceiling. Oops. Let's go! We got a chat! Why is Bon Bon so cute? True! Big Mac sauce? Yeah, I can see that. Thousand Island? Oh god, Thousand Island pizza would be fucking disgusting. And I like Thousand Island dressing, but that sounds like a lot of Thousand Island dressing. DJ Music Man 1. Congratulations. The question is what's faster, DJ Music Man 2 or First Aid Lefty? I think First Aid Lefty is still faster. Hard to tell. I do like hanging out with Music Man though. Oh shit, okay. Blue Waves Chica. Easy. He looks so cool, chat. Uh, okay. Green Lightning Pizza Hills. Green Lightning Pizza Hills. What's up, my guy? Uh, 
pink staff bot, pink staff ball mountains. I gotta dance with DJ Music Man, I'm not gonna just leave him hanging. Speed run, speed run, speed run, speed run, speed run. Um, we do need to do faster blast. So I guess we'll do that now. God, please let me hit all the fucking rockets I need to. Oh, don't let me miss the rocket in fucking uh, Wild West. That's huge. Such a huge time save if we hit it. Rockets coming up, not that one though. That's a fire hazard. Oh. Just fucking like Duke gun tricks with it. Just. <laughs> Five minutes we're doing okay all right here's the big one this is probably another reset i should probably honestly realistically after entered we should come straight here because this rocket is another big reset point it's just so hard to hit Switching in my good hand. And honestly, we're just gonna go full. We have a high enough points that we can just focus.
Oh, we got it. We're safe. Oh, man. Huge. Oh, the hay bale hit my fucking thing. Where's she at? It's kind of more insulting to hit her with the ball. It's funny. Huge weight off my shoulders there. Um, let's do carousel. Save the first aids and fizzy fast for last. The fun ones. So I've learned lore, true. I've learned that moon resets when you finish a stage. So we really should just focus on doing this. Like, you hear that, like, scream? Do a quick... Okay, huge. Huge. All right, now just survive. Easy. Yeah, that's a lot faster. Knowing that he resets on every stage is huge. This song is so good. It's a song that I unfortunately can't really use in videos. Because it's just like too distracting. Why have I not seen Moon at all? There you are, you fucker. But it's just such a good fucking tune. 18 seconds, doing good. Let's go! Foxy Log Flume, because it's been a while since I talked to chat. Can't fuck this up this time, chat. We're going to try the restart. I don't know if it works for this one, but we might as well find out. No no harm, no foul. Because he does have quite a dialogue at the beginning. Alright, we still have to wait. Oh well. How do you do the last stage of carousel? So you put a uh, chip in the right orientation on the thing, 
you put wires where the outlines are, and then you, um, what is it? You, like, solder the corners and then hit the button. It's pretty straightforward, they just don't explain it very well. Hopefully we don't miss a star this time. I would never. Why are you doing the VR tipsy? Because it's funny. What if I got a world record? I'm not going to because we fucked up, um... What did we even fuck up? I don't even remember. We fucked up pizza, which is embarrassing. But, so, no world record. No tipsy world record. That'd be very funny. But we definitely are on track for a PB. As long as we don't have any other major fuck-ups. This being one of them. Moon? Huge. Jacko Moon intrigues me. Same. Would Captain Foxy in One Piece? Uh, if One Piece is based, and it is, so yes, by default. I don't know. I just really like One Piece and I like Captain Foxy, so I hope they're in the same thing. Could have the record for doing a tipsy, though. Could you imagine? Uh, maybe it... One of these days, I, I have to, I have to actually study the world record and like learn what he's doing, cause like, or she, I, or they, I don't know who it is. Whoever is, has the world record, is like, a good ten minutes faster than my possible best time. So I got, I'm doing something wrong that I gotta learn from that for. Got it. We don't have to- we're not going for points, but like, it's still fun to. As long as we don't die. Fall Fest happened and burned, burned down something. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Hey, Sky Mallory. I love to hear it. It's a really good show. Um, I'm glad... Are you enjoying it so far? A lot of people tend to skip the Sky Island arc, but I think it's a really good arc, and it does not deserve to be skipped. And, uh... No, no spoilers, but... Let's just say Sky Pia is more relevant than people are giving it credit for. When did One Piece start? Uh, like 1997, 1998? At least the anime. Not sure about the manga. It's like, it, uh, it's a long series. The an the manga's on like chapter 1119, I think. And the anime is at like 1080, 1090. It's a long anime. Really, really solid. It's long as fuck. I'm not risking it. We have a good time. I'm not risking it getting greedy with the points. I don't need them. I got. I almost got 4,000 points already. We'll, we're fine. We're fine. Got it. All I want to do in this minigame is survive.
So we back in the mine. All right, Helpy. You and me, Helpy. Not letting you get out of here alive. Oh, next screen. You and me, Helpy. One of these days I'm going to miss him, and it's going to really upset me. Have I heard of the anime reboot for One Piece? I did. I think Studio Wit is doing it. Um, I'm interested. I'll watch it because I like One Piece. Um, I don't think the old anime is old enough to warrant a reboot, but like, I don't know. I trust him. The live action's pretty fucking good, surprisingly, so I trust him. Let's get this bread. Okay. So as long as we shoot the cake, we're good. And the, the longest minigame that we have to play in this fucking speedrun is done. Fun fact, your own head has collision. Because the little foxy log flume balls bounce off of your own face. Love like he's okay with still suffering. Oh, I'm swinging from side to side not because I'm tipsy or drunk or anything. I just have ADHD. I just don't sit still. Yeah, if anyone's wondering, like, oh man, he must be really drunk, he's, like, swervy and waving back and forth. No, I just have ADHD. I just don't sit still. Gotta make sure to shoot the cake. Got it. I still really love that hedgehog. 25 minutes if we want to beat world record? Ah, it's not happening. Definitely gonna PB though. I don't think it's possible at this point. I think one, I'm playing a little too slow, and two, that pizza really set us back by like 5 minutes. I think we'll get number two though. Second place feels very achievable right now. Hi, Twink Trap. Thank you. This is the one that I let the animation finish for because we need to beat 16 things to get the Faz Wrench. And that counts as one of them. Otherwise, once we grab the plushie, we can leave. Um, so we are on to staff only. fluids have crystallized. I am unable to process your appearance. Although we have just met, I know I have good hands. After all, you are a Fazbear technician, are you not? Mm, my sensors tell me that is very cold. Uh -huh. 
Hey, Freddy. Bye, Freddy. So I've learned if you're fast enough, you don't even need to put gas on helping for the first first aid. That's what we're going to try to do. Uh, and we are going to restart this to skip the opening dialogue. Let's go. Patient stabilized. Not my fastest, but I'll take it. Busy fast time. Everyone's favorite. It's so fun. Um, okay. Realistically, like I'm not trying to dog on fizzy fast. Fizzy fast night five. Really fun. I would love an endless mode of Night 5 Fizzy Faz. The tutorial level for Fizzy Faz takes a while. You are here. Sign form. Start work. New job. Instruction. Use container. Collect necessary ingredients. Make Fizzy Faz flavor syrup. Convenience. Mix to it. If error mistake, press trash button. Fill ingredients. That's what I like to see. More orders like that, please. Be warned. Dumping ingredients may attract one. Caffeine, acid. I do need another acid, so get your ass on it. Come on. Come on. Two, two sugars and caffeine. Oh, uh, well, almost. Should get caffeine soon, though. Come on. Do your job. Do your job. Do your job. That should... Is it three or four for level one? Of course. Sugar, sugar, acid. Love to see it. Trigger caffeine, caffeine. Love to see it. So much easier to do our fucking job when protein isn't here, man. Protein's such a slacker. Same time tomorrow. You are back. 
Don't get on my bad side, bro teams. You never do your fucking job. You're always holding us up. Do your job. Shut down button. Force reboot. Also, monitor. I love you. Don't ask for like six proteins, please. Orders like that. Is there a person down here? Huh. I swear I heard someone like clear their throat. Of course you want to fucking break. I'm doing your goddamn job. I got one protein, like, oh, I need a break. Asshole. Acid. Sugar. I need another protein, bud. Hey, Broski, what's that protein? No sugar or protein, please. Oh, that's that's what we like to see. Service. I need another protein. Oh wait, I've learned only grab shit when you have it, in case you just don't get it on time and then you're fucked. Sugar, sugar. Where's my fucking caffeine, though? Put sugar on a break for a sec. Remember I literally just said only grab stuff you have? Oops. Grab an acid. I need a bunch of caffeine, dude. You better be doing your job. I need three caffeine stat. I have one. Two. I need one more, please. 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 It's not even my fault. He's just not making it. I have one acid. Tell me I get to use it. Cool. Is your sour lime flavor. All of them. Not the worst. We've had way worse Fizzy Faz Night 2s. Alright, no worries, CLN. You've been here for a while. Have a good one. So, theoretically, all of the prerequisites have been beat. If we beat this first aid, we should get the Faz Wrench. I've been told we don't need to do arts and crafts. There's a wall here. Got rabies and some other shit going on? Red. Is there a dog?
Ciao. <sighs> I think that's definitely that's way faster than arts and crafts. Uh, I did not. Okay, cool. I was like, "Where's my fast wrench?" All right, chat. Now the speed part happens. The funny thing is, since this is random. There's a high probability that when the game starts getting ran really aggressively, that RNG of the puzzle could make or break world records. Which is really funny to think about. Go! Go! Oh my god, I hit it like five times. Got like... 11 minutes for world record, which we're not gonna get. But... I think we're going to get a pretty solid number two. And for a tipsy Raitos, I will happily take that. Six. Bonk, 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 bonk. Oh. That's gonna be an issue. Everything else is fine, though. I just need a bigger space, man. It's like the game knows when I said that's going to be a problem, because everything's like right there. This game knows a, it. I swear, it scans the room you're playing in, and it finds the one spot that's kind of hard to hit, and it puts all the circus babies right at that spot. I have a one foot wide wall to my left that can occasionally get in the way, and circus baby spawns in that one foot wide hole 90% of the time. I swear to God, that's the one thing I can't hit. There were two circus babies there. Only the cool kids chat? True. Alright, putting the code backward time. Three. Six. Four, seven. Got one.
a two. Um, we need to do fizzy fuzz. Food prep and you are back. Production is <sighs> what is it? Food prep and to play a bit of catch up. Push step harder. Hazard blast. Time button. Make them work. We're making good time. Hi, Casey. Casey just crawled into my peripheral, scared the shit out of me. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom so bad, chat. I'm so happy we're almost done. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Fazbear Theater. The next show will begin in five minutes. We are still open, still open, still open, still open. Chica Lemon Bar, Chica Chowder, Chica Chug, Chica Slurpee. Thank you. Chat, what happens first? Do we get a fucking PB or do I PB my pants? Holy shit. Was the last time I had water? Uh, the beginning of this run, but I can't really drink while I'm doing the run. We're almost done, though. Phaser Blast should be the last one, yeah? Granted, we have to do three Phaser Blasts, but we're getting there, we're getting there. I can't drink water right now, Dead Eyes. I'm fine. We're gonna be done this in, like, less than ten minutes. Got it. Whoa, that's a fire hazard. That there's a fire hazard. feed you. Yeah! Alright, now we just have to beat 
All the hard shit's pretty much done. It's just doing it now. Beat FNAF 2. And beat FNAF 3. And then... Princess Quest. I think great time. Probably sub 120. Uh-oh, I accidentally opened Spotify and I did not want to. That's gonna fuck some shit up, isn't it? Please go away, Spotify. Okay, cool. So I was, ch I was checking my browser. And when I checked my browser... Whatever. Whatever! In my defense chat, I am right-handed. I hit my own hand! I hit my own hand! Break! Fire! 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 I'm on fire! I'M ON FIRE! How is this better than the original FNAF 2, right? I legitimately think the mechanics of this are more diverse than the original FNAF 2. After, and after playing FNAF 2 today, I still hold true. You do more shit in this. Like, you have to respond differently. You can't just do the same two things.
Your leg is covered, you bastard. Your leg is still covered, you bastard. Quit hiding behind Dreadbear's dick. <laughs> that should be the last one. Please, God, hope it's the last one or else we fucked up somewhere. Thank God. Could you imagine? I was so worried I grabbed Bonkabon too early. Fast Princess Quest. It's definitely PB by like ten minutes at least. So, chat, you know that really cool out of bounds glitch we do that feels like it saves time. It does if you have to do the lanterns, but it turns out. After watching somebody else's speedrun, the the door that opens when you do the lanterns and the door for the elevator that you have to do the trade through, both doors you can just lean forward and teleport through. So, it is still faster to go the intended route, because you can just go straight through the doors without worrying about it. Which is very funny. And if that isn't the case, we have enough time that it'll be okay. But I'm pretty sure that's the case and that'll be a time save. So, if I understand this correctly... Oh, I pause. Yeah, we can just... Quit pausing! Okay, there we go. Let's go! Hype. And then the frame this enters his hand is time. That's time. 122, like minus 10 seconds, that might be 121. That's so fucking hype. Holy shit, that's such a good time. Naughty, naughty. That is such a good time. Anyway, here's the ending. Spoilers. Let's go. Go! Let's go! Just head with the wall, exactly. I did everything but Ruin. Uh, I didn't beat all of them. But we played everything but Ruin, so... And I mean, Ruin's just a DLC of Security Breach. We did play Security Breach. Holy. Chat. Chat. 
I'm not going to go pee because uh, I'm going to end stream. We have been live for 11 hours. This has been an 11 hour stream. A big thank you to the community for supporting me. Cryptid Prince Super Chatted $5. Congrats. Career, now which go is pee. just insane. Um, let me make sure I double check. Uh, Crypto with the incredibly kind $5. Um, I guess before I forget, I'll check speedrun.com so you guys can know exactly how good or bad that was. And then I'll gush for a little bit and we'll call it. Um, For consequences percent? Ooh, it's going to be... I think that's actually number three. Count Noir, uh, four days ago, I missed this, with a one hour and 19 minutes uh, run. Really good run. So we're just behind him. Just above Cubezoid, one hour twenty three. Um, I'm gonna have to see what these guys are doing to shave five more minutes off that time. Um, but guys, I've been live for eleven hours, and like two of those hours was in VR. Um, I'm beat, I'm tired, but most of all, I'm thankful. Um, this isn't gonna be my last stream of the year. I believe I'll be streaming on Friday. Um. But this is the way I want to capstone the year. Um, I'm going to open my calendar. Every year, from the advice of, I believe, Ludwig, I set a yearly goal um, of some, a, a goal to hit by the end of the year. Um, when I released the timeline two years ago, um, the goal was a thousand subscribers and a backlog of videos. Those are my two goals. Um, oh, and a hundred, I think it was like 50 viewers on Twitch, which turned into YouTube live, um, for me. And then we crushed it. We actually hit a hundred thousand last year around this time, which is insane to think about. Um, it's a number that I still can't comprehend. Uh, Clint with the incredibly kind five pounds. Thank you so much. Really enjoyed the stream. Good for audio while I work on a cool Unity project. I'm glad. Um, so last year I made a similar one and I haven't opened it since then. I forgot I made it, but it just came up on my calendar. So let's see. As of today, have my goals for this year happened? Post a video in short every week. Oops. I forgot a couple shorts there. But almost, almost, post at least two videos a month to the second channel. Uh, yeah, the second channel is thriving. TLLM Super Chatted $6.28. And really enjoyed um, the stream. Good for audio while I worked on a have cool one video Unity over project. Views. Not yet. You know, I still have not had that big blow up one. But uh, a couple videos have gone very, very big for me. And I very much take that. And then, in surrounded by question marks. Um, 200k subscribers, maybe. I didn't think we'd hit it this year. I thought we were going to end at like a nice 180 and call it a year. Um, but I guess all I can say is thank you. Um, this channel doesn't happen without you guys. Um, so I am going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to try... I've been saying this for a while. I really do want to diversify because eventually I will run out of stuff to talk about with Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, I'll always continue to make Five Nights at Freddy's content, but um, I don't want to only make Five Nights at Freddy's content lest I run out of things to talk about. But I would not be where I am, nor would I be able to support my family if not for the support of all of you. And I'm not talking about monetary, which is incredibly welcome, and thank you all for that, but that's not necessary at all. Just watching the videos and watching the streams and being there and liking and sharing them, it not only means the world, but it allows me to live out this dream. 
So just a huge thank you to everybody on this two-year anniversary of the channel uh, being noticed and 200k subscribers, which is a batshit insane number. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll hit 300k next year. <laughs> um, but until then, I really, really need to use the bathroom and drink some water. And I guess I'm sleeping on the couch tonight because I drank too much alcohol. Um, but yeah. Thank you all again so very much. But it is time I go to bed. And it's probably time for many of you to go to bed as well. So have a good night and stay toasty. Let me do some good nights. I'm going to drink some water though. <sighs> good night too. Candy Cadet. Loosen Up Love. Sky Mallory. Juba. Give Boops to the Snack, Dead Eyes Incorporated, White Wolf, Jack Garbett, Unwinny 2, Cure the Wolf, Ray Bean, Simply Morgan, A Room with a Mini Moose. Is that an Invader Zim reference? Coffee Acorn, Brianna Burton, Sanguine Fell, Darrow C.A., uh, Sock Monster Simeon, Shigaraki Tomura. Um, is that from My Hero? Uh, those names sound very familiar. Olivia Prianto, uh, Iverin. Ivarin? Ivarin? Eh. Um, Minion Sheesh, Squirrel Kitty, Michael, Games with James, Mel 0203, uh, Uta, Uta Toners, Stealing Peak, Kitty Demon Overkill, Rosette, W. Missio, who else? Cryptid, Exacting Peaches, uh, Insert Cool Name Here, Michael Leslie, Games with James, I already said you, RJ, Elegy Sonnet, Quirky Viper, Cory Birds Are Blooming, and Mango Curry. And to anybody I missed, anybody at all, and 